So we are back with more Call of the Lamb. Thank you again, True Cornfish, for the follow. Hopefully it didn't do anything too weird here. It looks like our characters are here. Let me know, chat, if everything's working with the Twitch integration. We had a little bit of a snafu last time. But it should be up and running. If not, just let me know. We'll take a look at it. But I think otherwise, we were just waiting for the day to pass. I don't think I wanted to do adventuring on this day. Welcome, Wolfang. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> yeah, we still have the bestest boy, 666, is the cult. So I believe I can start reviving people once I get another rank or two in Afterlife. Since uh, we had a very unfortunate zombie incident in our first session. That uh, may or may not have killed off some players. We probably want to go back and revive them. Anyway, chat, just let me know if there's any questions you have. Otherwise, I think we're good to go. Hmm. Look, there's heart garbage. Actually, you know what? I think it's okay to start another day. I don't have to wait around here. I have enough of a head start. This should be probably fine. Well, welcome in Parameter. Hope you're also doing well today. Press heavy attack to perform heavy attacks. Each weapon is unique heavy attack for you to master and use a small amount of fervor. Uh, Vampiric Sword is fine. Sword is- or Fireball is also fine. We talked a little bit about last time with some of the dash cancel stuff. Sword's okay. It's kind of like the in-between weapon, which I guess kind of makes sense that it's just kind of average at everything. I definitely prefer Axe and Claw. This one's not bad. Yeah, faster devotion gathering should help us if we can get that on our main prayer people. So yeah, I could just do normal strikes here if I don't want to dodge roll. It helps me a little bit with uh, spacing. So I'm less likely to walk into fireballs by accident with it. Because I could just choose not to dodge roll. Where other ones, it's kind of mandatory that I do that and just cancel well. There we go, not too shabby. Looking down the hallways to see if I see any decorations. So I'm not given a clue as to which one is progress. I guess I could go up. Yeah, see, that guy was a bit stun resistant. So I was a little more hesitant to finish him off there. Otherwise, we're just kind of cleaving our way through, not too shabby. We still have the diseased heart in the upper left. That was part of one of the bonuses we got from beating the last boss, which is a reminder. Just means that if I take damage, I hit everything in the room. Ideally, I won't get hit, but we'll see what happens. Oh, I got stuck on something over there. That was weird. Unfortunate. No uh, full clear bonus now. Oh well. It happens. We got another rock unlocked. So ideally between now and the end of the session, we need to gather pumpkins for the dark moon- or blood moon ritual, excuse me. We also need to gather more mushrooms for Suzo. We have like a we have a few kind of fetch quests as we go along. If we see things that let us potentially grab those on the map routing, we're in a detour for them. So I know it's a new day. Based off the fact that it said the flock is ready for a sermon. So I just have to finish the dungeon before yet another day passes, and we should be fine. So that's the power attack with the sword. It's okay. Nothing too crazy. Oh, it's the first appearance of this character. With three eyes on his crown. Jamak says, Ah, uh, ah, uh, the red crown and you beast. Godly. Um, I have tools to give, yes. Crafted by Kemek. 
My brothers, they might have pretty things, but mine? Our powerful things. Will you look? Will you take? What will you give in turn? Your flesh? Your bone? Your crown? Ah, oh, oh, I jest, I joke. I won't take anything. Nothing for Kemic. I like that he's also like suspended on hooks. His crazy eyes. We've unlocked our first set of relics. We mentioned before that these are just kind of limited use. It's just another option in the dungeons. Definitely makes the gameplay much easier. Although, to be honest, I think when we played the first time, because these are a new feature to the game, when we played the first time when they were first created, I honestly did not use them that much. Like, the one where it's like summon a new curse with increased level, that one is useful. Was an active enemies. Uh. Lightning rain down, I think, was decent. Freeze was good. Freeze time was also good. So there's the concept of charge speed, so I believe it's just... I don't remember if it's number of hits or number of kills. We'll basically recharge the gauge. <laughs> but if it says fragile, it just means once I use it, it's gone. So there's some relics that will just get chucked away immediately. For every five followers, gain half the spirit heart. Oh, interesting. Okay, so there's actually some other mechanics that depend on number of followers. I don't remember if this existed when we played. Remember this dice did exist, and this one's also okay. Don't damage all enemies based on the amount of tarot cards you hold. That's not bad. Draw active tarot cards, weapon and curse increase or destroy tarot card. Honestly, I could see that being very good. Because there are times when our tarot cards are like actual like bottom tier gutter trash where just like they don't they're not gonna help me clear the run nor are they helpful in gathering items. Where it's just like I don't know. Like, what What if I already lost all the health in the extra heart tarot cards? Like, those things are not really going to matter to me if I get rid of them. Damage all enemies based on how many followers you have. So yeah, there's more follower-based ones. I don't remember that being a thing when we played. That's good. And I got a slow one. So let's see how the game describes them. Relics of the Old Faith. Relics are more powerful items imbued with powers of faith. They can be used to perform actions or special actions. Relics can be used once they're fully charged. Charge them by dealing- Oh, yeah, it's just dealing damage. Okay. Some relics can be used multiple times, while others are fragile and can be used Ah, oh. oh, my pretty creations. Holy pieces of revered beings. They hunger, yes. Crave the power that was once theirs, yes. Feed them, yes. They are hungry. Hungry for miscreant flesh. Let them feast. Anyway, we're gonna, I guess, feast. So all kind of rooms like these did not exist in the original game. So it's good to see that, you know, there's more variety. We're just gonna go ahead and use it on them. Ah, oh, yes. Better than silly card. Better than pointy sword. Hammock is better. Little god will come again. Hemic will give relic. Hemic will make relic. Hemic will relic out. Of, will make relic out of you one day. Bye bye. Anyway, I'm gonna kill the followers that are here because I get morsels for doing so. See that we got free follower meat without killing people. Now if they have weird requests where they act, ask me to sacrifice, I can probably just use what we gathered here. It's kind of a nice way to do it. Also, we have a hilarious amount of bone. The fact that we're at like 300, considering like how scarce of a resource it is in like late game, I just find hilarious. Okay, so we have options to do another fight room, gather stone, and get to a mystery room. I think for chat, I'm gonna go ahead and get another follower, and then we're gonna try a mystery room. Wood gathering is okay. Double coin there isn't bad. Like if I really just wanted resources, I might go full left. I don't think I care about the houses yet. We're kind of early in the game. But I'll take a follower. Never have enough of them, honestly. Get, please accept our sacrifice and bless us with fertile soils and bountiful harvests. Keep the famine at bay. Ah, that was kind of satisfying to use. 
So this sword attack has purpose, I guess. If they have very predictable patterns and don't immediately strike you, the damage or reward is decent. So like, for example, I could... Did I really take damage walking into him? That sucks. I think that's what it is. I think some of them might just get close to, because it didn't even look like he attacked me there. But anyway. From the standpoint of the heavy attack, because they aren't using iframes when they first spawn in, I could probably buffer a heavy attack. So that way the downside of it having a big windup is negated by the fact that I have to wait anyway. So I'm going to look forward to using that a bit more. But we have another chance for chat in order to basically get a character. Go ahead and do these. So if you're looking to make your own character, we got at least one more. Plus we're guaranteed to get another by fighting a mini boss. Uh, let's go this way, as I said before. I'm kind of curious what the mystery room is. I'm not so interested in wood for the most part there. Like, funny enough, I want stone. I, I might have considered stone the other way. You can see we're only at 13 stone. Most buildings cost between... Oh, great. Most buildings are a lot more expensive. Uh, I will obviously take the gauntlet, which does way more damage. Yeah, now, I, now we could do the shenanigans like this. Like, Sword cannot keep up with this damage. So I do one extra whole damage a hit. And on top of that, I have a spammable ability. That was awkward. I was in the middle of fighting them. I couldn't tell if the cutscene killed them or if I just killed them so fast the cutscene occurred. It was not so long ago that we cast out the Red Crown. A mere thousand or so years. The heresy it preached could not be tolerated. Such noxious ideals could not be allowed. For this damning of sins, the retribution must be slow and painful. I cast the famine upon your cult. Oh, again. That's annoying. And with greed and ambition unchecked, it drew godly blood. Oh no, that's like half of the half of the people that were here yesterday. Or the day before. Well, I better go finish this quickly then, before another day occurs. I'm gonna go ahead and use the relic there, just to clean it up a little more. So yeah, building up damage over time means I have a relic that is potentially useful in a boss fight. Multiple cards, for free? Extra heart, don't care about that. Oh, come- no. No, that's no, that's not any good. I don't want those. I want damage up. Listen, the best way to prevent you taking damage is to one-shot everything. Aw, oh, I was too slow on the cancel there. I deserve that. So weapon attack speed up would be huge. Freeze all active enemies. Eh. Time is come and gone at this point. Yeah, the downside is that the cancels with the claw don't go as far, which is both a blessing and a curse. It means I don't have as many iframes, even though the damage is very good. So there is a little bit of a trade-off even compared to the axe, which has apparently decided my fate, though. Are I going to a boss room soon, though? All right, well, I guess I'll see what Twitch chat does. Oh, you. Hello. I was going to say Haro. Hapless Leshy, youngest of the five. Twas his eyes he lost. Tepper Moa Hecate, with her throat cut neat. Happily Calamar's ears, torn from his head. And Shamora, one of the brightest of the five, to their skull were split. See no evil, speak not, hear nothing, think none. Oh, I think Chad gave to me a card. The one who waits made it so. Thank you, Chad. What did you give me? You know what? I'll take that. I, I will take that over heart up all day. Especially early on in the game, when we don't have a lot of food. I will gladly take that. Later on, maybe not so much, but right now, that's fine. I might be able to get a use or two out of it here. And funny enough, depending on what fish we get, we might even complete the fisherman quest without fishing. Right, so I don't have a lot of time left in the day, so hopefully we beat this boss pretty quickly. Image there. 
Yeah, this is probably my least favorite combination of things. Enemies that go off the map and then heat seeking shots. Not a fan. That's fine. Go this way. Card. Rare card, so they're worth better. They're worth more than normal. Uh, I probably just want increased chance of getting heart back because most mini bosses probably give me an ability. If I go down to half heart, I'm losing really badly. I don't know what to say. Like, I hope that that card would never be useful in any of our runs. Oh. The Statue of Beast Desires Gold. I didn't mean to use it, but I did use it. We, well, we got a lot there, actually. The statue rewards an abundance of food. That's perfect. So sadly, I think I'm going to miss a day's worth of, uh... What's it called? Sermons. Which does suck. On the plus side, we got a really great room. So I have enough food to potentially deal with the famine, and we got a lot of gold. And since we're very early in the game, gold is more scarce. Later on, it will be very abundant. Yeah, let's use the 360 claw attack, I think, to clean it up a little. Welcome, JJ Persona. Hope you're doing well. How is the knight treating you? I like that I could kind of dash cancel out of the heavy attacks. I guess I should experiment with them a little more. I will say it feels like they tuned the difficulty a little differently than the base of the game, which is good. I think it did need to be a little harder. Where, like, I'm not just instantly one-shotting everything, which is good. I think that's a positive change. There's also these kinds of long rooms, which didn't exist as frequently. I'm not sure how many of them were new. But I know anytime you see, like, rivers or, like, challenge rooms where you're, like, dodging things while attacking, those are all new to the game through free updates. Welcome, Zafar. Hopefully we'll be saying goodbye to Zafar soon. Oops, I did it. I did it, um. Got to wear a costume to work today. Nice. Oh, this... This boss with our current weapon is a little awkward. This is where I actually would have preferred the sword. Because I want longer dodge rolls. Yeah, I'll get clipped every now and then. That's fine. We got through it. Let's go ahead and get Zabar out of here. Dress up as Nick Wilde. Interesting. Ooh. Probably want pumpkin seed for the other quest, although small gift was tempting. Alright, so hopefully I don't have the chat die off, because I did make another day pass, which was what I was a little worried about. I did that a little slow. Welcome, Farron. Hope you're doing well. And no bonus for us, because I took dummy damage. Interestingly, when I got this schematic for the pendant, that also gave me the pendant, which I don't think I commented on last time. We have a few more pumpkins. I think I need 30 or something for the ritual. And we have more seeds, so I can start making my own there. Welcome, Dust of the Bear. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to get an opportunity to make more characters, but I want to make sure I feed our current people, or we're probably going to have a lot of character deaths. Let me take care of that first. Our faith is absolutely in shambles right now. I'm going to do this so they don't die, and then we'll fix their faith in a moment. Also, chat, let me know if the Twitch integration is working with the uh, totem contributions. It should be good now. The other... Oh, somebody has a quest for me. Faith is shaken. I can see through your lies. You're a fraud, and I must tell the others. Others began descending against you. This happens with the cult's faith is too low. That's unfortunate. See, we lost faith just due to the fact that uh, they basically starved in between and then I had to panic feed them. Characters spreading falsehoods about you. Other followers may be led astray. Re-educate them, put them in prison. In order to loving embrace the cult or just sacrifice them, make the rules after all. So I'd rather not kill Kirk if we could avoid it. Huh? 
going to try to improve things a little bit here. Okay, so now that we're here, if anybody would like to do that, only the real heroes be for real, for real. So if you'd like to make a character, it should be working. You'll have the traits of naturally obedient, gain faith back into the cult. Excellent. Ignore dissenters when they preach. Ooh, that's also a good one. So as a reminder, when you go to choose your stuff, I have some stuff unlocked. I'm not sure if you're allowed to do the things I don't have unlocked. Question mark. But by all means, we'll enter a follower raffle. <laughs> Kirk's demanding blood sacrifices and violence. Welcome, Kirk. That's typical Kirk stuff. We'll give a chance for people that want to make their own character. There is a built-in thing for mobile as well as PC that should let you create the character. So that includes clothes, the color of the character, the species. So we'll let it sit for a little bit. How do fellas join it? Yeah, there should be a little uh, icon for it. So I'm assuming that everything is up and running. Somebody can confirm. The totem doesn't seem to be going up even though there's been a lot of totem contributing in the trap. Okay, okay, interesting. Then I will leave it up for a second so the game will still run. I just want to check to see if something got disabled again. Yeah, I still don't see it going up. Interesting. Okay, thanks for confirming. So I, I choose skip rewards queue. So it should just automatically do it. Forget how to see the rewards queue normally within Twitch chat. Okay, so somebody's managed to join. I think I need to be like a mod. I forget how to view it from the internal. I'm used to doing it as like a mod in Twitch. Uh, how do I see the reward queue by deep? We're gonna double check that. Give chat a minute or two to make a character. Oh, no, not drops in a reward. It's a summer. I just want to make sure they're not accidentally going into a queue. Went to desktop for it. That's fair. See, I know how to do it as a mod. I just, I need to learn how to do it. From a, the owner of the channel. Oh, I so said there's no rewards waiting. Okay, that's what I wanted to confirm. Maybe that's why it wasn't popping up for me. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't see it popping up. So it looks like chat is redeeming it from what I could see. Whatever. Rawr, indeed. So it looks like we have two participants. I'm going to end it here. So somebody will be lucky. And if not, we have another character. So it looks like both of the people that participated should get a character. If you're not, we're going to end the raffle for the first character. We have Wolfang here. Nicely done. We should have one more after this. Welcome to the cult, Wolf Wolfang. We're gonna tell you to probably worship. We have one more character, Clip a Brief for the cult, who has Coprophiliac, which gains faith whenever they become sick and does not become jealous. William has one more than one spell, so they're polyamorous. So we should be good here. But for people that participated last time, should just be able to reapply here and then you should be able to get in so yeah we're gonna have to fix our fate which is a bit unfortunate i guess i could have fed them slightly different meals i was more worried about them just straight up dying because we've had it before where it was like so and so is starving and then they die <laughs> like five minutes and i'm like oh so i just wanted to avoid a repeat of uh last year's uh run so give a little more time for people that wanted to make a character yeah interesting it's still not working yeah, maybe they broke it, because <laughs> at this point, it's... Before, it was everything was in the queue. So if chat is also redeeming things like the... So one thing I'm not clear about, as I said before, is if the totem has to get to a certain level to level up with that, which could be the case. I, I don't remember. They like to fine-tune those things. And the other thing I wanted to confirm is if chat is using, just let me know if you're using the in-game follower thing that you're going to send a message, because I'm curious if that one should just always work. So we'll give another minute or two, because I think I saw somebody else participated last time. So we'll, we'll give them a second or so to rejoin for the raffle. 
So just let me know. If you ended up using the, the follower message and you don't see your character walk up to me in-game, probably an issue with it. Oh, there we go. We got a participant. It's in the raffle. Welcome, Dust the Bear. Very purple. And very welcome. Uh, We'll have you chop trees, I think. Yeah, we have people that are just super ill. Unfortunate. So let's go ahead and do some uh, cleanup here. I think if I leave again, I'm going to cause a lot of problems with the cult. Our faith is like okay-ish. It could be better. We have a dissenter. And more importantly, we should now have enough resources to finally have an outhouse. No, we need the refinery. Okay, how close are we to the refinery? Oh, we have enough stone now. That's good. I want the refinery kind of close. I honestly just put it here. Here, Kirk's character being mad. So yeah, basically we could make resources consecrated. So we take lumber and make a consecrated lumber. And because... I have to collect the items. I want to put it on the main path here. So we could queue up an order. I could imprison Kirk for now. But I don't I'm like one wood shy apparently. That is so sad. Let's go see if we can make it here. So sorry, Kirk. I think it's to the stocks for you. It's important to have this eventually. But I might as well build it now. Because there's going to be times where even if I don't mess up my fate like I did on this particular outing, I'm going to get characters that automatically descend. I need to make sure that's taken care of. And once we get outhouses, that'll make the healthiness of the cult go much better. Okay, so let's see what Hot Garbage's poem of the day is. I'm a cultist again, yay. Follower of Remote Battery 2 likes to eat fruit. Almost for two, prefers to eat poo. It's not that good, is it? I need more practice. Oh, hot garbage. You're actually trash. The character refuses to work. All they do is little poems. They're such trolls. Unfortunately, Kirk is kind of out of his mind at the moment. Okay, if I rank them up here, this is actually huge because we haven't done a sermon yet. We'll end up getting a lot of resources here. Interesting it showed me gathering that, but I didn't gather it. Hmm. To pro tip to defeat the cyber demon shoot at until it dies, something like that. We are definitely going to say we need more consecrated materials. That should give them something to do. I'm gonna stick with the cult for now. Just to kind of clean up some things. Ooh, we got extra pumpkin seeds. That's actually huge. I noticed they're not automatically harvesting the f for some reason. Am I forgetting something in order to get them to do that? I feel like I am. Oops, not what I wanted to do. You tried sending a message? Yeah, it might just be broken, sadly. What a shame. At least it's only one point on Twitch at the moment. Yeah, I don't see a parameter talking to me in-game. Alright, so we're going to build up relationships as best as we can. And then we'll do a sermon before it gets too late. They apparently just choose to imprison them constantly. Well, that Poro. Sorry, Kirk. Actually, before we do that, I think we can abuse Kirk's current relationship with other things. Let's improve our relationship with Wolfgang first. Because I think Kirk will still count towards the sermon. I'd rather do this now. Let's preach a sermon. This should also fix our faith problem nearly immediately. So close. Yeah, it's looking pretty good now. 
Uh, so what I want to do is declare a doctrine. Let's go for the afterlife two. I should get a choice between revive, I think. Uh, yeah, we're not performing funerals in this game. That is such a waste of time. No, thank you. Revive, please. <laughs> right, chat? Absolutely revive, please, over a funeral. I'd rather have more followers than less followers. Sorry, chat. Your servitude is forever. 150 bones. There we go. There's there's the use of our bones. They also improved their relationship with us. So before we go any further, I guess I could have done it in a slightly different order. That's fine. Let's go ahead and revive Chris. I'm not sure if reviving zombie will make remote battery come back as undead. But we're going to go with Chris for now. We'll bring back remote next time. There we go. And then everything else is on cooldown, right? Yeah, I need oh I need 40, not 30 pumpkins. I gotta be careful here because my faith is just kind of shaky at the moment. Oh, there's not enough beds, that's why the faith went down. Never enough beds, chat. Okay, I can make one more bed so they stop complaining at me. So unfortunate. I thought we had a spare one. But chat's apparently deciding my fate, though. Well, let's see what happens. Exploding beds would be the worst thing for me right now. I have no wood to repair. So I'm gonna preemptively try to do some of this. Okay, our fate basically balanced out, at least. Let's see what Twitch chat did. Are they leveled up pop garbage? That's funny. I'm not even mad. That's actually just funny. Our poet just kind of sanded around doing whatever. Parameter says, Benevolent Leader, please don't judge me, but I've always wanted to eat a meal made of poop. Will you help me satisfy this dark desire? Door. Uh, Kirk, I think it's time to go to prison, sadly. Hopefully that te teaches them to chill out a little. I think I can make it. I like how this lowers faith. Where's in Parameter? He just asked me and then walked away. What the heck was that? Hey, where did he go? No, don't eat that meat. Oh, oh, no, that isn't Parameter. Okay, we're good. I was just making sure. I was like, wait a minute. Poor Parameter. Oh no, I haven't meant to be naughty. Oh, you did it? Truly or without flaw? <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Okay, that should rank him up at least. Good. Divine Inspiration Unlocked. We're gonna tell you to get bed rest. Okay, so I probably want to get... Janitor Station's not bad to get. Because I'm not gonna be able to do it right away. I probably want to get the Summoning Circle soon. Yeah, maybe it's the later farming station that lets me gather. Is this water? Maybe, yeah, maybe it's the upgrade I'm thinking about. Oh, okay, so I need to kiss to the farmer station too. Okay, so I didn't forget anything. It's just I don't have it unlocked. Um, hmm. Basic decoration, I don't care about. Healing bay is okay. Offering shrine is okay. It gives you random resources, which is sometimes useful. It's kind of early in the game for demonic circle to really matter. I might just go for healing bay. I might need this if we get another zombie attack. Let's not lock ourselves in. Also, we need seven more unlocks for the next thing, so I'll get the summoning circle later. I'm not at a point where I feel like I'm worried about our damage output or anything. So now, what we need to do is just make sure that we have enough buildings so that they're constantly working. So we need another stone mine for sure. That way we can have them doing more while I'm away. So I'm going to help them build this. I'm gonna wait for a day to pass, and then we'll do it, and then we'll move on to the next journey. Because this means I can I can generate more passive resources next dungeon run by just clearing this. Which I'm okay at waiting if it means more results there. Most of these characters are kind of ill. 
what we'll do is I don't want to lose faith. We don't have a really good selection of mules, unfortunately. We're getting there. So I'll stock it up for tomorrow. I don't want to feed them today. So tomorrow will be our last big thing. My garbage says, excuse me, leader. I wrote a poem and wanted you to hear it. Great job, me, says the parameter. The leader blazes, shining bright, casting off shades of night. Ah, I'm so moved by my own words. Okay, we're going to do this so they stop getting sick with each other. Yeah, getting an outpost there is huge. Now we have at least different roles for different characters. Wow, Diego robbed me. What a jerk. I'm going to bully him back. That's what he gets. So I guess jerks are easy to rank up, but they also randomly rob you if you interact with them. I'll take the extra level up here for him, though. That'll speed up all of his abilities. Alright, so we can slowly fix Kerr. Remote battery and Poro guy are fighting. I like how it says I broke up a fight and it removed faith in them. Like, no, let them fight to the death, apparently. Good to know. I don't remember that being a thing before. That's a new follower event. I'll kill a couple of these while I'm waiting for day to occur. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. And then we'll make the meals we have for later. I could also fish while I'm waiting. Yeah, let's go fish while I wait. I think that's a more productive use of time. Then we'll get started once we uh get what we need out of it. This fish is just free food. Where there's like one fish total to get, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, I got another follower for him. I've acquired fish. I guess that's nice. You will unlock for people. Oh, that's too far. That should work. The plus side, reeling them in should be nearly instant. We got some fish, but not much to go for tonight, sadly. I'll try one more fish. And then we'll go finish things off over there. There we go. New day has begun. We'll try to get a nice blessing on everybody. And we'll continue further from there. See, our fish, our food generation is not great because I now have to pick it up. So I want to make sure I get as much in that totem as possible. Let's see where it takes us from there. All these people that are doing whatever, I'm going to get blessing. Might rank him up. Close. Make sure to bless poor old guy. I keep seeing eat, and I'm, I'm like, my mind just immediately goes to cannibalism. It's like, eat poor old guy. I'm like, um, ideally no. I guess I could bully Diego. Man, that gives like instant friendship. Let's give a blessing to Dusk. So a couple more blessings there, and we'll get up to rank two with some of the newer people. Poor Chris has fallen behind a little bit due to uh, getting murdered earlier. That should rank him up at least. Which does matter, so every level up there is one more unlock for the church. Diego gained the terrified trait. Uh-oh. Did I bully him into, like, submission or something? Might have taken it too far with Diego. Take another rank up here, though. Which again goes towards building generation. Don't have enough wood to fix their stuff. Let me make sure that they have places to sleep, because that'll mess me up if I don't get it. Okay, let's re educate Kirk. Alright, so with everything here. 
going to harvest the food, and then I'm going to do a sermon. Because I want to make sure these characters are actually working when I'm gone. So if I don't do this, they're, we're going to run out of food. Which is unfortunate about the early phase of the game, where this is not automated. We got more pumpkins, so we need 24 more for the other ritual. But at least they can water these remaining plants. 21 berries is not bad. I think that'll cover us. Somebody has a quest for me. Do you want dust? Glorious leader, the base is an eyesore. Need beauty to celebrate your glory. Let us build de decorations in your honor. Okay, that's easy to do. Yeah, we're just gonna wrap this up and then we're gonna go on another journey. If I go at least while it's still halfway through the day, I think that's good enough in terms of timing. Again, this will give these characters more to do while I'm gone. So right now our food count is looking a lot better. Because I was at like, what, 12 berries earlier? The fact that I'm at 42 means I have another meal's worth. This should keep them busy for a while. Alright, so with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and do a sermon. Yeah, he's the one that get eaten by the cursed person. Exactly. Poor crit. He got murdered. But now that we did some blessings, we did get extra levels out of this. This might push us over the edge for an upgrade. Uh, so I would like to not upgrade our curses. Necromatic weapons are also kind of disappointing. I'm not going to lie. This is probably my least favorite weapon upgrade. I think Vampiric makes sense on harder difficulties, and Bane Weapon is still pretty good. I just don't think Necromatic really offers that much. So it's like whenever you get a kill, you potentially get more damage, but it's always weaker than just having more damage. Like Godly, Merciless, and Zealous, I think are all good for different reasons. Yeah, especially the critical hit one. So all these are amazing unlocks for our run. But this one, kind of weak. But fortunately, our next upgrade will be just general damage up on our weapons, which will make the boss easier in this next area. The next time we do a sermon, I should gain it. Since I need to get 28, and I can probably rank them up one more time. Oh, another doctrine just got unlocked. Um, I wasn't... Oh, it's on cooldown. I can't do anything anyway. Oh, they split up. I was hoping they get a bless. I picked, like, one of the only people I blessed. That was unfortunate. I don't think I blessed Draculina. So maybe I'll be a little shy without another upgrade. And again, if we have a dissenter, I could just kill them with sacrifice. I prefer not to kill Kirk, because it's pretty early in the game. Right, so I think I'm good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the cooking here. We have enough meals for the future. Should stop them from getting too mad at us. So their food should be sated. And then we could go on a little journey. Love everybody coming over. It looks like our food meter is mostly fine. Uh, as long as we get rid of that, we should be fine. Did I talk to Cowboy yet? JJ Persona, did I bless you today? I did not. We're getting there with most of the characters. Let's give a gift to JJ Persona. I don't think we've done that yet. Oh, but we only have a necklace. Uh, in which case, maybe we'll give it to Wolfang since he's currently doing things here. Congratulations, Wolfang. You have a necklace now. Unfortunately, just a little sh Oh no, I think we got the upgrade. I take it back for the blessings leader uh this might be good enough janitor station might have to hold this over for now we'll see is they'll probably run out of outhouse room at some point I'm sure all the seeds are stocked I ran out of lumber can i do another lumber mill i can't but i can get another stone mine so i want another stone mine then 
so much consecrated wood. Sadly. Not really, really able to do much with this. I probably want the bathroom close to the food place. Maybe. I mean, I'll move it later. Nothing else. All right, so let's let's continue further. I think we need to unlock more things. But before I go, what I want to do, grab these. But we can't do anything with the doctrine due to the cooldown, so let's proceed. Joking, me. Fifty coins. It's too expensive. Sorry, sorry, follower at a spider web. I don't think I'm saving you. Let's see, I really don't want to see necromatic weapons. I'm hoping to get poisoned or damage. I will not suffer the same fate as Leshi. Find me in my temple. You will join your kid in slaughter. I see more chances of followers. I saw something for food. I probably want to get food. That's a fair grab. Of course, we immediately get necromatic. That's unfortunate. But we did get axe. I do like axe. Maybe axe is my new favorite weapon, now that they nerf claw a little bit. I just really like the speed of this weapon. Well, it still has all the damage that I need. Having that as like a throw weapon is also kind of nice. Extra health. Like if I time it well, I can potentially multi-hit with it. It's kind of interesting. Oh, we clicked each other. Fortunate. Goodbye, my disease heart. So I feel like there's more projectile lists than what there were before early on in the game, which as I said before, I think is a good thing. Because before it was mostly just bats and then the stationary shooters. But now I'm seeing them have like a little cooldown over their head. I do not remember that from our other playthroughs. But I think enemies have more attributes to them in general. <laughs> I used the boomerang mechanic to go hit it. That's kind of satisfying. Which chat will decide my fate, apparently. Which reminds me, I have to make sure to build decorations when we go back. That should be easy enough to pick up. That means we'll be much harder next room. Oof. Blinky says, Hello, child. I know you. You're a friend of Ratkus. I recognize that crown on your head. Ratku has told me all about you. I'm on my way to visit him for a game of knuckle bones. <laughs> I have debts to pay and debts to gain. Yeah, he's gonna gain a lot of debts first thing else a knuckle bone. He's gonna get wrecked, chat. We did get more mushrooms, but I think we need more for the other upgrade. Please be a good card. Ooh, weapon damage 1.2. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Stack those multipliers. Like, eventually we'll get the ability to purchase tarot cards, but I think that's later in the game. So pay to win becomes real. Oh, that really hit me while I was charging. That sucks. Unfortunate. So just started entering nighttime and we're already partially through, which is good. Good little cleanup of the area while we wait. One you serve, that monster we put in chains, will not be satisfied and you've killed all four of us. You may have killed my brother Leshi, but you will not kill me. You will not get close to our bishops of the old faith. We are far older and more powerful than our dear brother Leshi was. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Ooh, I didn't dodge cancel there. That was my bad. Man, these guys are tanky. Now this, I was gonna say, yeah, this is definitely a very big difficulty increase compared to the base game. The fact that that took like nine hits with weapon 1.2 on Axe is insane. Interesting. 
we'll take the rewards. Part of Nitra's necklace file will harvest bo bonus resources. Oh, that would be a good one for Poro, potentially. What kind of cult shenanigans is this, ass uh, Dango? The craziest of shenanigans, apparently. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go food, rock, and then we'll visit a house. I'd rather do that than do normal combat here. Poison all active enemies, not my favorite relic, but we'll take it. Hopefully you're doing well, Dango. I could look at the book to see what tarot cards I have. Are there any more victims to the zombies? Oh no, we uh we killed the zombie early. We we, we put the zombie down. I, I had enough. I just had to see one character die and I'm like, it's over. So remote battery is still dead from that. We have remote battery too in his place though. Gold nuggets, I think we can use to start making consecrated gold bars. Getting excited for a new Monster Hunter demo. Nice, nice. We definitely need food, so I'm gonna go here. Mm. I will 100% take the pumpkins. And now we're seven away from getting this special event. And we get to murder the poor worm people. Do not, don't you dare touch my love. Okay, I'm not gonna strike them anymore. I know he'll get grumpy at me if I keep going. Sorry, worm creatures. I really need your bones. It's it's kind of non-negotiable. Anyway, thank you for the food. Actually, you put it up in stream to uncompile the shader. Took me like 15 minutes. Oh, on Steam. Sorry, not stream. Yeah, I'll probably not end up playing Monster Hunter. It's not a series I play. Hopefully, chat enjoys it. It's all there were demos and such out. Welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Ooh, I don't like any of these upgrades. Oh, by the way, Chris, your character is back to life. There we go. Now we have the rest of the day to complete the run. Which is good. Okay, we have enough... Maybe enough mushrooms for Sozo. I forget if he wanted 40 or 50. We'll definitely get enough just clearing this next couple areas. There we go. <laughs> See, that's the speed of the axe, chat. Like, this is just so good for us. So we have a lot of grass to feed our followers if I'm desperate. But I think with our farm setup, we should be good. Ideally, I won't get hit on the boss fight, but it probably won't happen. Is it Chris 2 or Chris Resurrected? No, 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 it's Chris Resurrected. We'll revive Remote Battery at some point. We now have a healing bay, so I should be able to cure him if he comes back as a zombie again. Please give me attack speed. I don't think any of these are helpful. We're kind of late in the run. I don't think it matters which one I pick, to be honest. I mean, there, I think there's like one chest left, maybe. Right, so I like tumbling behind them. If I throw the axe, I could kind of make it hover after me for a little bit. Wow, that was the chance of better chests. Well, that sucked. I tried. Maybe it'll make the boss chest better. I don't know. Finally, I've been looking forward to this. Make your peace, creature. You will not be leaving this temple. You know, they tell me this, but... <laughs> right, chat? But... Yellow crown. Let's see what the upgraded form of heck it is. Big frog. Checks out. Oh, I was not expecting him to jump towards me like that. That sucked. Well, so much for the no damage. On the plus side, we are kind of destroying him right now.
Yeah, I definitely this want to refight the against power. them at some point when they're not when I understand what their attacks actually do. Like, I don't think this is hard to deal. It's just, you know, suddenly tongue. So I could just bide my time if I'm going for a perfect victory. Let's poison the room. Might save me a swing or two. damage. Oh, the short jump there was so rude. I should just be able to brute force to the end at this point. Yeah, it's over. GG. I'll gladly take this. The heck, it's trophy. I might as well just use the boss trophies at some point. Although, the fact that they cost mushrooms kind of sucks. We got a follower form. There we go. We can now have bison. I guess. Wouldn't say it's a bull given the hair. Buffalo, yeah. Get out of here, random things. Ox King, yeah, something like that. So we should still get a very big amount of rewards because we did just kill a boss boss, so no matter what, this gets multiplied. Okay. I enjoyed... I'll let him speak first. I enjoyed watching you destroy Hecate. Her arrogance was always destined to be her undoing. Your merciless crusade against the old faith warms my cold, unbeating heart. There we go, Chan. See that? We're warming their heart. And the shepherd shall make a way in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, light in the dark. There we go. Officially just beat another boss. Not bad. Everybody should be happy about this. Faith should be restored here. Now, daily, what's going to happen is I'm going to tumble downwards and interrupt them before they go far. Yeah, this should be a mass blessing. Wolf Fang is looking kind of sick there. I'm going to tell him to get some rest. We're definitely going to tell them to consecrate gold bars. I picked up a lot of gold. I don't think there's anything we can do with Silk Thread yet. I'm going to harvest what we can here. So now we could do the other ritual if I want to, which I probably do. Poro has a quest for me. What do you want, Poro? Oh, my bones creak, my sight fading. My heart sings knowing that I spent my life in service, oh mighty lamb. Oh, is he old? Oh, Poro got old. Rip Poro. really need to get more lumber camps going because I'm running out of wood. I think that was the last one. Oh, I, don't have, I still don't have enough wood. That's so annoying. Um, I don't really want to build three decorations with these if I can avoid it. We have a lot of stone. Before the night ends. Yeah, repairing heads really destroyed our wood total. And there's really not enough trees for me to do anything, sadly. I probably want a sermon before it gets too far. The 
This might have cured Kirk, we'll see. Nope. Barely not able to do it. I'm gonna do this before they get cranky at me. Let's pass a ritual first. They're still probably gonna get mad at me, but it's fine. Um, probably one possessions, I think, at this point. Uh, I probably want the ability to bribe people. I don't care about getting money from them at this point. I want the ability to rob our, our chat leader, so I want to start working towards that. So sadly, I think I'm not going to get the upgrade here. I'll be a little shy. But that's fine, because I'm planning on staying around for another game day. And that did rank up several people, which is good. What I could do here is finally activate the Blood Moon Ritual. So we could do some bonus stuff. So we're finally doing the Halloween event stuff. To go from the moon to the blood moon. And because I woke everybody up because it turned night while we're in, in there. This is a bit unfortunate. But chat's apparently decided my fate. I'm gonna harvest some meals. That way they have stuff to do later. We're gonna be looking out for ghosts and such. We're just just have no way to get wood at this point. It's so unfortunate. Motion has been filled. Ooh, thank you, chat. That's actually a huge upgrade. Um go for demonic summoning circle then. Start improving our combat prowess in the future. Diego. I'm going to reassure him. Parameter's just kind of out here. Good broad. Very speed of chat, something like that. Yeah, so sorry it seems the other Twitch integration is still not working. So now, now I can officially say it's not on my fault or Twitch's side. I've re now reinstalled the app start to finish and it doesn't work. I thought there were supposed to be ghosts here, but I don't see anybody walking around. Maybe because it's actually nighttime, they're not here? Yeah, at least I still don't see it doing anything. Oh well. Another bed broke. Thanks, game. It's really punishing me for not getting lumber. It's kind of brutal. Our faith is super bad because I can't build beds, but I don't have wood, and I can't get wood. <laughs> so, like, what do you want me to do? It feels kind of mean. The game's being a little mean-spirited to me. There's oh, there's the ghost. There we go. I think they weren't here until just now. And we have a raven. A little bird buddy. I should just be wandering around randomly. Downside is this a before. We, we're just so low on wood. And every time a bed breaks, we're just in trouble. Are they like hiding in the center? Like, why don't I see them anywhere? There's usually like three or four. Let's give a blessing here. Consecrate stone. Garbage is not in a jail cell. Sadly, Kirk turned traitor on us. There's not much we could do at the moment. I'm too old and frail, great leader. I've but a few days left. Wow. 
Poor Poro, he's accepting his fate. How he became the oldest character is kind of wild to me. Because he was not even within our first couple. That's fine. He's not a traitor, he's just hungry. Yeah, he's so close to converting. Yeah, why am I not seeing these ghosts? Like, on a statement. I know they're here somewhere. Are you seeing the ghosts, chat? They should just be wandering around. Typically, they hang out towards the edges. But I don't see anybody, like, out here. Unless they're, like, behind this building or something silly. Right, we definitely need to feed our cultists. Now all pumpkins going forward can go towards this. So this is fine. I now have enough food to actually feed them, which is a good feeling. Let's go ahead and do some of that now. So hopefully we'll get more chances of wood in the dungeons. Like this. I might do another dungeon after this, like before the next day occurs. As I said before, we're just like really low on resources. Perfect mayhem! Oh, welcome, Azel. Hope you're doing well. Oh, there's the other ghost. Okay, I was gonna say, I know there's more. Oh. You're wide open! Wired the Blood Moon Pumpkin. Thank you, Ethonian409, for following. Got the special event one. Maybe I'll build that one. I think that's new. Thank you, Donk and Dice, for following. Appreciate it. We need to build some more structures, so let's go ahead and add decorations to succeed on the other path. Thank you, Dutch the Wolf, for following. Thank you, Huskabal, for following. Hopefully you're all doing well today. We're just playing some Call of the Lamb. Um... They're wide open! For the sake of clearing the quest, I'm just going to build three of You're these. Wide open. But we'll come back. I'll probably just delete those when I'm done. Clean it up after chat here. So welcome Raiders, open. hope you're all doing well. We should be getting new uh, followers next time I go in a dungeon. I'm mostly just looking for ghosts at the moment since we activated the spooky ritual. Well, there's the other ghost. Get over here. Did you just dodge me by going through the building? Fired the Blood Moon Skull, nice. There we go, more special events unlocked. Skull for Creature Repair Shot of Red Skies. Oh, I actually kind of like that one. I would have built those instead. Unfortunate. Well, I guess it is what it is, as we like to say on stream. I'm just double checking to see if there's any more unlocks. We'll talk to Dust. We'll go get the reward, finally, for doing that. Seven played it, you need to check it out, says Hazel. It's pretty nice. Oh, show us missiles, says chat. Do we have to take care of all the chat? <laughs> Twitch chat causing problems. You should get opportunities to potentially vote on my fate for certain scenarios. It does seem like the Twitch integration is still a little weird. I mean, I feel like every time we play, it's always there's always something wrong with it. But you should still be able to make your own characters, if nothing else. You're That's not bad open. for that kind of interaction. Thank you, Omega DJ42, for following. Causing problems is what we do best. I was gonna say, I'm surprised the game hasn't asked for you to vote yet. Normally, it does a decide your fate kind of thing. So I'm just looking to see if there's any more ghosts before we go further. I'm willing to spend the whole game day here to double check. If there is anything else. Chat has a keen eye, let me know. If they spot something that shouldn't be there. Like a ghost walking through our temple, for example. They usually, as I said before, prefer not to be in the middle. I'm just checking to see if any more of them spawn on the outskirts. If I don't see any, we'll move on. Oh, speaking of which. Let's see what we unlocked here. Another follower form. Oh, that's quite a look. Oh, I'm gonna say, there has to be at least one more, because I remember there being kind of like a skeleton one, so for people that want to make like a skeleton character, 
I think it is literally like a cow head or something. So we're, we're on the lookout for them right now. <laughs> it just unlocks Satan. Yeah, basically. Yeah, we're just checking the outskirts to see if another one spawned. You're wide open! Thank you for following Yeast08. Hopefully you're doing well today. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. If you have any questions about the game, or if you have anything you want to talk about in general, it doesn't have to be game related, I am more than happy to read the chat and talk about stuff as we play. Let's see, does Hot Garbage have a poem for the chat? Excuse me, leader. I wrote a poem and I wanted you to hear it. Follower Wolfang Twitch. Eyes like stars. How beautiful your soul. How lucky we are. It's not that good, is it? I need more practice. There we go. We got our daily poem, chat. Poor Diego is still cowering in fear. Oops. I'm going to try to reassure him so he goes back to working. Poor Diego. I bullied him too hard. I think that, as I said before, that's a new trait. So I guess... I guess if he steals from you and you bully him back, he becomes scared of you, is I'm assuming what happened. I'm just looking for another ghost. Don't see them yet. They might be on like a small cooldown. But it's now nighttime, which we have not really seen anything with before. Remote well, Battery 2 is fighting. Hey, hey, stop it. Bad. <laughs> We're breaking up chat. No fighting between yourselves. There's another ghost. So once we get the skeleton thing, as I said before, then I will think we are done. But we're still getting some unlocks with the special event. Grass and wood. Oh, the candle's actually kind of cool. I got Dracula. This bed is mine, pretty much. So if I get a grave plot, I can probably also get a spider follower. Since that is a reference to uh, Don't Starve. So we have the skull, I just don't have the unlock here. But maybe with chat's uh, general contributions by being followers, we can get it. Because that'll be the only time I bury somebody in this playthrough, is specifically to get that. Okay, I'm going to make a body pit just for this. I will not intend to use it for the rest of the playthrough, but I have it if I need it. Let's go ahead and make one. I'm going to put it over here because it's convenient. You know, just a general tour. You go, you get food, use the bathroom, and then you die. <laughs> that order. Remote Battery 2 is a quest for us. My friend and I were traveling together through Nora and lost each other. Can you please see if you can find them? Well, that sounds like an excellent excuse to get more followers for people that would like to make a character. I will gladly accept that. I'm going to go ahead and build a pit next to the bathroom, and I'm going to drop this in. There we go, spider buddy chat. Oh, that is a lot of things I just unlocked. Oh, this is all new. I don't think they did this before. But hey, we're getting Don't Starve references, I think. Yeah, that is, I, I would have remembered this, so that's good. I'm glad they expended upon it. Not enough beds for my followers, always. I get trolled every day, chat, with that. I don't have enough wood, I can't do anything. Well, Weber's here. Looks like I could tell him to worship or something. Let's go re-educate Kirk and he'll finally be able to leave the prison. I also notice it's normal daytime, so I might have missed an opportunity to get some items. Which is unfortunate. So we might do the event again, because I feel like we missed some forms. I'm going to gather some food, and then we're going to do a sermon, and let's see if we can get Twitch chat some characters. I'm very low on resources, mostly just because they keep asking for wood, and I just, I have no wood. <laughs> chat, my lumber is like four. I can't do anything. Let's talk to Draculina and collect the reward at least. Maybe we'll get something good out of this. All right, so... Oh, that's a pretty good amount of faith rebuilt there. Fleet Flinky at Knuckle Bones. Oh, don't worry. We're, we're going to do that as our victory lap in a moment. Okay, so I have, like, barely enough food for the chat as is. If I harvest this, this gives them an opportunity to do things. Since right now we don't have the farms upgraded enough for them to automa automatically do that. But as I said before, we have a lot of really good 
Oh, we can't do demon stuff yet. We have a lot of really good stone mines. So, we're, you know what? Chat yearns for the mines. We're going to go ahead and just make more mines. <laughs> just can never have enough mines. Oh, we can actually finally get wood. Oh my gosh, I could do something, chat. What a miracle. <laughs> right? Like, finally. I can place a new bed, for example. And I got to repair this bed. Alright, so before we leave this area, I'm going to bless everybody that's here. We're going to have a sermon, and then we're going to do dungeon stuff. Yeah, we're going to do knuckle bones soon. But hopefully we can improve our relationships with these characters to get a stronger bonus. Should happen. Show us the pig. Oh. Maybe this is the one that I was thinking of. If this is the skull form, then we got everything. Yes. Okay, so we did get everything. Never mind, chat. Checks out. Uh, we're gonna consecrate more stone because we have a lot of it. There's no reason to not do that. Yeah, I was worried I'd have to do the ritual again. Uh, okay. I can get something new here. Actually, don't care about these upgrades. I'm gonna ignore them. Let's go ahead and do the sermon, which should finally level us up, and then we're gonna go do the other quest. Nice upgrade for us there, thanks to our chat levels. So stronger weapons at the start makes our runs easier. Love it. And we're pretty much halfway through. Oh, one over halfway. That should be good for now. So we have to go to Anora. But chat's deciding my fate. Well, then I'll stay around a little longer. I was literally going to leave, but if chat's deciding my fate, we'll see what happens. Oh, we got Poro up to rank four. So yeah, taking care of the cult means that they provide more resources. But we'll see what happens here. So many actions now. It's kind of awkward. Three meals have spawned at your cooking fire thanks to Twitch chat. Oh. Thanks, Twitch chat. Find a view. Uh, let's see. Right, so if I cook these, I think I can finally leave. Let's go ahead and do that. The great meals potentially give us a ton of items, which might include wood, which would be huge, actually. Chat gave me wood. Thank you, chat. Oh my gosh, it was so desperate for items at one point. Finally, I can start doing consecrated things. Right, first and foremost, we're going to use wood to make wood, so we need to do that. If I could get, like, one more, that would be huge. If not, it's fine. Thank you, chat. So let's go to Anora, which I want to say is the one on the left. I honestly try to remember. Yeah, that's... Oh, unless they want... Oh, Anora is the yellow one. Oh. I might as well as unlock this one, even if I don't go here. So we need a, we need a minimum number of followers to open new dungeons, but thanks to unlocking the spider and keeping our other followers alive, this should be pretty much free. But before we go there, let's go and get our other character happy by getting another follower. As I said before, uh, once we get another follower, you'll have an ability to enter into a raffle. You could choose the species. I think you could choose some clothing options. Uh, color of the character, things of that nature. Another bishop struck down, Hecate ruled an aeon of fear by none. Her dominion being a famine, her peons now freed, are ravenous in their appetites. Tread warily, lest thou be predated upon. For sure. Ooh, Warmaker's Hammer is such a good pickup for me. Unless it's the one where I can't tumble roll. Oh, it's the one where I can't tumble roll. That's fine. No more no more fancy dodge roll cancels. But it's okay. This thing has enough raw power to one-shot anything. Well, apparently not. Strength in enemies has made them tanky. How unfortunate. And interestingly, the power attack is different for this weapon, too. 
So if we're lucky, I actually don't want damage up. I want attack speed up. If we get attack speed up, this would be a huge pickup from this card. I'll take poison. Poison's also pretty good. That means I might be able to just one-touch them. You're going to see me using Fervor or Magic Meter in the upper left a lot more with this weapon. It's very good, but as you can see, it's very risky since I can't combo with it. We can tell by the ornaments at the top that this will be a tarot card rune. Uh, let's just get a chance of getting hearts whenever we kill. As I said before, I generally don't care about health ups in this game, but if we get them, we get them. Linux says, Sister Chemek's madness was foreseen in the first turn of cards, drawn by her own kin. As I've always done, is destiny the grail which must be pursued, or the force which tries one onward? Come, let us draw one more. Oh, we're getting more lore. I think this is also new, Chad. I don't remember them talking about each other as much. Because I, I did see in one of the patch notes that they wanted to add more lore and backstory with more NPC encounters. So it looks like... If we do revisits, we're getting a lot more compared to the first playthrough of the game. Let's read. The first card, a beacon. The second, a shadow. The third, something lost, or perchance taken. Card inverted, it must be sought. The cards speak. A relic calls, yours to seek and claim. As all it should be, as it ever was, as it always will be. And the relic from Clonic's Clue. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure how to get that. Is there a way? I was going to say, I, I have not memorized what that riddle was, so we will probably go back and check that later. But it sounds like... Some combination... Of, so it said three things, and then I needed potentially an invert. Like, I guess I could keep those in mind. Interesting. So that's definitely a new quest. Get rid of these guys real quick. Ooh, the tentacle is actually perfect for this one, because it's pretty fast. Whenever you charge up uh, skill shots in this game, it does a little bit of a slow-mo, which is useful. I could see if, what the enemy is doing. I'm not certain. I don't like that. Again, we're really hoping to just get wood, but we're getting a lot of grass. Oh, there we go. There's the there's the roll cancels we want to see, where I'm doing those little quick movements without actually walking. That still kind of works with the slow weapons. It's such an awkward, awkward area to be in. My favorite though, Chad, is if we go to rescue this new follower, and then the game is like, I really hate this new character, let's kill them. We had that happen last time. <laughs> so let's see if we have a betrayal later. All right, so wants us to find a follower. So there's two things marked for quests. So it looks like I have to choose whether to do the follower quest or the other quest, which is a little, oh, wood. Oh. Chat, I'm excited. Finally. <laughs> I need the wood, chat. I need it very badly. Thank you. That's huge. I'll take whatever is here. I don't care if it's only like 15. I was literally sitting at like 3. I need like increments of 3. 18 is really good. See, it looks like there's actually reasons to dive back into the dungeons on a revisit. So we might revisit this dungeon. Enemy health, health. But I take double damage. I think that's okay. Oh, is this for boss refights? Um, sure. Alright, Chan, I'm not gonna say no. I mean, boss fights are fun. I heck it again. So, if you wanna go for the no damage achievement, you can always come back later. I might as well just kill them, because it'll give me a guaranteed multiplier. I think. 
think I took damage, or even if I didn't take damage, I still have an opportunity to get a big multiplier here. See, if I play, like, really cautiously, I shouldn't get struck by anything too crazy. That was close. I'm looking for the tongue attack, because that gives me the biggest opportunity to play the game. slightly out of range the downside I don't have rapid attack so clearing that AoE attack is more annoying than it should be all right so we got some quick hits on them I'm gonna save up my relic for when the boss comes back I think otherwise I could just play it safe here actually you know what I'll just kill them here Let's not mess around. So, so far this refight is going fine. I haven't been hit yet. That is actually the worst attack. I really don't want to see that attack if we could avoid it. We just, we just have the wrong weapon to deal with it, sadly. Oh, we're gonna get a flawless victory. As long as I dodge this, we should be have it. Come on. Anything but that attack, please. There we go. Flawless victory. I think that should be an achievement. We'll take that. Took a little bit of time, but satisfying, I guess. Oh, did that totally end the run? Hopefully it just means I could choose another room. If that actually booted me out, that was a mistake. Oh, that was a mistake. I didn't want to leave the dungeon. Oops, my bad chat. Whoops. <laughs> my chat, whoops. Interestingly, the Blood Moon Ritual was on. Maybe it was a glitch earlier. It went back to normal times. So we'll go back in the dungeon because I forgot to get a follower. <laughs> I mean, it was a pretty convincing win, if nothing else. Uh, what do I want to unlock here? Probably Zealous Weapons. There's something that lets me do more heavy attacks and more skill shots is good. We have any doctrines that I want at this point. Probably want to get possessions out of the way so I can maybe steal from them. Uh, probably better sleeping quarters for now. I'm not going to build a lot of decorations, and we're going to be upgrading our beds later. So I can do timed bed upgrades, maybe to save some faith later. Both of them fall off at some point, so it doesn't really matter to me, ultimately. Ooh, so close. We got another piece of the Doctrine there. I don't know why we had to walk forward on that one, but we'll take it, I guess. Which chat is deciding my fate, apparently. So sorry about that, chat. I didn't realize that would actually just boot me from the dungeon. I so rarely do boss refights. So we're gonna do our best here to kind of bless people. Force them up a little higher in follower levels, maybe get some bonuses. What did Twitch chat decide for me? That's the real question. Huh? Hmm. has pooped out something special. I mean, that's interesting. Thank you, chat. Uh, where did they do that is the question. Oh, never mind. I think I found it. That is a lot of coins. So 
If we can convert our coins into something else. <laughs> this one is special. This one is very special. We'll be in a really good place. Another divine inspiration unlocked. So because we've been leveling up the cult pretty significantly, we're actually making really good progress here. I probably want fertilizer silo. Just because that's another job for them to do. That means as long as I put it down, they're just going to speed up our crop growth, so I should have less food problems. And more consecrated wood. Alright, do I have enough to get another lumber camp? It's one of these things where if I just keep using wood to make wood, we're fine. In fact, I'm going to get more lumber camps. Just to confirm that I don't run out of, out of wood ever again, hopefully. So I'll take a hit now in order to get a ton later. Alright, so let's dive back into the other place. This time for real, get a follower. And in the meantime, I could just harvest these and make sure people are well fed. We'll do knuckle bone towards the end of the stream. I'm not in a rush for knuckle bone. Make sure they have enough seeds. Looks like they just up this up. So let's go do this. So hopefully once we get one more upgrade, <clears throat> we'll be able to upgrade the cult. And in turn, that will mean that we can have more devotion. So I don't have to micromanage them as much. And it's kind of the nice thing. It's like at first there is like a little bit of like making sure I have enough food, etc, etc. Unless I just want my cult to starve, in which case I could just choose not to feed them, I guess. But early on, we got to be a little more hands on. Everybody's pretty close to leveling up over here, which is nice. And the outhouse should reduce their issue. What I need to make sure that we do as well... I don't have enough wood. To say. I'm gonna say, it would be to uh, go and... get more wood to get more beds. So Diego's level 4, which is actually pretty significant. Okay. Oh, so Diego's no longer a jerk, and he's no longer terrified. Okay, so we cured him of it. That's interesting. Oh, hey, look, a ghost. Welcome, Promethean. Hope you're doing well. So we did get more decorations. I'm not sure how many there are. But at least it seems like we have a lot of them. We now have 11 out of 11, apparently. Maybe we have all everything we need now. Maybe. How do I become a follower in the game? Well, you'll get a chance once we get another follower. I'm going to ideally get a few here. I don't need to do anything here. Let's consecrate more stone. Because I have so much of it that it should just be fine. So what we'll do is... You know what? We've been getting so much gold. I might actually just go buy a follower right now. If he's not that expensive. No discount. Sorry. No no discount, no deal. <laughs> That's my rule of thumb. If he was like 20% off, I would have done it. We've seen them as cheap as like 5 coins. Spending 50, not worth. Zealous Axe. Perfect. Love the axe weapon. Let's go hopefully get some followers. And now, by clearing this again, I should have enough mushrooms for Sozo. So after this, we're going to be doing a really big, uh, what's it called? Hunt to Sozo. Oh, I got hit by the other things. That's annoying. Oh. Not the ability I thought I had. Let's continue onwards. He moves pretty quick even in slow-mo. Can I state that? Like, that was kind of ridiculous. I'm glad I let go of the attack. So we could potentially do this other quest here, which I don't mind. I don't need to necessarily go boss the boss the boss. Now that we have the other side quest unlocked, it might make sense to just come back here again. But we definitely need to get some followers, so we're guaranteed to get Hanona, who could be overwritten by anybody. The reminder, Chad, just because we get them in their name doesn't mean we have to keep them that way. So we should be able to get some nice increases for us. The 
axe cancel is so fun. All right, let's do the super axe cancel. There we go. This attack is so good. <laughs> the fact that it knocks them down too, and you can loop it. Mm. What a thing to behold. Okay, so now we can draw a tarot card. I would like better chests since we're pretty early in the run. And now I can start paying money. So I mentioned earlier, at some point, we'd have the ability to pay to get more cards. So if we want to improve our run, we can do that, but that's fine. We don't need to at the moment. When we're actually progressing, I'll consider it. On a revisit, I don't really care. Alright, so let's see if we can get some more followers. Hopefully we'll get some good choices here. We got another unlock. Not bad. Come on, followers. We're guaranteed to get one. But can we get two? Oh, it's making us choose between... It's so brutal. Alright, okay, I'll choose to get food, and then we could go get a follower. I don't think I need any weapon upgrades. Well, pumpkin's actually the perfect thing to get. Because we should be able to make some better meals out of it. Basically, berry is the worst thing that we could do for meals, so having 51 pumpkins should result in much better meals. Alright, now we should get a guaranteed follower. Did I take damage at some point? It looks like I did. Unfortunate. Man, that axe cancel is so strong. There we go, I took damage. I think I just bumped into the frog by accident because it is such a long lingering hitbox. Kind of unfortunate. I don't even think the enemy is hard, it's just that like, when it's stationary or it wiggles like that after landing, sometimes it still tags you. Unfortunate. Oh, you're still alive. Uh, so this should be potentially another Rapple opportunity. Let's go ahead and rescue them. I was gonna say, we flawless victory the boss. I don't have anything else to say. I don't, I don't have to do it. I don't have to do well for the rest of the playthrough. <laughs> like, I finally did it. I beat a boss without taking damage. Not excluding mini bosses, which are much easier. Okay, get some devotion. Don't. I think I want to do that. I don't really want to refight the boss again. I, I, I'm going to pass on that one. I think I just want to do a normal clear here. Sleeping bag has collapsed. Unfortunate. Uh, that sword is terrible. I will literally pick it up just to sell it for money. <laughs> That's all it is to me, chat. A coin. Why would I ever give up axe for sword? Especially if it's a good axe. No way. No way at all, chat. Oh, it took some damage there. Being silly. Finally a brick. Proceed to go a little further. I don't, oh, I don't know what that was at all, but I'm glad we did damage to it. Wow, this relic is really overpowered. How long does it last? Oh, Poro died of old age. Rip Poro. That was... Okay, that, that relic is kind of broken, chat. Listen, what was that? Like, more than 10 seconds of slow-mo? And it was like intense slow mo. Ooh, another chance at a follower. One of the gods in that godly power contain eyes and ears and throats and brains. Um, honestly, why would I ever swap off of this relic? This relic is broken. I mean, I think that's good. It encourages me to actually pick them up, but like. Oh, he's sad we're attacking his followers. Yeah, I'm not ever getting rid of this relic. I mean, look at this. GG. <laughs> right, chat? Like, I think we found the free win relic. And look at it. It's already halfway recovered. Actually insane how strong that is. Some relics are not created equally, it seems. 
Okay, so we should get another mini boss. So we'll get two followers instead of one. Oh, that was dumb. Oh no, chat, there's a lot of enemies. If only we had something that negates the point of having multiple enemies. Oh wait, we do. Oh, they ch the, the mini boss tried, chat. Listen, this is gonna be a massacre. Wait, did that freeze the boss too? Wow. He was off screen and he got hit by this? Wow. <laughs> okay, I think, I think we can all agree that relic is overpowered. That, why did that last for so long? <laughs> Today I learned, actually, how did we not get wood? This is so sad. I'll take pumpkin, I guess. Yeah, that is actually busted. That is one of the most... <laughs> I mean, that thing froze him when he... W Chat, I used it when he was off screen and it still hit him. He wasn't even safe in the ether space. Like, that was brutal. Nice, we got an eye of the witness for upgrades later. Actually messed up. No, I don't want to persuade onwards. So basically, if you if you have the ability to... Well, not if you have the ability. If you turn on in the main menu, you can have time pause when you're in the dungeon. So if you do want to just challenge yourself to like an endless dungeon and don't want to worry about like your followers, you can play that way. I'm leaving it on like default settings for the most part. So when I'm in a dungeon, time will pass or followers will age, etc, etc. So it's like more hard for me because I can't just like dilly dally. And the intent is that if you don't have a certain ability, you can't leave the dungeon until you get to like the end of a floor. So you have to fight like a mini boss or something. So yeah. For us, we're not going to bother with that. Maybe later in the playthrough we'll bother. But right now, let's go get our cult stuff out of the way. So yeah, we we found out what the uh, <laughs> we found out one of the mo one of the most broken things is for sure. Nicely done. So we should have enough mushrooms for Sozo. We now have a lot of food. I have some lumber. We're we're out of a resource deficit. So let's see if we can get some votes in here. I think Chat's probably going to decide my fate. Yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> Uh, Poro died. Followers died. Commemorations on your law or commiserations on your loss. Corpses not good for sanitation are likely to cause other followers to get sick. You need to bury your follower in a body pit or grave to prevent them from getting rotten. Or that is a lot of meat to just go to waste. Um, I'm gonna harvest meat. Don't mind me. I'll freak them all out. All right, let's get some more people into the cult. All right, chat. So we're gonna activate the raffle. Get to play as a character who's a germaphobe, so we lose faith whenever they become ill, but also polyamorous, so if I marry more than one person, it shouldn't matter. So let's go ahead and do the follower raffle. So if you'd like to make a character on PC and mobile, now is your opportunity. There's already a participant, so that is a good sign. So basically, there should be something you could touch on the screen. It's a little easier, I think, to do on PC than mobile, but I believe mobile is working now. So we'll give chat another 20 or 30 seconds to find their um, add-on of choice. I'm not sure how it interacts with the Twitch app specifically. I have touched it while on just like a regular browser on the phone. So I think that was also fine. But we'll give chat another, let's say 30 seconds or so, because I know there's always a bit of a stream delay. But I think otherwise, uh, I guess we'll talk about our thoughts. Oh, we have a second participant. We'll talk about our thoughts and feelings. So remember, chat, if you don't win this raffle, we're getting a second character. We are getting a second character as a reminder. Ooh, there's three people looking to get in. So yeah, that relic was OP. <laughs> I, I can guarantee you we did not have that when we played last time. And oh boy. So we'll give another 15 seconds or so as a courtesy warning. So looks like you have a two and three chance of being picked on this particular run. Since again, as I said before, we have one more raffle after this. So if you don't get in, make sure to still participate if you'd like to have a character. Otherwise, we'll be ending the raffle in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's see who won. Dango won. Congratulations, Dango. Happy Dango. Welcome to the call, Dango. Let's tell you to... I don't know. Ten farms, I guess. We have one more. Hot Garbage was leveled up. It loves leveling Hot Garbage, chat. True story. I don't know what it is with Hot Garbage, but it keeps happening. Rigged. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do this so they can worship. The one thing I need to make sure to do before we go too much further, I need more beds. I always get baited by this, but I need beds. I'm always out of beds. I'll praise and parameter. Let's do one more thing now that they're all over here for a quick bless. That's kind of nice. I could kind of trick them into doing what I want them to, which is grouping together. And we should get one more. So we had Witness Bathan, who we beat as a mini boss, but you could change them into something else. So they have the traits of naturally obedience. So you help with faith in the cult. They ignore dissenters when they preach, which is good and can be pet. So Chad, if you want to be a petable character, now is your opportunity. And we're going to open up the raffle once more. Immediate entry into the raffle. So we know there were at least three. So I'm going to give a little bit of time since I know there's a bit of a dot 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 delay, as it were. So I want to be fair to the people that may, might not be in the same time zone as me to join in. But yeah, we have a whole bunch of followers. So this is potentially going to put us like two thirds of the way there. So given that I only saw three people last time, I'm going to be closing it in, let's say, 15 seconds. As I said before, we want to give some fairness for the stream delay. But otherwise, uh, we should be getting another follower pretty much immediately after this. So if we somehow still don't get you, do not worry. Whoever joined, if you win, I'm a ban you from cookie runs. Damn. Promethean with the hard call out. But I'm going to close it in five, four, three, two, and one. I'm going to go ahead and close. Yeast has won. Damn, Promethean. Beaten to the punch. But congratulations, Yeast. You are now in the cult. <laughs> Let's have you, I guess, worship. We need more beds. Oh, we, oh, that's right. We're finally getting wood, Chad. We did it. We're out of the wood slump. Look at this. Oh, that that is so good. We're back up to 30. Oh, uh, we'll wake up remote battery. Since we did technically recruit a character. You can only the worst cookies. Damn. <laughs> Prometheans like cur curse uh, or plague be upon your house. <laughs> Let's see. We'll have another stone mine. Could never have enough stone mines. So I don't want to go to the sermon yet, but we're going to go get one more batch of characters. I'm going to make sure we have more food. So the more I harvest here, the better off we are later. In fact, what I'm going to do is that because we have enough farms and we have enough money, the smart thing to do would be to get another thing towards farming. So we need another seed silo. I'm going to put it probably here as well, just so I have easy access to it. And then I probably want to put down some more plots. We'll do something like... I probably just want them all on this side, to be honest. We're going to use up some of our cash just so that I can like some items a bit easier. We'll save the rest of our cash for later. And with this, now make sure that they have enough to harvest. So we're actually generating a ton of faith, thanks to all of chat basically helping me with this. Let's do a blessing. Maybe we'll rank up somebody here. Oh, we did actually. Because we're very close to a cult upgrade, which is actually pretty huge. And what we're going to do is probably praise Weber. In case I missed somebody over here. In turn, we praise Dango, so that works out. So what I'm going to do is, before it gets too late in the day, I'm going to interrupt their buildings by getting an upgrade first, and then I'm going to do a prayer. So if I get to the final ritual, I should be able to get like a ton of money, which is what I want because money will let me buy things. More ritual that will allow all your followers to donate, chat. Here we go. <laughs> this is the one that I've been waiting for. Oh yeah, chat's gonna make me rich. <laughs> here we go. And this should maybe level up a couple of people here. Yeah, we're definitely using that immediately. Yeah, ch chat's going to be feeding me money. Let's go ahead and use that ritual now, actually. We almost have a upgrade. We're so close. 
All right, so what we should do is probably ritual. Uh, is there anybody with the... Re oh, yeah, we could revive... Uh, maybe we could revive Remote Battery's original character now? Or Poro. Let's get Remote Battery. He's, he's been legit dead for a while. Hopefully he is not a zombie. We'll find out, though. Oh, no, he came back as a zombie. That's unfortunate. Well, we're going to have to deal with that. Um, that's that's for future me to deal with. But for now, let's go ahead and do... Let's, let's give me some money, Chad. I need some money. Uh-oh. We may be in trouble. Thank you, Chad, for your money. <laughs> He's just casually a zombie. Don't worry about it. See, we lost faith, but I'm going to use the sermon. So I lose basically no faith. The next time we do this, I should get a rank up, which is huge. So I can potentially imprison whoever is giving us a problem. And with that, we did get another upgrade. Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted to have happen. All right, so we need to potentially isolate Dango from murdering the chat. So sorry, to, or remote battery, I mean. Your remote battery. Uh, oh, I can't actually imprison you. Um, hmm, let me think. How do I get rid of you? I have to sacrifice you, I think, then. Or, or if we have Healing Bay. What do we need for Healing Bay? Be able to do that. Let's get Offering Statues out of the way. Should hopefully unlock the next tier of Colt. So close. Okay, so I can still deal with him. It's not the end of the world. How much is the Healing Bay? Need oh, I need wood, of course. <laughs> Chad, is anybody surprised I need Consecrated Wood? The thing I have the least amount of. Um, I... I kind of wish he didn't come back like this. I might be able to just keep him stuck in a conversation before he eats somebody. But this is not looking good. I think we're going to have a dead character soon. That really sucks. That lasts forever. He didn't eat people right away, so maybe there's a, a chance that I'll have... Oh, they're fighting. Do I have a chance to maybe... I mean, if they eat hot garbage, I'm not going to lie. That would be really funny. But <laughs> hopefully we have a chance to save them. So we're going to let a day pass. And I need that consecrated wood before we go too much further. Um, We're going to make like a million of these. I don't have enough beds again for some reason. I mean, I could just kill them. <clears throat> I don't think I can force them to eat, sadly. I don't think there's anything else in here I want to give. Yeah, pumpkin is probably the most efficient. So let's just make a lot of pumpkin meals for the group. So now we're kind of out of a food deficit. We're almost out of a lumber deficit. Once we get this healing station up, I might be able to cure remote battery, but I definitely want to keep an eye on him so he doesn't eat everybody. It looks like we can't imprison them. Which is unfortunate, because that would make dealing with them way easier. So we have a bathroom. We can... Oh, poor Kirk got woken up. So praise be to Kirk. <laughs> well, we somehow... I was gonna say, oh, we actually did we level remote battery. That's kind of funny. Huh. I guess that works. Let's see what other re remote battery and remote battery two are here. Boy Slayer, we call Cowboy Sailor from another cult member. We demand justice. Please, leader, imprison them. Okay. Sorry, Cowboy. Uh, I'm gonna wake you up to tell you to go to jail. Just quite a way to wake up. Uh, jail time. That was easy. Remote Battery 2 is pleased. That was an easy, easy upgrade. And then I could just release them, because I don't even have to keep them there. Which is funny. It's just, it's just kind of an easy quest all around. I like how it's warning me if the person doesn't rest, they'll die. And I'm like, listen, we, we got other concerns. Yeah, it goes hit old age. It's unfortunate. Let's see. Can we get the consecration out of the way? 
We really need somebody full-time focus on this. Maybe I could get Imperimeter on it or something. I'm out of wood again, despite having three lumber yards. Damn you. Take care of that. Come on, game. Weber is doing it. So that's okay. Yeah, sadly Diego was one of our higher level characters, but he's also hitting old age. So, hopefully that'll be done soon. So while we wait... I don't know why JJ Persona is walking around while sick. Not enough wood again. We'll give a blessing real quick. So most of our characters are actually decently leveled. But we're going to start needing a lot of bones, so I think by the time this is done, we should be able to consecrate enough, which is good. I like that these char we have two people working the farms, which I think is good. That means I could kind of do this, speed things up a little bit. So I have enough food for several game days now, because before that was actually a concern. I was down to like four, no, like ten meals I could make total. Now we can make like 60. We're, we're pretty good here. And I'll do this so that they start planning more. We need two more consecrated wood planks. So before it gets too far in the day, hopefully we'll be able to cure them. There's something I could do to pass time. You know what I could do to pass some time? Let's let's do some NPC stuff because we we need them to finish their tasks. Let's go to the Spore Grotto. So we should be able to help Sozo here because so we collected a ton of mushrooms. Oh, greet him. He only needed 20 for this visit. Yes! Yes! These will do just fine! Okay. Dozo will share with you this ritual, but you must not show anyone. Stand back, or you will get brainwashed too. Alright, so we now are about to learn a new ritual to brainwash our followers with the power of mushrooms. Here we go, trip vision. It's a nice little unlock for us. Before ritual temple, brain fossil all followers, faith will be locked in at full for two days. That's always nice when you're doing a longer dungeon. That could be useful later. Done. As you can see now, Sozo's loyal followers are brainwashed. They will do whatever Sozo say for a few days and lose no faith in Sozo. But afterwards, many of them will fall sick. Oh well, now that you've seen, you can go to your temple and perform the ritual yourself. I like that he has like the parasitic mushroom growing in his head. I think that's what it literally is supposed to be. Like that's why he acts all weird sometimes. Where like the mushrooms will generally have them gather up and then release spores. That is a real life thing. Gotta get those zombies. Oh, let's not buy any followers, I don't need them. All right, so we got that out of the way. We, we've been putting it off. We need a little more time to pass. So instead of just wandering around and doing menial tasks, chat knows what time it is. Well, well, child. You found your way here. Fancy a match? Be warned. I play for keeps. AJ Persona confirms. Yeah. Oh, Flinky. You're about to be destroyed in knuckle bones. Go ahead, roll your numbers. Five's a pretty good number. Two is a pretty terrible number. We're gonna put this here. All right. Wow. Okay, I'm feeling I'm feeling a little counter rolled right now. Uh, I probably want to put my four here. So our goal is. To wow, this is unlucky. So what I would like at some point is to keep a dice roll. So if he rolls the number that I have, he gets rid of it. He made a foolish choice in shoring up his middle column. That's what you don't want to do in this game. Because what that means is I could get away with any combo that I want now in the middle and he can't beat it. Am I really not going to roll a five? Am I going to lose because I never roll a five? This is going to be so brutal. Uh, where am I? Where are my five? So I don't lose. Hello? I have to do this or I'm going to lose. Really? You're not going to give me the five? Really? 
That was unlucky, chat. That was actually unlucky. So what was that? Eight rolls? I didn't roll a single a five. No, 11 rolls. I didn't roll a single five. That's brutal. We'll try again. I mean, if you never roll his dice, I mean, you will lose. RNG. Yeah, that was super bad luck. I know, that was so sad. Speaking of which... Wow. Okay, we're off to a bad start again. Come on, game. Be a little more merciful. Uh, I will stack my threes. He'll probably clear these, but that's fine. Okay, so now the middle is safe. If he wants to get rid of my five, it's fine in the middle. I'll let him do it. I don't care. Another six. Let's get rid of a six then. Yeah, suddenly this looks like a totally different match, chat. It's almost like if I'm allowed to roll a number that he has, I'll be fine. I would like to roll a two here to really set him back. Yeah, if I roll a two here, he's done. Um, yeah, this is fine. So at this point, I shouldn't lose unless he puts a six. Oh, he didn't put a six there. Oh, well, then he's just kind of foolish. Guess I'll put a one here. I don't think he could do anything in two rolls to beat me. Unless he rolls double sixes. In which case, we call that extremely unlucky. Speaking of unlucky. If he rolls another six here, I lose. Are you serious? Oh, no, no, wait. I get to roll a dice. Okay, that was almost really bad. <laughs> wow. I, at least, the AI is really good at rolling uh, the six, apparently. I almost got trolled again, chat. Immune to poison. Oh, I don't care about that as a tarot card. That's kind of a bad unlock. But since we're here... Let, let, let's bet on coins. Like, I know what the strategy is. If he if he locks a column, I put my best numbers there. If he has a bad number there, I could put a good number here. So he only has two opportunities to put a six there. So generally speaking, I want to spread my low numbers out so he doesn't just get a free column. Ooh, this is kind of risky because if he gets a six, it's over. Or he'll just lock in that I'm going to win. Okay. We always appreciate when he throws. <laughs> All right, chat? I mean, if he wants to throw, that's on him. Oh, wow, it's so over. I don't think he could come back from triple sixes. That is kind of the best possible roll I could get. <laughs> this one is special. He didn't kill my fives? Why? Wow, this, this is just getting embarrassing for him. If I roll another five, I was going to lose my mind. Let's see. Let's go for the dream. Let's see if we could get a five on the final roll. Not that convincing. That went much better. I'll take my coins. There we go. I suck, says Flinky. Yes, you do. We'll we'll battle Twitch chat, I think, at the end. So don't worry, Chad. You'll have a chance to knuckle bone me. Okay, let's see if the consecrated wood is down now. We did some side quests. Hopefully they're pretty close. So I'm, I'm presuming I need the red flowers for healing. Is chat deciding my fate? They are, okay. So let's get more stone. Now that I have this, I might be able to get an upgrade before the day is out, which is huge. So I should... Wait, why do I only have... Wait, why do I only have two? Oh, I didn't take the chest. Okay, I was gonna say. What did chat do? Faith has been increased. Thank you, chat. Alright, so... Healing station... I don't really care where this is. I guess I'll put it over here for now. Hopefully we can... Cure our other character. Apparently our faith was a little low. But that did help a little bit. Working with them to build on something should also give us what we need here. One thing I can also do is if they weren't blessed, I can bless them while we're building things. They could do this for a very easy increase for most of the characters. That was easy enough to do. Choose who to select there. Unavailable? Wait, how do we get rid of this? So healing beta- Oh, I need 20 crystals. Oh, oh, that's kind of gross. That's kind of hard to do, chat. Wow, that is unfortunate. So we could get crystals in the next area, but oof. 
Yeah, that's really steep for where we are in the game. And we're probably going to lose somebody to the zombie massacre. I don't think there's anything I could do about that. Uh, what I could do, though, is... Do I really want to sacrifice again? I really prefer not to, but I think I have to. I could risk it. It'll probably be me again, yeah. If it kills, like, one of the non-Twitch characters, I don't care. I'm not bringing them back. Okay, so we're going to get an upgrade then before we try to get enough crystal, which hopefully we can. And this is huge because, oh, now I'm forced to take the other upgrades. This is what I was talking about before. I wish the unlock for this was lower because I actually don't want any of these spells. Unfortunate. I like the spells how they were. Oh, well. At least we should get most of the way there. Maybe we'll eat and kill his replacement, maybe. It could happen. We're so close to a cult upgrade chat. That would also make a big difference for us. Oh, did I have another doctrine thing that I could do? Oh no, it's just saying that because I'm gonna use the heart. Which is fine, I don't need to use the heart. We we got the only one that I care about at the moment. Alright, so. We're so close. Let's give us a little more for the call upgrade before I leave. I think this is worth staying for, for like a couple of seconds. Come on, do it. Do it. One more upgrade. Do it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So we are now one upgrade away from a super cult. Okay, so what we should do in the meantime is... I don't care about the harvest totems at all. Pick it missionary upgrade. Oh, maybe I can maybe I can build a missionary to make sure the zombie doesn't eat anybody. And if he dies, he dies. Maybe that's the trick. <laughs> I'm trying to think of creative solutions to not lose characters. Um, how much is the missionary? Have it there. Oh, it's a faith-related building. Need more consecrated wood, of course. Oh, I just need regular wood for this one. Hmm. I have none, sadly. Damn, everybody's beds are just so expensive. Oh, quest from Imperameter. Looks like there's some other caps that are calling now seek a place to enjoy their founder mirrors. Maybe we should let them join them. Sure. Oh, Kirk was eaten by remote battery. Damn, rip Kirk. Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't mean to wake him up. I didn't mean to do that. I thought they had a bed. Rip. Well, I'll double check if chat needs a character. I'll give you an opportunity to join. If not, it's fine. Yeah, Rip Kirk. It's so it's so unfair. That one is so brutal. <laughs> to hear all the bones. Alright, we see a participant. I'll wait a little longer. <laughs> that sound effect is terrible. Alright, let's end the raffle. Assuming it's Promethean. Congratulations, Promethean. Hopefully you don't get sacrificed to the zombie god. Yeah, the fact that I can't put him in the prison is kind of brutal. So I need more wood. So I just need to let more time pass, I think. Hmm. Prepare the bed. I guess we'll try to get the crystal since we're here. It's complaining about not enough beds, but I, I can't do anything. I don't have anything yet. We can buy seeds now, which is kind of nice, but I need the ability to buy wood. Buying another character doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's hopefully get some crystal here at Anchor Deep so that we can stop having this follower killing spree or else I need, if I don't get 20 within two days, I have to kill Remote Battery again. I just don't think it's tenable to continue with how it is. Also, we got a new uh, spell. I did not mean to destroy that. Oops. Rip floor. We'll try to read it later. Yeah, th this is the only one that was worth unlocking. The uh, heat seeker, the wolf attack. This thing is like actually broken. How strong it is. The fact that it stuns is kind of crazy. I 
so we're at two crystal shards. We're ten percent of the way there. We're gonna do some rapid cancels here. We're at four, so we need sixteen more. This is a good sign. We're one room in, and we're already that far in. Speaking of which, so we're definitely gonna pop whatever we can. Unfortunately, with having early deaths, it does kind of mess up how many bones we need later. So at some point when we upgrade our cult, we definitely need to get cheaper ritual. Cheaper ritual and then shorter ritual cooldown. We should be good. I love hitting these things. They just kind of ricochet around and explode. So we're almost halfway through the crystal shards that we need. We might be able to save remote battery before he kills again. Arrow card. I appreciate more resources. I'll take chests because maybe we'll get more resources i'm not gonna pay for cards does it make sense if we're not doing a boss the game is not that hard on standard difficulty we'll take a little bit of damage here and there don't get me wrong but wouldn't be the end of the world either a new day is started we're getting fish drops which is also kind of nice Fish generally contribute towards more impressive meals in the game. AJ Persona is no longer ill. That's huge. There we go. The, we got a rare chest, which gave us more coins. So I guess it paid off. But we really need to get more crystal unlocks. Oh, we got the freeze again? Oh no, chat. Ooh, multiple quest things back to back. I think I just go here then. I don't know if I'll end up getting anything too crazy. A pops. I don't remember hops. As like a food. I'll take it though. I'm guessing this is also new. I don't remember this. Okay, boss time. Should be able to get another follower, is what I was gonna say. We're at 16. We're really close, chat. We can almost cure remote battery. Or more. Come on, we can do it. Man, that ability is so broken. <laughs> Look at that. And then they can also get poisoned during that too and knock down. Actually disgusting. Why would I ever, ever swap out what we have? Tentacle is not bad. But honestly, Hounds of Fate, probably one of the best abilities in the game. I'm sure chat remembers the first time we played the game. I used two of those and it legit one... Wait, did we charge Relic by just destroying random objects? That's kind of unfair. But we used that on a mini boss. It legit two shot the mini boss. I mean, there's no reason to not just use it all the time. Yeah, striking random objects counts towards building the meter. That's insanely unfair given how much there is to strike in these rooms. Holy, we're at 50% meter. We just used it already. Versus consume less fervor. Sure. So if I won, I could just long range demon spam now. Ooh. Backstory. He was unlike he was unlike the rest of his kin. The others dealt with flux, chaos, famine, pestilence, war, things which in their constancy must transpose. And yet he was the inevitable, the obstinate and irresistible, the one who waits. Truly peculiar to would then seem. His appetency to invite the novel and the new, break ancient vow and primordial bond alike. Traditions stagnate and appetites augment nonetheless. Doubt tears faith asunder. Dot dot dot. So at this rate, I might be able to get a flawless boss victory just because we have like the most broken relic with one of the strongest curses with my favorite weapon. I'm cons I'm wondering if I should actually just go buy the tarot card. I'm on the fence.
almost have enough meter to freeze right at the beginning. We're so close. Yeah, I'm gonna go see what the purchase tarot cards are. Let's talk to Calamar. He has sent many vessels like you, one after the other. They all fall. You've gotten further than most, granted. I shall enjoy watching your cult rot from the inside. A disease upon them. Oh, are they? Wow, remote battery is just getting bullied in this game. I I don't feel so good. Poor remote battery. Um, maybe I do just go buy a card at this point, just to see if I could get the flawless victory on them. Yeah, let's go see what it is. Maybe we'll get something nice, like damage up. Oh, we did not get anything good. But, I did come back here and build a little more meter. I guess that works. Unfortunate, it was a bad tarot card. We're so close to building meter. Celios. Not bad news for Celios. Oh, I took damage just then? That sucks. My bad. No more flawless victory. You know what I can do now? Now that it no longer matters. Or freeze him. Wow, that is insanely strong. I think he shot me underneath the enemy, so I didn't see that he was attacking right away. That is kind of insane that it still lingers this long. Yeah, they nerfed the damage of the spell significantly. That's fine. Oh well. I didn't see. Did we get enough shards? I hope we did. Lumber. Oh, I remember Cauliflower. Alright, we're definitely taking Lumber, chat. There's like no contest. All I complain about is not having enough Lumber. I don't know if we got enough Crystal Shards, so... hope we did. Okay, let's go back. Please tell me this was enough. Otherwise, I need to, uh... Put down remote battery before he kills again. So we have enough for one more bed upgrade. Which is good. That's probably deciding my fate, indeed they are. Uh, we probably need more consecrated wood, so we'll start doing that. I felt like somebody wanted to talk to me just then, but they didn't. <laughs> Oof, missing too. Yeah, unfortunate. You get another cultist though. If there's anybody else looking to hop in, they can be gullible and pettable apparently. We'll open it up, but I didn't see too many people left. Unfortunately, I think Promethean chose to be the old man, so I think Promethean might die soon. <laughs> it is what it is when it comes to those things. So we'll, we'll leave it open for a little bit, but I'm assuming everybody that wanted to make a character made a character. We'll say Rip Promethean later. <laughs> Promethean says, but I am the old man of the chat. Fair. Alright, uh, so we'll give a courtesy 10 seconds, otherwise I'm assuming uh, nobody's making a character. So we'll give a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three. Wait, wait, says Hellcleave. Okay, we'll give Hellcleave some time. See, that's why we give a countdown. We just double check. Welcome, Hellcleave. Hope you're doing well, Hellcleave. Let me figure this out. Yeah, you should be able on the PC select the character. We have a decent number of species unlocked because we did get further in the game. Hopefully there's some choices in there that you like. We did unlock the Halloween stuff too. We even have some of the special event stuff out of the way. Yeah, that's super brutal. <laughs> Just, I wish there was a way to like, again, impri imprisoning him would have made sense. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like if we could have imprisoned the zombie, that would have made it much easier. I'm gonna assume it's Hellcleave. Congratulations, Hellcleave. I was gonna say that demon has been popular today. Oh. 
be a little luckier in your next match at Knuckle Bones. Oh man. I wish. We've seen my luck. It was kind of uh, questionable, to say the least. I tell Draculina to go to sleep. Is somebody really sick currently? Maybe one of the remote batteries. Let me check. I thought somebody got plagued. Oh, unless they recovered already. Or unless remote battery died and I just didn't notice afterwards. So close. No. Or not remote battery. Uh, remote battery 2. Yeah, remote battery 2 is sleeping it off, I think. That's probably fine. I'm not going to choose to wake them. Uh, let's... Sound effect is something else. Let's praise for now. What if I break you promise I won't feast again? I don't know. I think that's going to happen, sadly. But we do have a lot of relationships up with these characters, which is good. So it sounds like I'm missing a bed. I swear I made like a million of these. We always run out. There we go. Now we have enough beds. What we're going to do is, before everybody eats each other, we're going to try to cook some better meals. This should be huge. <laughs> the zombie sound as they walk around is horrible. So we can't light the lighthouse. We need to spend it to cure the character, so... That's going to take a little while to get rid of, sadly. Have enough bed for followers. That's good. No, 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 no. Don't wake up. Oh, shoot. I realized what time it was. They're going to get mad at me. I, well, they're just going to have to get mad at me. I'm going to lose faith for waking them up, but it's fine. All right, so we have this out of the way. Let's do Afterlife again, then. Spectre Elders. Yeah, let's do Respect Elders. Is this will counteract some of the faith loss we had earlier? Respect Promethean. That's the easy counteract to what we have going on. There we go. I should get a whole bunch of upgrades now. And then... Even though this will make them grumpy at me briefly, I am just going to sermon it up right now. The Cran Cookie Elder. So we should get an automatic upgrade. Which is kind of nice for later. We're slowly improving everybody's levels just by making sure we do sermons. That's always nice. Yeah, we can see the faith kind of dropped because I woke them up. Fine, they're always going to be grumpy at me. Let's go ahead and do this. The remote battery is probably going to kill again. Oh, I might as well stick around for a bit and do another sermon. Yeah, we really need to get Ritual cooldown pretty much ASAP. I'm going to harvest these so they have more to do later and I have more food. So I think we have enough farm plots. We just need to get to the point where they auto-harvest. Once they start auto-harvesting, we should be in a really good spot. Because then I don't have to do this during the night time. And that frees me up to do dungeons. And you can see we're like 130 from getting one of the upgrades that we need. We're not that far. And I could put more... random items in here for them to start harvesting. That should help significantly. Oh, we can get in a Parameter's quest. Yeah, Parameter's just getting way far ahead with his requests. <laughs> and then I lost faith because another bed broke. This happens every time, Chad. This is so brutal. Uh, so I'm gonna bless them real quick. You're wide open. Thank you for following Sheena Fulton. Hopefully you're doing well. So we'll see if we can push anybody up another level, but I don't think we can in time, sadly. I 
everything else is fine. So because we're about to leave, let's just go ahead and do a sermon now, because I don't need to do anything else. Actually, is there any other ritual off cooldown currently? I could sacrifice again. Um... really want to, actually. I think we're fine as is. We'll get another sermon out of the way, that way I could collect their meter and slightly level them. So I'm going to level again, which should make the next dungeon run easier. And now that we did that, oh, we need one more. Let's do Fervor of the Righteous. Yeah, I don't care about new curses. This is actually a good upgrade. I wish we had that earlier. So now we have one extra spell, and or I have more heavy attacks, which is good. The next time we do this, I should hopefully have enough meter. But I guess it depends on if we have another death. So close, chat. We are so close to getting what I'm looking for. Should be able to get nearly everybody with this. Or not. <laughs> they just didn't spawn yet. I did it too quickly. How oh, unfortunate. Oh, we lost a necklace because somebody got murdered. That's right. Let's give one to one of our other characters. Do faster movement speed, I guess, on this character for now. Give... I guess Dango an upgrade? He's doing well. Harvest bonus resources. I don't know if that applies to farming or just mining. Guess we'll find out later. Right now it doesn't matter. I'd rather it be on somebody and get the loyalty. So close yet so far. I still cannot believe we we're out of wood again. I swear, Chad, every single time I'm so close and yet we run out. So sad. We're gonna have to make sure we can build another lumber camp soon. Because we are still running out, like, super crazy fast. Hopefully this will dissuade it. Okay. Are they doing food-wise? Mostly fine? Mostly fine. Um... Peace follower loyalty. Fine. This should at least keep them from starving while we go out. I don't need to feed everybody all at once. This should be fine. Alright, so we need to go... Ooh. Resources. We need to go a little further. Bangor has become gravely ill. Oh, it's like... There we go. Let's put them in here. We're gonna say no to that. Fair not me, I'm not a cookie. We could we could uh cannibalize you if we wanted to. So we need to go further into here. I can pay money to get more seeds. I mostly just want to get to farming station two, and then pretty much beyond that point, we should be pretty free. Ooh, axe with poison, perfect. And basic fireball, a little boring, but we'll take it. I keep popping that by accident. Like, I see it, and I'm like, it's a structure that I want to destroy, and I'm like, no, I really gotta read that at some point. The urge to smash it is so strong when we're looking for crystals. Yeah, poison should actually just kill him here. Or never mind, we're off right at the end. Easy clears, let's go ahead and roll over here in the cards today. Hopefully damage up. I'll take better chance at chests or whatever. I definitely don't need to purchase any upgrades. I think we're good for now. Axe is one of my favorites. I think it's actually above Claw now. That's my favorite. Just because you could rapid cancel it.
Yeah, if you had to like normal swing this, I would not like this weapon. Or maybe we could do stuff like this. Like, hmm. So fast. Just better sword, honestly, when it's like that. Ooh, a new companion. Blanco and Bop. Hello, wee lamb. Fancy seeing you somewhere dangerous like this. I'm Clunko. This is Bop. We're off to our friend Rato's for a night of drinking and dicing. It's going to be quite the party. Rato and the others know me for going overboard with the betting. Last time I bet, I lost my hand. Chip <laughs> literally has got a stump for a hand. Talk about overplaying your hand. <laughs> it was hilarious. I'll win it back, though. Say, you should come. You seem tough, rich, and fond of risk. Perfect for knuckle bones. Yeah, yeah. We know where knuckle bones is. It's okay, game. We know what we need to be told every time. Okay, extra meat. Bad. There we go. Finally, we got the crystal shards we need to cure the other character. And we got another necklace. Follower will never sleep. Oh, that that sounds like the Chris necklace. <laughs> Chris is never sleeping now. Live forever, Chris. Ooh, upgraded chest again. Flower arch. I guess for weddings. Make it more decorative later. We have not unlocked wedding, though, so it doesn't matter at the moment. Um... If we go to the left, we get another thing out of the way for food, so I might as well just go that way. Oh, plus it's wood. Chad already knows. That's the only resource I care about at the moment. It's wood. Wood and crystal shards. So absolutely going this way. Nice. Finally built some items. We have a chance of getting some more random drops. Hopefully more crystal shards. But if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Honey Devotion should put me to the next upgrade. That's good. We can finally have an upgraded coal. Shouts decided my fate, apparently. I like how it thinks I'm going for the other side objective to, to clear 25, and I'm like, I'm kind of not. Wow, that guy took forever to spawn. Friend Reto was the last vessel sent against us. The stifling coward. There were countless before him, all equally pathetic and unworthy. Whatever you say, Grand Cookie Holder. Nothing humbles quite like disease. I cast a plague upon your cult. Oh, that's annoying. Did Rubble Battery get hit again? Wow. Chat, wow. Wow. Remote Battery actually the unluckiest in the chat. Everything has happened to his character. It's actually insane. Just like, there are so many followers. It picks them every time. It's actually insane. Unlucky. On the plus side, I haven't burned my diseased heart yet. Although if I roll into that, I will. Another rare chest. Okay, that's good luck. And oh, we need some damage, hopefully. Oh, I'm not Come taking any of these upgrades. Uh, yeah, uh, relic beast. I see Chamak sustains herself still. The creation begets destruction as nature demands. Hatch uh, weapons we were in the, bo in the bosom of the last of the first gods. To bestow godly instruments and yet never wield them ourselves. As nature demands. In some place I feel darkness. Something of me, now in the belly of some great beastie. Through their bones, laughter. Seek this relic in this place. Okay. I guess I'll take that over flame shot. I don't usually use flame shot. I don't fully get the riddles, but I'm also not really focused on them at the moment. Other than Belly of the Beast, Darkness, that's all I really got out of it. I think jumping around is going to tag me randomly. That's what I'm worried about. On more items. Oh, there's a tree. I guess I'll do normal chops to it. I mean, chat knows I want lumber. A diseased heart from the tree. That's a pretty good pickup. So, I mean, the odds of me not clearing the dungeon are pretty much 0% at this point. 
but uh, yeah, I have my favorite weapon. If we get the relic that stops time, it's just over, Chad. Like, GG, the perfect victory incoming. I was scared to accidentally get poisoned on the poison tiles. That'd be a really dumb way to uh, lose the challenge. Yeah, I mean, we've cleared up a lot here. So I have a good amount of bones for revives. So once we get the... Oh yeah, that's the other thing we need to unlock other than the farming thing. Ritual cooldown will be huge. Oh, that was a very fast clear. We're going to get another chance at food. So I think food-wise, we're more than good. But if it wants to give us extras, like grapes is new, for example. So maybe the last patch updated more food types to make it more interesting. Since before, I think it was just cauliflower, which we haven't seen it. I think we've seen once. Ooh, crystal shards is huge. I'll take these. So it's interesting that they try and adding more food types for more meal variations. I guess that's fine. We get some more crystals. Push them away with my spell if I need to. That was dangerous. I don't know why I did that. I held that like way too long. Welcome, Elk. Hope you're doing well. We are just cruising through. We finally have what we need to cure a zombie or curse or whatever it's called in this game. That is a big enemy. I think I killed most of the minions, which is good. Oh, I got stuck. That was scary. Oh, I took damage. Boo. Versus the giant enemy, of course. Unlucky. Should still get the no boss damage, hopefully, though. Did some doodles, keep my skills up, didn't really make anything of me, just tells you I need to work harder. How's your spooky day been? Oh, it's been mostly tame. It was good to practice with doodles. But sorry that it didn't come out the way you wanted. I feel like that's also a big problem in art in general. Being satisfied with what you can create. There's always room for improvement. Let's go ahead and roll over here. Hammer. Do I want to use the hammer? Maybe. I'll give it a shot for a little bit at least. Ooh, Hounds of Fate again? Road Icker. I'm not doing that. And Death Sweep is not bad. It sets up for stun. I'm, pr I'm probably not going to bother about the no damage on the boss, but this is going to be good damage. Yeah, so I think they rebalance the weapons a little more. So I think I'm going to lower Claw. I might, I might actually put Claw below Sword now. Now that they nerfed its third hit hitbox. Because that used to just be like a godly broken. Hammer's still a little awkward, because I can't, like, clear projectiles very easily. I'll need, like, a really good follow-up thing to deal with them. Well, whatever stuff focusing on, if I just forgot to do entirely sick for us because our feels so lost. Hmm. Game has been on my radar while I never am grabbing it. How are you finding it? Uh, it's solid, I would say, so far. I mean, it has switch integration. If you want to make your own character or whatever, I think it's fine. Twitch chat occasionally decides my fate on things. So it's nice to interact with Twitch in that sense. Difficulty wise, I think it's fine. It's not like overly hard on the default difficulty. Ooh, not expecting an attack there, but that's fine. I 
happens the ravens watch grind uh oops i read the chat at the wrong time rip took damage gg <laughs> gg no bonus for me i don't know if they gave us hard or i suck by a struggle a lot uh i think i saw you play it before i might put it on my radar i'm trying to remember which one it was rip diego by the way uh, our choices are nothing that I want. Our choices are nine or ten seeds. And I'll take the ten between those. Kind of funny there. So hopefully I could go back before there's any more death at the cult area. So my bad chat. I, I could have definitely gotten a perfect victory on that. I was just being silly. Should not have looked at chat at that exact second. Bad streamer. You're missing your bonuses for perfect clears. But what we can do is try to cure remote batteries. Chat decides my fate. Oh, uh, come on. Can we cure him? We need, we need 40 flowers? Wait. Oh, no. Where did we get the flowers? Did I troll myself by curing the other character? So annoying. I think I can correct this. All followers have been cured. That's actually huge. I'm harvesting Diego. Rip Diego. That's not what I thought I pressed, but fine. We'll bury Diego. We'll bring him back eventually. Okay, so I should be able to get extras here. I think I told them to harvest it before I went here as a backup. Oh, I actually don't. Oh, no, I have Camilla seeds. Maybe they're just not grown yet. Told Diego he died, he's dismayed. Oh no. Alright, let me actually take care of this before I do anything else. Cult upgrade is huge. Because then I can. Then they can build more meter between runs. And I can finally start getting some of these other bonuses. Here we go. So I should be able to buy the seeds. So I'm not... I still have to wait, which is a little annoying. So we're probably going to have another chat death. What I'll do is I'm just going to go and immediately purchase them while I have coins. I'm probably going to make them mad by making them stay up, but... I want to make sure I have enough. <laughs> Listen, chat. Like, I'm not messing around. I want this out of the way. I'm going to put some in the other area. Game, please. So, I should be able to cure him tomorrow. We'll probably have one more character death. I don't think I can avoid that. Other than if I didn't use the Camilla seeds earlier. I didn't realize how expensive they were. I'm going to put them in here manually. If somebody wants to do a quest with me. Parameter again, apparently. Leader JJ Persona concedes the masquerade is faithful. Something must be done. You need to imprison them. Damn. <laughs> Ziki bullied Diego for stealing until Diego became fearful. Yeah, that is something that did happen. Except quest. Sorry, JJ Persona. You're briefly gonna go to jail. Wherever you want. Where are you? Oh, well, now you're going to sleep. We'll deal with that later. Oh, by the way, chat. Did any of you want to... Well, I found JJ Persona, at least. Did any of you want to make a character? Since we have an opportunity to do so. Aw. JJ for Soda is crying. I'm going to wake him up, though. Come on, wake up. Wake up, it's jail time. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, and Parameter got eaten. Oh, that's super annoying, actually. Wow. This this curse is one of the worst things they add in the game. I'm not gonna lie, chat. That that itself is like completely destroyed the run. It has killed like three important followers. It's so annoying. Yeah, it's like, man, it puts me so far behind in resources when that happens. So brutal. So I, I think that should not be an option if you're like too early in the game. I'll be real with you. Thanks for keeping us safe. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. 
I feel like that's a huge misplay. Like, I would say later in the game it doesn't matter, but like when we got that is like literally one of the first things that could happen to our characters. That is just too much. I could plant a grape seed finally. I'm gonna make sure that they can harvest these, so I'm gonna just take these out of here. Otherwise, I have to kill Imperameter. If he kills another character, I'm actually not gonna have enough for the next area. It's kind of annoying. Like, it's okay for them to die, like, over time, and that's fine. That's the setting we have, but, like, he's literally killed, like, six characters. <laughs> like, that's... It's just too much. That is too much for this early in the game, when you need, like, 12 to unlock things. Yeah, remote battery out of control, and Parameter got murdered. Rip and Parameter. Okay. So, hopefully... I will get what I need very soon. I've planted the seeds here, right? I'm gonna manually water these with whatever, just to try to get something going. Okay, can we get enough is the question from this. No, I need more. So I had a feeling that the super rainbow would speed this up, so maybe we could finally stop losing characters to remote battery. Please? Please? Oh, barely enough, chat. Barely. I right, finally, we could kill remote battery. Holy. Finally, the curse is broken. Yeah, that is that is a really brutal thing to get early. Yeah, like, just think about it, chat. Like, that took me, like, four or five runs just to get rid of it. If chat hits me with that again, like, there's gonna be a massacre. I think I just have to kill whoever has it next time. Like, we brought him back thinking it would go away, but it didn't, so that was also kind of painful. I know, finally. Speaking of which, how are we doing in terms of wood? Oh, we don't have enough, of course. Uh, let's then do another lumber yard. I will then build another bed, because there's never enough beds. And then hopefully I can get an opportunity to upgrade the beds so they stop breaking. I'm gonna make sure that nothing's waiting for me in here. Nope. That's fine if it's not. Let's do some consecrated bars. I don't need gold at the moment. Promethean has died, rip Promethean. Uh, sorry Promethean. No, no, don't tell him back to work. That's messed up. Game, just let me talk to them real quick. Get a group blessing here. So that should help. I might level somebody here. I accidentally chose to bury again. Unfortunate. I actually wanted to eat Promethean. I don't have another body for him. I have to just move over for now. Let's see, what is Hot Garbage gonna give us? I am here, my phone. Best is boy 666, the haven paradise found, a slice of divine on earth earthly ground. Beautiful, is it not? But they didn't level. No, no, level. There we go. Rip. Yeah, unfortunately I keep thinking we interact with like the other button, so I like hit that and it doesn't let me cancel it, so oops. That's that's player error, that's not the game's fault on that one. Um we're out of room at the graves. So what we're gonna do. Let's pass another doctrine. Uh what do I want at this point? This is a good question. I don't need anything in law and order. Sustenance is not bad. I guess I could just finish up sessions. Um, when a new building is constructed, plus five faith, gain more faith when delivering a sermon. Um, at some point, I'm gonna stop building. I think I'd rather the sermons be more impactful, since I'm gonna be doing it more than I am building. I'm gonna average like one or two buildings every time I come back, but. This being able to swing a bad event, I think, is more important for me at the moment. So sadly, we're not going to get as many bonuses since we had multiple high-level characters die back-to-back. -back, which is a little sad. So no level up for us there. Actually, I should have checked. Was this all cooldown? Mm, no. This one is. Alright, I'm bringing somebody back. question is who comes back. Mithin has died. Oh, right, I forgot Kirk died. 
we'll come for Poro next. We're going to go from the bottom of the list up. But I think Kirk getting murdered early was kind of rude. In order to bring him back since he was a zombie victim. Or excuse me, a curse victim. So we should live longer than the other characters. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want in here. Yeah, not really. Doctrine... I think for the most part, Law and Order is not that useful for us. Work and Worship is actually pretty decent. I guess I could also finish the, the Elderly one as well. Oh. Almost Brado says, Leader, it would be so funny if we pulled some hilarious pranks on Chris. They're real picky eaters, so let's make them eat poo. Well, sorry, Chris. I got some bad news for you. We're going to make some berries, so that way people are good there. Oh, I think I burned a meal. Then Chris is going in. Alright, so now with all the berries that we made earlier... There we go, our cleanup sick continues to level. So we need more splendid beasts. Oh, I don't want to serve them people yet. People's for a special occasion. Now where is Chris? Sorry, Chris. We're going to tell you to eat your special meal. Poor Chris. Little does he know. Ooh, did we rank up Chris? We did. Nice. Wait, did he eat it and then nothing happened because I interrupted the meal? Wait. Wait, he ate it, but it didn't count? What? Is I think that's a bug. I don't think that should have happened. Chris definitely ate it just then, but he didn't get impacted by the reward. So apparently you can interrupt the bonuses from food. Good to know. Let's try that again. Oh, I don't think we blessed... Oh, we did bless Hellcleave. We'll bribe Hellcleave then. I think Weber ate it. Maybe. I told Chris to go eat it, but maybe somebody else ate it. Does that, he was... Chris was eating something when I talked to him. Oops. Rip, rip Chris. There we go. Where's almost Rado? There he is. Okay. Rank four. So that should lead to pretty quick worship bonuses, if nothing else. Rubber sick. Go to sleep. I think we have an okay amount of things that they can plant. I'll just have them make literally dozens of things. And the first thing we need to do is probably the farm silo upgrade. Like, immediately, so they can start harvesting. Because that saves me as a player a ton of time. Then we'll focus on the other upgrades. Like, getting the ritual improvements. I think it's over here. I guess I could start going towards these... So we'll go for Tabernacle next. I don't think anything else in here matters for me at all. Like, I could just honestly wait and it won't matter. Yeah, I don't think anything else matters. So I'll probably need to do more concentrated wood because it always needs it. Let's see. Faith building. I guess I could place an offering statue on the way here just to see if I could get free items. Otherwise... Ooh, janitor station. No, 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 no. We need the other thing first. Where is it? We need three more consecrated wood. Interesting. Right, I'm gonna wait. I could technically get the janitor station, which is also a good pickup. Also, I'm just gonna leave Promethean over here. <laughs> just gonna, I can't deal with him right now. All right, wait, actually, wait. I might be able to. I'll do it one more grave plot. Oh, I see a sin category. That's new. Um, five wood. I can't do that. <laughs> Cat knows me. Me and lumber totals don't get along. But anyway, if you'd like to make a character chat, I'll go ahead and do that in just a moment. I wanted to get this out of the way. Yeah, we left Promethean out there. Okay, I finally have some wood upgrades, which unfortunately have to go to repairs for now. What I can end up doing is 
unqueuing one of these to get at least two more of these. That just makes sense. Um. Okay, so if anybody wants to hop in, sorry about the delay. You will have the abilities of Strong Constitution, heals faster when sick in bed. Gullible, you're easier to level, and naturally obedient. We're going to open this up. So a reminder, you could do it on the PC or in the mobile. I think I saw some people pop in, so I figured I'd give them a chance. Otherwise, I think from the standpoint of the random recruits, I will just randomly generate them. So if I see that we're missing certain species, I'll just re-roll them into something. But anyway, I think from the standpoint of the cult, we're almost at a point where we stabilized. Definitely cheaper rituals and ritual cooldown being lower is huge because of the fact that if we can even make it go from, let's say, 150 bones to 125 bones, that does add up over time. Show us missiles, something like that. It does add up over time, which is kind of nice. And being able to revive people faster is good. Add a remote fa battery, get two followers. You mean on Twitch? I'm not sure. But anyway, it looks like nobody's hopping in. Or if you are typing, just let me know. Just paste the message. Otherwise, I'll give a courtesy countdown. And I'll just re-roll whoever this is into something random. They are a really good character, actually. So we'll say 15, 14, 13, 12, 11... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, you mean the, you mean in the villagers. See, when you said follower, I was not thinking from like a game standpoint. I call them villagers. I guess they're technically followers. But yeah, he died, he got cursed really early, so his character didn't get to do anything. He was like level one forever. Let's make a donkey. Haven't seen one of those yet. Go for classic donkey colors. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Who should we name something after? You know what? I haven't seen Granite Knight around here. I'll name it after Granite Knight. Here we go. Donkeyed. Okay, we're gonna clean this up. Should be good there. Yeah, basically disease everywhere because everybody's sick, which is unfortunate. At least I can make it not red. As long as it's not red, I think we're fine. Like, that color is good enough. Then I can improve it just a little more by doing stuff like this. So it's mostly just the dead bodies. Okay. So it's mostly just the dead body in the corner. Who would have thought that was unhygienic, chat? Go ahead and, I guess, bury them now that I have spare wood. Just put it right near the bathroom. Don't mind me. I don't want them just puking every time they see Promethean, so in here you go. Let's free JJ. Release. Be free, JJ. Okay, so the remainder of our upgrades will go towards that. I don't think there's anything I missed in here. I could double check. Ooh, I got some money from the altar. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else you need to do. Unless... Unless I can rob chat again. Which I can. I think I'm gonna rob chat. Give me some money, chat. <laughs> Gotta spend money to make money. So now I should be able to get some nice upgrades if I went from other locations. They did seem to nerf how much it gives, which is fine. I didn't think... I was gonna say. How was that any positive? I was gonna say. Oh, I woke them up in the middle of the night. Oops, somebody just passed out in the middle of the road. Twitch chat's deciding my fate. Ah, oh, I wish I had the ability to use the gold to create something. I created Demon Circle, which should probably also be up here somewhere. I think I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to move the other thing. That's what I want to do. Edit buildings. Move it here. Yeah, so I want this, like, a little more 
Oh, interesting you could put it on the path. Maybe this will work a bit better. Wow, chat just made everybody vomit. <laughs> chat giving me more to do. Chat's rebellion for having their money taken. But fortunately, since we have Revere the Elderly, I shouldn't really have any faith drops for a while, even if people die. That's almost all here. Might be like one that I missed somewhere. So we'll let a new day pass and we'll go into another dungeon, but I think otherwise we're looking pretty good here. So close, chat, so close. Oh, remote battery has a quest for us. You know, my brother and I were traveling through Darkwood and were separate, never knew what became of them. Do you think you could find out? Sure. Am I doing a side quest for that? Although we might skip them if we get too many more. Hot Garbage has woken somebody up. Thank you, Hot Garbage. So I really need to get more wood to upgrade our beds. We're kind of in the point where I keep hitting the... Like, I have enough stone to do whatever I want, and I have enough gold to do whatever I want, but I don't have enough wood. So even with, like, four of these, I'm just not generating enough, sadly. <laughs> Time to rescue Remote Battery 3. Yeah, probably. Alright, so we're gonna cook meals for basically everybody. There we go. Remote Battery 2, the only one awake at night. Cowboy reached old age, a million beds broke. Really just need to get more consecrated wood done. I could finally start getting good upgrades here. Oh, I got random meat from the shrine, that's always fun. Oh, I was hoping that would get more people. They were so slow that it didn't do anything. JJ Persona leveled up. So yeah, we'll probably do a little bit more. I'm not sure what time it is. I could as I double check. I have my phone near me. Oh, we still got a lot of time. Okay, so let's take this from JJ Persona. Get that out of the way. Do a nice little blessing. Getting close. If I could somehow get them to rank up, this would be huge for me. Everybody's like just so close. I brought remote battery. Again. I'm gonna pay chat back their own money. That's how you get a level up, chat. <laughs> Thank you, bribe skill. Bribe hell cleave. Seemed to work well. I'm gonna interrupt that. Anybody else that was like remotely close? Dango's pretty close. I'd be able to bribe him all the way there. It's close. Again, I got a lot of money. It might as well just go back to the chat. <laughs> That's what charity is. You pay them with their own money. We're gonna take these. I'm gonna do one sermon, and we're gonna leave. Because the moment I can get the desecrated wood, I'm like finally free of my obligation to harvest these. Otherwise, I do run out of food pretty quickly because we have a lot of followers currently. This should help significantly. So freeing this up will give them more jobs to do. up a lot of cotton. We still have a good amount of food. We're gonna have a lot of rocks to take. Get the tabernacle that I'm looking to get. So we're so close to cheaper rituals. So the next time we do a ritual, it should be reduced. Because those are the things that start making us spiral out of control. Like, I could do, like, the Flame Bundle to get more devotion to level faster, which is also not bad, but it's honestly not mandatory. Um... Buy more food. Get rid of that, so they should be good. 
I'm somehow just always out of beds. So brutal. Yeah, so we're down to two lumber again. It is crazy how expensive it is. Kind of unfortunate. Like, we do need a certain amount of consecrated lumber. Speaking of which... Is anybody actually working on this? You guys are killing me. Uh, I'm gonna tell Hellcleave to work on something else if I can. Yeah, there we go. I think we lost who was consecrating because they became old, so I just have like a million worshippers, but nobody else is doing anything. I'm gonna tell them to work actually on... Yes, maybe maybe I just literally don't have the characters that do it anymore. Also, we have so many options here. I'm gonna get bribe. So close. Come on, rank up. Rank up would be huge for me. Please rank up. So close, but didn't. Um. Wow, we have so many options with these characters now. Uh, I'm going to tell you also to chop trees. I think that might be our problem. Maybe we ran out of people that actually do the work. Everybody became old. Right, so let's do a sermon and we'll go to Darkwood. And then we'll continue. I think I at least want to kill the next boss if I'm able to. That's on cooldown. Don't need to worry about that. One more sermon. So I don't think we're going to level up, but we should be pretty close. Oh, never mind. We're higher than I thought. I thought we were at 50. Disregard. We're definitely going to level. And that'll help because our damage is going to go up. Which makes the future dungeons easier. I could sacrifice to get more meter here. Which is probably why we're a little behind with some of this. But it's okay. So as it is, we only get 44. But we're not going to rank up again. But we did get somebody to level 4 for now, which is good. So now they're consistently giving me coins, which helps. Not bad. Yeah, now this is much better. I think we can agree, chat. We have at least three people working on getting us more wood. Okay. Should be good enough. Let's go to the dark wood. Not here. Or dark wood. We haven't revisited in a while. Maybe we'll see something interesting on the revisit. They'll warn us about things being tougher, but I don't think it matters. Winds of change blow. Does thou sense it? Around us, the world creaks and turns. Before it stood immobile, motionless, centuries grow rust. Now, Lushy has fallen. And hereupon, the inhabitants of this land begin their fight anew to presume power. You shall not find them so easily dispatched again. Oh, uh, it's the beginning of the game. I think we'll be fine. Ooh, Bane Axe is an amazing pickup. One of my favorite weapons. Death Sweep's also good for stun. Hey, we might be able to get more red... Wait, what? New Relic unlocked. Transmogron. Turn a random enemy into a critter. Oh. I just found one randomly? Okay. Interesting, right, Chad? Oh, I don't know why I got it, but that's fine. I was just kind of swinging my axe and things happened. Interestingly, I didn't actually get the relic. Like, I unlocked it, but I didn't earn it at the same time. Oh, Draculina died. Rip Draculina. Oh, I didn't know you could slash the projectiles of, of those colors. Huh. Good to know, actually. Well, this enemy's tanky. Damn, that's with weapon upgrade. He was taking more than one hit. That's interesting. We need to get a new, another relic. Yeah, hopefully we won't need to deal with Cursed again for a while, but if we do, I'm at least building up the resources for it. I'm gonna say we're going on a killing spree. The axe cancels are real. I like the river trying to move me around. Oh, I'll get rid of the river. So our bone count is okay, but hopefully we can make our next ritual cheaper. Spawn fish is more important than health. <laughs> like, for the most part, I ideally will not get hit very often. 
And if we are desperate for food, at least we have the ability to use grass for meals. And plus, oh, that's what I should do. I should get sustenance because I believe I can give them the herb of war trait. Which I think removes the penalty for faith and it makes meals easier. I think that's what I should do, actually. Because we do have a lot of characters. Ooh, got another feather necklace. Let's see, anything fun we can unlock here? Another follower. Mandatory. Then I might go check the other house. Let's go rescue. We'll call them Remote Battery 3 unless somebody wants to make a character. The joke will continue. I like that we spent all that time charging that spell and it was just way weaker than a single axe swing. I think that shows my complaint about the curses pretty, pretty accurately and why I don't use them. It's a little unfortunate. They can supplement certain weapon styles, like having a slow hammer might make sense to have an ability that stuns or potentially freezes, depending on what the curse level is. But early on, I'm like, nah, don't need them. Oh look, it even looks like remote battery, that's funny. I might not even change their look at all, it might just be straight up remote battery 3. Multiplying. Let's see what's here at this house icon with the little chalice. Oh, the relic we had from earlier. Anything else to do in here? I could refight the boss. I guess I don't need to do like a full clear. That also means I could technically ignore this and come back, right? I don't think anything stops me, right? If I just turn around. Oh, I have to kill the enemies first. Oh, we finally have shielded enemies. We need to use our heavy attack in order to break shield. Unfortunately for them, Axe's heavy attack is, like, amazing. Because I can manipulate it as much as I want. I see that, it just double hit him. So nasty. And now my question is, can I just go back now and go to the other fight? Oh, I can! So I wonder if that means if I get really greedy for resources, I could just multiply them by beating the boss. Maybe that's, like, the real play? I actually do the dungeon and come back there? Rather than do endless. I mean, I don't see a downside. I'm gonna get a free tarot card. I'm gonna get more resources. Potentially a better weapon, although that's kind of hard to believe. Zealous Sword? No, thank you. Divine Blast is kind of lame. Tenagore left the cult and took nine from the spy trait. Wow. We got betrayed from Tenagore, chat. You see that nonsense? Brutal. I guess I should have checked their traits more closely. Rude. I mean, fortunately, I'm not in a... Oh, it's actually kind of an annoying enemy. I'm gonna say, fortunately, I don't need any money. It's not, like, a big deal. I took damage. And mostly because I'm trying to dodge this stupid thing over my head. Fortunate. I wonder if I can mini-boss and then go back to the other one. If nothing else, Witness Agaris is important to kill. I'm not going to be upset either way over it. Almost killed him there, honestly. It's not the spell I thought I had that scared me. Oh. Either way, let's convert them. We did lose a follower. Oh, 37 wood. Listen, normally flower necklace, amazing. I'm like, listen, I don't understand. We need to go this way. Take Eye of the Witness. 
It'll help us for later. We need to eventually kill all the mini-bosses again anyway. Because we need that for a future encounter. But I... I wonder if this now means I could beat that mini-boss and then go fight the other one as well. Like, there should be no downside to this, I think. Actually, I like Death Sweep more. Divine Blast is kind of... whatever. If it had Freeze or Poison, I think I'd like it more, but... We haven't unlocked those yet, I think. I mean, I guess there's no reason to just not come back here. Right? Kill mini-boss, kill real boss. I only took one damage the entire level so far, and that was not on the mini-boss. I'm curious if the game will let acknowledge and stack these bonuses. The Leshy should be fairly fast to kill. I just have to be careful not to get bopped randomly. I'm gonna respect him going underground for sure. I'm more worried about these other enemies right now than I am about the boss. Almost got hit there. Annoying. There we go. I think that was a flawless victory. I mean, that felt pretty convincing. Yeah, I don't think I did not get hit on that run. I got hit in the room prior, I'm pretty sure. Because I was at a half health entering it. So that was a very convincing boss run. What a difference having Axe makes, chat. All right, just a, just a little bit of a difference, a little, little bit of a little bit of improvement in quality of life there. We should get a ton of bones because I beat the boss, so everything we picked up in this run will get multiplied, no matter what. I'm expecting at least a 20% bonus, and that is good because we killed multiple bosses. So I might have gotten the Steam achievement for that. I'm not sure. No damage from boss bonus, but only 20%. That's a bit, sh bit of a shame. But anyway, that's a lot of resources. So yeah, we got betrayed by a cultist. Uh, a cultist, excuse me. Harpist. Uh oh, chat's deciding my fate. Stunmine has run out of mine material. That's fine. More. Build more then. Yeah, so we have a lot of stone. Our wood count is actually not bad for once. But I'm probably going to do another lumber. Because I just want it to be like exponential growth. Hey, little wood. Get more back. And then hopefully... What is spawn? Great meals. Thank you, chat. Okay, so now we're going to upgrade the other station. That way I could do stuff with it. Now we need more consecrated wood, so I'm just going to spend it all here. I'm going to see if I could get a couple upgrades here with the tents. Since I'm really tired of these getting destroyed. So for the destroyed ones, I'm going to do this rather than repair them with normal stuff. I'm going to harvest Draculina. Sorry, Draculina. I want your materials. Uh, this, this has to be remote battery 3. I'm going to change their color. There we go. <laughs> it, it just has to, chat. Let it continue. Nothing but remote batteries. He's duplicating. Uh, probably chop trees. And then chat, let me know if you'd like to write a character. Remember to call it follow your teachers faithfully. Assuming there's nobody else. I might just... I might just leave them as witness Garis, honestly. Yeah, let's do that for now. I think everybody that was interested got their characters. Let's see. Let's use a blessing on everybody real quick. I might push them almost to the edge. He's leveled up. Give me more meter. We're so close to cheaper ritual, which is what I'm looking to get. So we're about halfway there, as of right now. Drive remote battery. Wake up remote battery too. 
There we go. <laughs> His brother is here. Nice. But I think now we're good to go. Hellcleave is covering something we didn't have before. These characters are now able to harvest. So now that we have that out of the way, let's have more plots for them to plant from. Since this is automated. We don't have to worry about the other farm as much. I just have to... Him, please. I don't have to worry about this one as much. I'll harvest manually a couple of these, but I'm not going to be as hung up on it, I think. Since the other one should now be a guaranteed food producer. And eventually, we'll, when we get a couple more cultists, we'll upgrade this farm. But I think having full seeds is good enough for us for now. So we're like a little past the halfway point. We've improved some beds. Feels like we're doing decently here. I'll give a blessing. Kirk might get a bonus. So close. How did Kirk not get it? That's actually insane. Well, speaking of which, I can uh, bribe Kirk. Push him over the edge so he's level 4. And then we owe him a necklace at some point. So I think we took his necklace when he died. We're going to give him a gift of... We'll give Kirk never sleeps for now, because Chris has a necklace. But we'll get Chris with that necklace at some point. Uh, so let's see, is there anything else I need to do for now? I probably need more bathroom stuff. The only other thing I should do is probably janitor, in case they all vomit up something again. At some point, I need, I need more desecrated things, but I think I just don't have enough ball resources for that to matter. Missionary doesn't matter. Yeah, I just need desecrated wood. I'm gonna make sure they have a million jobs chat of gathering wood. Let's hopefully get a doctrine going. Anything I wanted to get first. Do we max out possessions? I guess I could max out no, let's get sustenance, because then I can beat them, potentially. Uh, I can use Feasting Ritual as, like, a cheap way. Like, fast is good for the long term, but I could pick that up later. I think Feasting Ritual is just better. Because it's another way for me to get faith. That's what I'm more interested in. I'd rather restore the faith, faith with where we're at. Because we're more likely than not on the final boss kind of run to end up in a scenario where we just don't have enough food. And or will have people betray us. Um... We need to worry about these, yeah. So we have a few ways to raise faith. Let's see the sermon. So, so far no level 5 cultists, but we'll get there eventually. Next time we do this, we are guaranteed an upgrade, even if we have people die. How close we are, chat, to the cheaper ritual. I am liking that I can take gold from this now, though. So it just ensures that I always have just a little teeny bit. Hellcleave is doing Hellcleave things. Let's bless Hellcleave. To put him at level 3, which means he is more efficient at his job. So it's just kind of win win for me at this point. Ooh, it looks like somebody left stones here. If only it was Lumber Chat. Okay, we have a ton of resources now. Feels pretty good. Hmm. We're pretty close to crossing over into a new day, so I might stay here for a little longer. I wish... Yeah, we might need to get one more point into uh, the sustenance in order for them to get grass meals. Try this. I'm not sure who's hungry, but I'm assuming a few people are, at least. How are we doing in terms of time? Almost night time? I'll wait it out then. Not in a rush. Yeah, they're like mostly sanitary now, which is good. Well, Hellfleet is actually consecrating these pretty quickly. That's good for us. I can finally start making more important business decisions going forward. Oops. 
bless Reto, because I don't think we did. Oh, we did. Regard. What about you, Weber? We'll bribe you. What are his traits, by the way? Work speed increase. We'll never starve. I guess that's cute, because he's the don't starve character. Plus cowboy, so he's level 4. And we'll... Oh, can't give him money? Interesting, I didn't realize you couldn't do that to older people. Apparently, elderly folk are immune to bribes. Today we learn, chat. According to Cult of the Lamb. Allegedly. That is a lot of things I just harvested again. That's good. Yeah, they should work faster overall, which is nice. Do I not have enough beds again? How does this happen every time, chat? It's like actually insane. Oh no, I have 21 homes. They're just choosing not to sleep there. Okay. We'll put one more spare bed just in case. Ooh, what does Kirk have for us quest-wise? Wish for you to take us on a spiritual journey. Bend our conceptions of space and time with those menticide mushrooms. Sure, I'll do that at some point. Right now, though, I don't think it matters. Cool. Praise Dusk. That'll level them up. So the next morning, we might get an upgrade. We have leveled a few people just before that happened. And most importantly, we should be now lined up with Cheaper Ritual. 50% less is huge. I think chat can agree. 150 becoming 75. Massive. Now we just need Ritual cooldown. And we're basically set for the game. Once that happens, I could generate just completely obscene amounts of cash. And there's pretty much nothing they could do to stop me. We know at some point we're going to have to deal with other ailments and such. Today is not that day. So, if we happen to get cursed again, I at least have some resources to deal with it. I still need more crystal shards, but we're going to do that the next day. We'll harvest these so they spend more time doing other things in the meantime. So I'm waiting anyway. I could also fish right now, but I don't think it's really worth it. I'm just going to ensure that they plant and do more here. Shelter has collapsed, which is... Wait, the shelter collapsed? Friend and I, what would you like to do? Tired of sleeping outside on the ground, there are bugs on my back. Would you build me somewhere to rest? I thought I did already. Why is he asking for another sleeping... I mean, listen, if he wants another sleeping bag, we'd have put like a million. That's fine. Um, I sadly can't upgrade the one that collapsed because it was our good one. What I'll do is I'll interrupt everybody's conversations to bless people. Because again, if I could get a level up here, this would be huge. Oh, somebody's making an offering. Well, that's good. You could do the knuckle bones, but that pauses time. Yeah, knuckle, knuckle bone pauses time. Real time does not advance while we knuckle bone. So it's like if I just wanted to go to the next phase, I could do it. Right now, I don't need to do anything. Plus, we already did the knuckle bone. Uh, well, one of the knuckle bones. I guess I could do the other one. Dripstone mine. Alright, so we should have enough characters here to do what we need. Question is... Do we need to do anything else? I guess I could bless. See if I could get something here. Close, but not quite. Okay, this should make Ren and Knight happy. Let's go ahead and hand the quest in. Big improvement on relationship there. But I think that's all I need to do for now. Oh, we can level Cowboy, actually. So if I could squeeze out a couple more level ups, I will bless them. Since this will save me time in the future. It also means that at some point we do have to sacrifice high level followers. So I'd like for chat to not have to die forever. Remote Battery 3, you robbed me? I'm bullying you. I'm bullying you, Remote Battery 3. <laughs> Your brothers are better than you. <laughs> right, chat? Actually insane. I just got mugged. Alright, we'll talk to the one of the remote batter. I've lost track. Which one is this one? Oh, it's an original. Okay. <laughs> There's so many, chat. Okay, right, so they gave us fish. Which is just kind of free resources. Alright, so what I want to do 
is I want to revive first if it's available. How is it not off cooldown? It's so painful, chat. I don't want to menticide yet. I really just want to revive, but everything is on cooldown still. This is so sad. Okay, I'm gonna hope. Oh, chat's assigned my fate. I'm just gonna say, I hope by the time I go and do this little side quest that we could do the revive ritual. It would save me a lot of time. Oh, they actually chopped wood. Nice. I don't know why they're going, like, way out of their way. Is this Phil? It is Phil. Hey, what is chat doing to me? You ready for sermon unlock? Oh. No, I didn't I didn't do my sermon yet. Oh, that's so sad. I wish I do. Oh well. You can do it now, I guess. So unfortunate. Oh, I have this one already. Uh, merciless weapons are good. Being able to double damage is huge. We'll, we'll see if Remote Battery redeems himself. We'll see if Remote Battery 1 is the best of the Remote Batteries at some point. That is looking like a solid level up next time we do this. Nice, and we got a level up. We're guaranteed to get more next time. We were so close to a revive. Look how close it was. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait it out a little. And then I'm gonna make everybody take some mushrooms or something. So close. I don't think I'll be able to get cheaper ritual in time, or ritual cooldown in time. But I think that's fine. I don't have to wait for all of the things to be perfect. Better just to get it going. We'll bribe remote battery, maybe get him close to level 4. Pretty close. How you doing, Dango? I'm also gonna bless you. Should be level 3, I think, after this. Which is also huge, because it makes them more productive. So maybe it's possible? I mean, we're getting a lot of little soul bonuses. And a broad Pris. Is there anybody else that's like really close to ranking up? Granonite's kind of close. Oh. Do anything else to improve our relationship with him. Oh, harvest bonus resources. That's good. Let's give it to you. Level up. Get a little more souls. So maybe we'll actually get the cooldown? Since now that eliminated like the need of almost 30 souls, which is kind of huge. See, that's how we need less than 100 now. Not quite. I mean, there's no reason for me to not at least bribe every day, because it's just free meter. It's mostly chat's money anyway, so this is fine. I really just need, like, one or two more level ups. Not garbage, what do you have to say? Wicked Hecate, once so proud to the fearsome land she bowed. At least there's, like, unique things every time we come across this. That's nice. Everybody else is kind of capped. Unless we could get Witness to give us something. Close. We do anything to make them like us more. We can't do that. I don't really want to give them a thing over Twitch chat. Oh, I could give Hellcleave the ability to move quicker. That might actually be relevant. Give him a gift. He seems to be doing all sorts of odd jobs. That means he'll get to work faster. Then we'll pay him money, so hopefully we'll be happy. We only just need like a little bit more. Well, we have a ton of people working for lumber, which is good. Let's get like a tiny bit more souls. We're so close. But I don't think there's anything I could do to squeeze out another little bit, unless you could get bribed with something. Really ran out of gifts. So close, Chad, yet so far. 
I mean, I think at this point it's worth waiting for the souls, given that we jumped it like almost 30. Oh, you know what I could do, actually? Unironically, let's go do Knucklebone, because at Knucklebone, if you remember, there is a place to get more devotion. So I can do that and then come back, rather than wait another 20 seconds. <laughs> right, child? Like, that's pretty close. And we can also go to the lighthouse, too, if I need to, for the last little bit. We lamb, glad you could make it. How about a match? Difficulty is half. So I can also visit the lighthouse for the last little bit rather than wait it out. And given that I've literally talked to everybody at this point, I think it makes sense to go do that. And then I'll leave the, the place proper. Wow, he's actually just getting destroyed right now. Oh, never mind. Counter destroyed. Just, no one is allowed to play dice anymore, Chad. We're only going to roll each other's numbers. This is actually just brutal. Wait, he chose not to counter my dice? Okay. I'm okay with this. Okay. I'm also okay with that. I don't care what he puts in the third column. I think I'm just going to outpace him. Or he'll do that. That sucks. Well, he had this coming. Oh, he chose to give a value there. I don't think I would have done that. Because I now have a chance of getting a 5, and it's over if that happens. Ooh, double 4 there kind of sucks. Alright, we're taking away his value. He took my value away as well. Come on, roll a 5. Come on. We're just sitting here countering each other over and over. That's so silly. Probably want to put a 2 here. I should still... I was going to say, I should still win as long as I don't get cancelled again. Alright, now I should win. I just have to make sure he doesn't double anything. Honestly, maybe this is fine. If I get a 4, he loses. But if he gets a 4, he wins. What? Wait. Wait, did it freeze? Oh, it froze? Oh, knuckle bones. You have a bug? Look at that. It's not letting me use the four. Knuckle bones. Come on. I could have won that. I would have removed 16 points. I would have been up nine. Oh, come on. Knuckle bones. There shouldn't be bugs on knuckle bones. Get out of here. AJ Persona died. Unfortunate. I got robbed, Chad. That, I'm pretty sure that was my victory. It would have been almost a 20-point swing, and then I could have just rolled to cancel him at the end. So unfair. Like, did it not think we would go on that long? So sad. I need to get rid of a game, please. <laughs> Knuckle bugs, exactly. I need to roll a 6 at some point, please. Thank you. He cannot be allowed to keep high numbers. He can keep 1 to 3. He just cannot be allowed to keep, like these kinds of numbers. Okay, roll double five. Please make... There we go. This is what I want. It's a big point swing for me, and I'm almost done with the board, which is important. Alright, he can do whatever he wants in the right column. I don't care. Um, I'm gonna let him double it up. If he wants to double it up, I'm okay with it. I should just win now. He has to roll a four or a six where he loses. Of course. Right, chat, chat, of course. Okay, he needs to roll a six or a two or he loses, of course. I think we're going into the realm of really unlucky. Oh, there we go. At least it's over. Oh wow, all sixes, GG. <laughs> that feeling when two thirds, but still lose anyway. Okay, what card did he give us? It's probably terrible. See five fervor when hit? Yeah, no. We don't want that at all. So that's not a good unlock for us. The game rewards you for not taking damage. So that's kind of the opposite of what we want in cards. Like, no thank you. We're gonna briefly go to Pilgrim's Passage in order to get the extra souls. Eventually, we're gonna take the crystals we got earlier and had to use on the curse in order to upgrade the lighthouse. Once more, we're sword face shining its glory. As I swore, here's our offering in return. Oh, 
Wait, did the game only consider that I picked up 25, but I didn't need to give him 25? Is that a bug? Wait a minute. <laughs> right, chat? Because I... I used the 20 already. Good luck and good night. Thank you, Parameter. Um, i pretty sure I... Yeah, I did not have 25 Crystal Shards. I am 100% certain. Chat can go back and rewatch. <laughs> Let me figure this out, lol, says Blue Donna. Damn. He'll figure it out eventually, chat. We believe in Blue Donna. Got that Hell Cleave quote in there. Okay, so now we should be able to get rituals reduced. And now I should be able to get a fast revive going. So at this point, I don't think it really matters what we unlock. I could try to revive JJ Persona rather than leave his dead body out there. I'll think about it. I don't think I have another upgrade. Oh, I do have another upgrade I could get first. Well, actually, before I do this, can I cancel this? I can't. Good. I want to revive first, that way I can get more out of it. So let's revive first. Might be worth reviving JJ Persona over the other characters, because they're already kind of super dead. Um, Where Diego? Ugh, some of these characters have been dead for a while. No, I did say I'd do from the bottom. Although, rip and Parameter. Actually, no, no. I also said that zombie victims should be brought back, so we got to bring back in Parameter. Sorry, Imperimeter went to bed, but he's back to life now. Because this character should last longer than some of the others, because he died very young. Let's go ahead and try to get sustenance out of the way, so that way they can eat grass without penalty. Yeah, Cannibal's not bad. I think I'd rather have Grass Eater for now. Cannibal's something I think I want to unlock later in the game, but I just want to mass murder everybody. Right now, I want to keep our chat alive. Post game, uh, no promises. <laughs> All right, so let's brainwash them now. So this is also just an easy way to get our faith back up. That way we complete Kirk's quest. So now we have a lot of ways to keep our faith. We have an easy way to feed our characters. We have the ability to feed them with a feast. We have a lot of outs for food. To the point I might not need to worry about upgrades for a while. <laughs> Look how zonked they are. We'll talk to Kirk's character, who should level up from this, I think. Thank you, leader. My faith in you was justified. Pretty much straight to rank 5. So he's now our highest level character. Which again, makes him potentially dangerous, because he might get sacrificed at some point. We're gonna harvest meat. Sorry, JJ Persona. Uh, I guess I could give remote battery an item. There we go. And that'll level him too. Look at that chat. We basically caught up. He didn't seem to age any while he was cursed, so that's good, I guess. And Kirk never sleeps, so remote battery is company. Alright, so now we're gonna let the day pass. And when that happens, we're gonna go into another quest. But we now have all these wonderful generated resources. It feels so good, chat, to no longer be low on resource. What a great feeling. We're gonna put in as many of these items as we can. I might as well harvest these while I'm waiting. So we have a hilarious amount of pumpkins. We know grass can be used to feed our followers. We do lose faith, but remember, while they're brainwashed, faith loss doesn't matter at all. They basically just have free meals for the entire chat for two days. I might as well do that. And we have enough recovery items that if we do get poisoned again, it doesn't look totally hopeless. seeds. Oh. Oh, I forgot to get the ritual cooldown first. Oh, I'm dumb. I don't blame being tired on that one. I guess I could see if it impacts the other abilities at all. We actually almost have the final cult reward, which is good. Let's go get this out of the way. 
Good question, no. Does this reset the ones that were already there? No, but that's fine. Could kill somebody now, because they won't feel sad if they die. Uh, oh, hot garbage hit old age. Oh, chat, you know, you know what's coming. Hot garbage is not long for this world anymore, chat. It's time to, uh... Time to upgrade us. Because I was going to say, I don't really want to kill a cultist, but then... <laughs> I did promise we would off this character. They literally contribute nothing. Just perish. Goodbye, hot garbage. You no longer take up a bed and do nothing in the village. So instant level up. Nicely done. Uh, unfortunately, I think I'm going to be forced to unlock curses here. Yeah, let, let's make them useful, I guess. Get some upgrades for later. I don't think I care about the occultist ones. The frost ones are decent. <laughs> Only downside, no more poems. Oh, chat misses the poems. I'll bring it back at some point. We have a lot of characters to go through. But that's on cooldown. We don't need to worry about that. Let's do a quick sermon. Not that they need it. It's more just so I could get another upgrade. Thanks to most people being level 3, this should be locked in. So that's huge. You can see how much we're getting per level up now, which is really, really, really nice. One more curse. Which does make combat a little easier, because we can do more heavy attacks. And now we just have these final tiers. We're looking pretty good here, chat. And at this point, I don't think I need anything else. So we even got another Devotion Stone. I like how they tried... Oh, chat's decided my fate. I was going to say, I was going to legit leave this time, for real. Let's go ahead and upgrade the Broken Bed with this, because I think that's a better way of doing it. Now that I have more resources, I should be able to get away with it every time. Let's get more consecrated wood, more consecrated stone, because you never have enough. Let's make them eat a million things of grass. So it has literally no downside now. Weber died from Twitch. Oh, you killed Weber? Well, that's so sad. Those must have been some terrible options. Well. Rip the unique character, I guess. Yeah, Curse is pretty terrible. Alright, let's get a blessing going. At least we got everybody leveled a little more. Once a parameter is done eating, we'll upgrade him as well. like it. We have some people that are basically level 5, like in Parameter just now. But now in Parameter is at risk of being sacrificed at some point. Wait, what? How come he had a quest complete, but then he didn't give it to us? What was that? Weird. He definitely had something over his head, that's why I talked to him. Oh well, it is what it is, I guess. Is anybody else, like, super close to leveling? Not too close. We'll bribe Chris. He's still young, I think, due to the necklace he has. He just refuses to age. We'll bribe the other remote battery. Because the closer they are to level 3, I think, the better. We can bully the other one. Well, that's a big increase. So I kind of like the jerk trait, just because it makes leveling them kind of easy, but then after that, it's kind of useless. We're pretty close to another level up, but I don't think I need to wait for it. I could turn somebody into a demon if I wanted to. Better health drops, more explosion damage. So who is an Orcus? Oh, and Paravator is an Orcus. That's actually huge. 
Workus is definitely the best one, no contest. Bow is okay, Fervor is okay. Bonus health is okay, but Orcus is Orcus is life chat. That thing is so broken later on. Actually unreal how overpowered that is. Is there anything else I could do for a quick upgrade? Bribe yeast. Can I bribe Dango? Dango's just kind of zonked out over there. I think most of the characters that were recruited today actually did catch up in loyalty pretty well. I think some of the side quests help with that. Again, we're just gonna burn as many seeds as we can. I guess we're good to go. Oh, who is a quest? Leader, that was hilarious. Let's do it again. I know Chris will find it on the funny side. Wow. Damn. Ratto has something out for you, Chris. I don't know. That's just... There's just something about him. He's like, oh, that Chris got him. All right, where's Chris's character? I am so sorry, Chris. Hopefully nobody else eats the other thing. Stupid rat, you should have died. Damn. All right, we're definitely going to just make a million grass meals. They can eat it whenever they want. Since now this has, like, literally no downside, I don't lose faith. They don't get sick of it. In fact, let me cook more grass meals. It should last for a while. This should last without me needing to come back anytime soon. I believe they fell for it again. I couldn't stop laughing. How'd they manage to finish the whole thing without realizing? There we go. Well, Chad, on the plus side, we might be able to kill almost Ratto, because he's level 5. As a level 4, I think we have to sacrifice a high level follower later. Chad can have their revenge. And we can finally get our ultimate upgrade for the cult, which is probably the best thing to do, so we can focus on better mines, better upgrades. So we have more people in the cult. We can store more meter as we go away. Cult is fully upgraded. There we go. We did a chat. They have grass meals for later. Let's go ahead and clear out. Unless the doctrine is ready. Let's see if the cooldown is there. I'm tempted to use the heart so I can actually see if it has it or not. Yeah, we still got some time. I guess I could do the return to base one. None of this matters. I don't need health at all for the run. I'll do this just so it stops prompting me, mostly. Seems like they're at least eating pretty consistently. Yeah, let's actually make some progress. Well, I'm actually extremely low on gold. Hmm. Might have to rob chat when I get back. Because remember, they're not going to lose faith for me doing that either. It's kind of... Oh, dagger, no. Oh, no. All right, let's actually read this. Entering the lands of Bishop Calamar, those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. I went to attack cancel. Why? There we go. <laughs> Get rid of that real quick. No, no dodge roll cancels for me, chat. This is gonna be painful. Ooh, a rare thing. <gasps> weapon damage 1.5. Oh, that almost makes up for it. Now we just need a real weapon. We have some opportunities at the blacksmith to get it. Cowboy died of old age for a cowboy. I mean, at least the damage is pretty fast. But again, it's dash cancel leaves a lot to be desired. Like, this attack is so slow. It's basically like swinging with axe with none of the payoff. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. It has the super delayed AoE. I was trying to remember what it did. Huh? Why are these things, like, unkillable? I'm hitting them with heavy attacks. Or do I need to hit them that many times to get rid of it? Well, unless it's an order thing. Maybe it's kill in order. Maybe it's kill in order. Yeah, it's kill in order. Okay. This new mechanic. It literally is the first time it's ever come up on stream. I was like, what, what are the numbers? Is that the level of armor? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm aware of Promethean, but I'm just saying, like, it's just a random mechanic they introduced, which is kind of annoying. I hope that one doesn't come up as often. Just because it is just kind of painful to deal with with Dagger. Please give me something other than Dagger, I beg of you. Really? The Dagger is not strong enough to kill those projectiles? We saw earlier that Axe can. Man, Dagger is, uh... Chad, I'm willing to say dagger, dagger, bottom, bottom this one for me. Power. Holy, it can't even destroy projectiles properly. What's the point of attack speed? So sad, Chad. Maybe one day. One day. Another one of these. Yeah, I'm taking a million damage thanks to dagger. It's so short range, and I can't really cancel out of my moves and still hit. Damn, I really need a sword upgrade. I'm now regretting not getting money before coming here, because I would have absolutely re-rolled off a dagger. No question. <laughs> Just zero doubt, chat. I don't like dagger. Please give me something decent. Three times more fervor? Okay. I might make up for it. Really just need another weapon, though. Um... Be the best way to get a weapon. There's the fox, which I don't think we've interacted with at all. Go to the mystery room. Yeah, let's... Because I don't want a follower. Follower's pointless at this point. Let's go this way. Uh, I think the seeds actually. I mean, the dash will cancel on the first strike is not bad, but man oh man, if you get any of the other ones, it's so slow. Alright, let's see if we can get anything interesting in these next two rooms to make up for dagger. Ooh, form unlock potentially. And this is the first time we've spoken about or spoken to Fornius. Oh, what good are hearts if they cannot be given? But to keep mine to myself once. Two kits I did have, true love found. And yet one lack a daisy summer day, my beautiful children were taken away. A gift, they said, for the one they love most. One that waits. I wept, I keened. But how can one say no to a god? Wherever they be, I hope they are as devoted and loving as I. Commandment stone, follower form. First attack damage up is interesting. I might actually take that. Actually, nah. I'll take this for now. Unless I can get both, because it is on a separate pedestal. Because that's actually not a bad one to get. That does make our specials a lot better. But we're out of coins again, sadly. Small gift is a huge pickup for us. Okay. On a good mystery thing. I'll even take a relic. That's a sign of my faith. Mon says, Peace be with you, Crusader. I seek only truth and light, but I may be of service to you. I can increase the loyalty of any follower you choose. Oh. Um. I guess I will give it to Dango. Here we go. Good job, Dango. Level four. <laughs> My work is done. This fool would allow you to into the deepest darkness from whence no one returns. Not a bad pick up. Enemies will drop gold. That's actually a pretty good one. Thank you, Cha. Got some crystal shards. Not the event I was thinking we would get, but better than nothing. 
Since we're still early in the game, loyalty matters. We're oh, we're somehow almost at the point where it no longer matters, which is crazy because we've only had like two stream sessions. So at least I do double damage, or I just get bonked randomly. Thanks, Dagger. Now hopefully pick up some hearts here. Okay, that's big. Really need something other than Dagger for the boss, or we're in trouble. I think the heavy attack is okay on Dagger. Like, I actually have fun with it, but, like, not the normal strikes. Seems you cannot be stopped by disease or hunger. He sends you back from death stronger each time. Please know, it was not my idea to cast out the Red Crown. The other bishops, my siblings, the blame lies with them. Please, I beg you, spare me. Kill Shimura, but do not send me to my death. Do not send me to him. You will not find my temple. I will be safe there. Yes, I'll be safe. So I have more coins. Come on, upgrade. Give me an upgrade. Go this way. Oh, there we go. I was wondering where we're going to come across Blimbo. Want a closer look at the finest antiquities in the land of the old fate, Lamb? That's right. As long as me ships are floating, Plimbo's open for business. If this wets you whistle, come down to the sanctuary. Plenty of fine legally acquired goods. Har har har. So those other items we got for refighting the mini bosses need to go here at some point. So we already have some of what we need for Plimbo. I like that we are getting random drops here, because we could potentially multiply all those. Uh, fish chance is good. Extra health doesn't matter to me at the moment. So we're out of here. Still need to get a weapon upgrade. Surprisingly, we haven't seen anything. Like, even if it was another dagger, I'd still prefer it than nothing. We still need more crystal shards. Managed to get to the end. Oh, axe? Yes. Okay, that is much better. I know that daggers can crit, but like axe is just so much more. Axe is like critting every time with dagger anyway. We're gonna go back and investigate the other room for items. Much better. Oh, floor. Bonds of familiar duty turned instead to chains. Most voracious of appetites, curbed and contained. Most infectious of ideas, cut off and cauterized before given the chance to rot and spread. Rule, verily. Alas, what other resource was given? How does one kill death? One cannot. I didn't get like a ton of items for coming back here, but we could get a little extra lore. So we are in kind of the danger territory. I took a lot of damage from the dagger. So I only can take like three or four more hits total. This is the closest we've been to death. Thank you, Dagger. But fortunately we have Axe, so as long as I don't play too sloppy here, it should be free. Devotion, clean this up. We are still getting a million things of stone, which is nice. just so fast, chat. It's so fast and smooth. Find inspiration unlocked, nice. What's over here? So if we manage to clear a boss without getting hit, we're going to get a lot of resources. This has been a big map so far. Um... I don't think any of these matter. Oh, wait, that grants invincibility? Oh, actually, that's much better than what I had. Alright, we're, we're- okay, we went from run is shaky to run is guaranteed at this point. I think I'm, I feel pretty good about that. 
What a difference one upgrade makes. Oops, I'm pulled into that like a big dummy. There we go. Another divine inspiration unlocked. What? Huh? Is chat doing something? How did I unlock two without going back to town? What? What even causes that? I haven't killed enough for that to matter. Uh, none of these matter. No! I didn't want to pick that up. That's fine. We still have Zealous Axe. Yeah. I used to like Gauntlet, but honestly, I think I'm willing to say it. I think Axe is now my favorite. I think they have balanced Claw <laughs> because it is now balanced. It's like, I don't know if I actually want that over Sword anymore. Because before it just used to be a clean choice, right? Like, it attacked as fast as Sword, but did double damage. So there's no reason to use it. Or no, no reason to use Sword. But now the hitbox is kind of weird. So it's not just, like, free. And the fact that it only moves a little bit is actually kind of a problem. Game. Why didn't it activate the fervor? That was rude. Is there like a big delay for when I can press it again? Why did that happen? No, I could do it like that. That was weird. Or can you not do can you not do a curse immediately after you attack? Is that what happened? Oh you can't cancel attacks into curse. Oh. Today I learned. That is not a cancel that exists. Because I, I was doing this chat, like I was attacking the boss, and I was like, curse. And I'm like, why is curse not coming out? Good to know. We learn a little more every day. So I'll have to dodge roll. Oh, you can't, you can't use curse at all while dodge rolling to cancel it. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Learn two things today, chat. It was not relevant before this point in the playthrough, but good to know. So being able to spam your invincibility move is kind of huge. So sadly, I did get hit due to not knowing that mechanic. Unfortunate. Because otherwise, it would have been amazing. I could have been doing, like, sliding invincibility moves. I guess for balance reasons, it makes sense. I'm not, like, 100% surprised. I was just more not understanding what happened. We're out of mind space as usual. Oops. I don't know what happened there. Don't want to do that. Get one more stone mine just to make sure I don't run out. Because that'd be really awkward. There's like a million stone, which is good. Now that this upgrade is here, I could get the super mine upgrades, which I think I kind of do want. I don't think I care about these other things at all. Outhouse 2 is okay. Peter 10 is fine, I think. I probably should get Grand Shelter or Shared Shelter. Because I don't really care about the devotion. Yeah, let's get a Shared Shelter, actually. That way I can start spending less on wood, and then we'll get the wood upgrades if we're able to, because I think we unlock more than one for some reason. Yeah. There we go. Resource problem be damned. I almost thought I had another one waiting for me for some reason. Oh, I interrupted them. Oop. Two people level five, not too bad. Only Basil Bub as is. I'll just auto accept him. He has Dermapho, Polyamorous, and Sickly. Here we go. I love that he just comes in brainwashed too. So many coins. I need more outhouses. And I need more consecrated woods. So now it might be worth 
Rakus murder him in public, don't mind me. It might be worth getting another consecration. Oh, Raka's right fist. Chance for dead bodies to reanimate and fight for you while crusading. Interesting. I mean, I don't think it's as good as freeze time, because we saw that one was like actually, actually stupid bonkers broken. Yeah. But most of our people are looking pretty leveled at least. The stone count looking really good. I probably need to do one more thing so I could consecrate faster. Because I think we're now at the point where it would just make sense to speed it up. Be the best place to put it. Let me edit some buildings. This one I can move. Here, cancel that. Move the current refinery over. I can make them something like this. The two refineries next to each other. Maybe that'll work. Because I'll start going to the summoning circle a bit more going forward. But I think... From our standpoint, it would make more sense to put a fertilizer thing there. Then we can also upgrade one of our other ones. Then we can get another refinery. We can start mass producing good items. Already place it there. Oh, I can place more than one. Oh, that's good. Then I can have three. Because then I could just get everything I need in one shot by coming over here. So maybe that would work for me. Get blessings in case anybody's close to leveling. They kind of are. No Dango level. That might put us over the edge for the upgrades. We can do this so they get more food. We should be able to get one more upgrade here, I think. Nice. We'll do that for probably Demon Circle 3. So that way we're set for later in the game. I don't think I need anything else, as I said earlier. And we'll just force them to do constant... Consecrated wood. That should be good. So now we have a super wood site. And now we could potentially start getting a lot of big upgrades. Is there anything else I want to do before I do another dungeon run? They should basically all be happy with... Grass. And maybe level Chris up here. Oh yeah, we're definitely bribing Chris if he did not upgrade. There you go. Level up Chris. Get your bribe. Yeah, I basically just need them to have a janitor station and then we're good. Yeah, the next time a house breaks, I can finally use shared shelter will require me to consecrate more. We'll do some of that for coins. Do some of this for stone and wood. Kado has a quest for me. What do you have for Kado for us? Have our next time. Can we put Chris in prison? They'll be terrified. It'll be so funny. Wow. Chris. Now Chris is receiving all the hate of the game right now. Apparently. Poor Chris. Look at him wiggle. I mean, at least it's easy to just release. Like, that's the easiest quest to do that. They were so confused and scared, it was so funny. I'll have to think how we top our prank next time. I think our prank is just gonna involve, wouldn't it be funny if we kill him? Like, I feel like we're, I feel like we're getting ever closer to that, Chad, every time we go there. And okay, we're gonna let them do what they need to do here. So with our farms active, this isn't too bad. Oh, then we need to upgrade the other farms. So that way they can actually be working here. Forgot about that. Whoop. And wouldn't it be funny just sacrifice them? We have cotton, but I don't know what that's for at all. Assuming you could... I don't remember there being like a tailor or anything. Because, you know, you would think like you're making dresses or something. 
I'm gonna make sure that they have more to do here, so I'm just gonna go harvest these. We definitely want to upgrade our farms so that's less manual activity I have to do. Um, I guess we'll think Twitch working forever would work if we got another one of those. Oh, he already has one, I couldn't tell. Um... Oakleaf has one. I guess I could give it to Yeast. They're already here. Oh, you already have it. Man, everybody I want to give it to has one already. I just can't see it because they're like awkwardly out of there. Did I give one to Dust? Might not have. Find somebody that hasn't upgraded. There we go. Dust gets a nice little upgrade then. Speaking of which, we need to uh, bribe him to increase his level. Oh, I don't have enough gold? Oh, that's awkward. That is indeed awkward. Alright, so at least I can get more coins this way. Let's, let's try to bribe him, but this time with cash. How did that not push us over? Sanity. Well, speaking of which, since they're locked in fate, it's time to exploit people. Let's do a doctrine first. Maybe I'll level somebody up. Um, Probably work and worship upgrades again. We loved or feared. Intimidate follower, they work harder. I think I just want to intimidate. I feel like we're cruel. I think we're gonna go for the cruel run here. So it's slightly better than bless. I feel like most of our if there's a level cap, which they it is at level 10, I'd rather just have things that increase productivity. Hmm. Okay, so let's use a ritual. Let's get, so for 62 bones, I can end up with like a million cash. So let's go ahead and do it. So I ran out of money for now. But now, we should have a lot more money. I wouldn't be surprised if I had like 100 plus after that. Anything else I want to do to chat while we're here? Revive's almost off cooldown. Do a sermon. Ooh, that's a lot of level ups, chat. So having multiple people at level 5 is huge. Still need to work on the people that are still level 1. But hey, that's a pretty big significant jump every time I'm here. So at this point, I don't really need any- Oh, see, we can even get another doctor in. So we're kind of out of control when it comes to that. Cash is my fate again on something. Not level. Game, please. No, I just want to talk to yeast. I'm getting trolled. Bribe. Level up yeast. Because them working more efficiently is huge, because they're going to be up all night, potentially. Well, some of them will be anyway. Almost Rato was leveled up. Oh, man. Cat betrayed themselves on that one. Let's spook people so we can get more resources. And then bully them. Get that level 4. So we're gonna get even more productivity out of them potentially, as long as I don't scare them out. Oh, we scared them out. Justice for Rado is now in fear of everything. Oh, Rado's almost Rado's level 6. See, our characters should work pretty quickly since we have all the work modifiers up. And as I said before, I don't really need any more faith ups. Scare Wolf Frank Twitch. And then probably bribe him with the, the money that he gave us. It should level him, hopefully. Nice. So again, they're just more efficient at whatever they do. Wow, I can't believe they filled up the worship meter. Given that I've done nothing to improve how quickly they add to this, it is kind of silly how much it's adding. 
spook a couple characters. I'll bully you up maybe a bit more. Not quite. Put some seeds away. That way they're always making something. Can't believe they're... Wow, we are going really quickly for our resources. In a good way. That means as long as I'm doing this... I'm always going to have a lot of consecrated materials. So we have really good ace at this. At this point, I should be able to build more buildings if I need to. But I think it's time to feed them, and then we'll do another run. Actually, before we do another run, let's go to the other place. That we just unlocked. So now we have people at pretty decent level. And now we just need to ensure we constantly... Get Constantly get bones. Once we unlock the final area, we'll be able to do stuff with our gold, but right now it doesn't matter. Speaking of doesn't matter, I honestly don't think I need any of these. After a crusade, deposit seeds here, follows where I'm gonna distribute them to seed silos. Oh, I don't remember that, but I'll take that. That is kind of a convenience thing for me. So I don't need any house upgrades until more break. Let's get compost going, I guess. Not that I need it at the moment, but in the future, maybe. Yeah, seed storage is huge. Because then that means they can just be more autonomous. Without me needing to restock. What do you want, Basil Bub? Leader, skeptics and heretics have made a way into our cult, cursing our way of life, but they want to join. Should we welcome them? Of course. Some parameters here. Let's intimidate them real quick. We should be getting a lot of resources out of most of these characters. Hmm. Anon has joined. Look how crazy they look. Wrong constitution. Oh no, chat, we have another poet. Oh no. Cynical, harder to level. Poet's Revenge. The prison you go. Well, I'm really happy we built that prison before, by the way, Chad. Really happy we built this. Because this has been super convenient so far. Again, we'll make more grass for future meals. I know we have a lot of followers, but we get there. Yeah, I mean, look how fast we're building devotion. Like, I'm barely doing anything, and we're basically just auto collecting. I'm gonna bully remote battery three again. That does lead to a lot of meter gain, as we saw earlier. We, we bullied remote battery 3 into not helping us anymore. That sounds about right. Alright, so we get another revive. Perfect. This costs basically nothing. We did have somebody get murdered very cruelly, so I'm gonna bring back Weber first, and then we'll go through the bottom up. There we go, chat. We have a lot of workers. We have a lot of mines. We have a lot of things they can consecrate. The, f the thing just wore off, by the way. Level 2 characters should build devotion pretty quickly. Burke has become gravely ill. Why did everybody get sick suddenly? What happened? I miss. What did they see that made them sick? Weird. Okay, so let's go check out the other place, come back, do a sermon, then finish it off for the night, and then maybe if you want, we could do a knuckle bone. See the chaos ensuing. There we go. Are they... Remote <laughs> battery just crying in the corner somewhere. Okay. We're getting at least a lot of coins from these alternate methods. 
Oh, you know what it is? I need more outhouses. I think the rule is like for every B I build one or every four. This just requires a little bit of consecrated wood. Let's do this so that they don't poison themselves or something stupid. And we'll go ahead and make more consecrated wood. Make more of our stone. Wood. Intimidate them so they work harder. There we go. Let's gain the coward trait. Oh, that's new. Oh, intimidate does that now? That's actually kind of annoying. No. They nerfed intimidate? Oh, Chad, it never used to do that. Oh, that's so annoying, actually. Yeah, I wouldn't have picked Intimidate if I thought it did that. Our previous two playthroughs, just for chat clarity, did not do that. That is something that must have been added in the new patch that I didn't see. That really sucks. So Intimidate is just the wrong choice. I will say there is officially no reason to use Intimidate then. Because losing your workers is literally counterintuitive to you using it to make them better workers in the first place. So that kind of sucks, not gonna lie. Okay, let's check out the Smuggler Sanctuary. Yeah, I would recommend if we ever do this run again, I am never going Intimidate ever again. You listen, Mutton Chop, you owe me a ship. The bishops are nasty pieces of work, but they do enough, good enough of a job keeping the waterways open and trade flowing around here. If you going around killing them, let them gates for all sorts of monstrous beasts to start sinking my stock. Scary things they be, with gnashing teeth and odiferous stinks, and a face that could curdle milk. Just like me mother-in-law. <laughs> you best be making this right. Each time a bishop dies, an nasty beast called a witness takes its place. Lucky for ye, Plimbo knows folk will pay a pretty penny for the eye of a witness. You give me their eyes, I buy a new boat, and we call it square. All you need to do is return to places you've killed a bishop, which we've already done. Defeat the ferocious beast that has emerged, and bring me their eyes. Simple enough. The rarity did, so I'm going to. About time, look at this squishy thing. Say these creatures have seen all there is to see, and stood in silent judgment for millennia. Just like me mother-in-law. <laughs> Here, take this. Found it on me travels. Means not to me, but a crown bearer might have use for it. Oh, I didn't realize time advanced while we're in this cutscene. That's interesting. Nice, I got another optional upgrade. Found all four pieces of the Holy Talisman. Talisman are used to unlock relics. Uh, the Red Crown can use to unlock fleeces. Unlock and equip fleeces from the altar. For the most part, I won't be using them, but I guess we'll take them. Got another eye. Plimbo's starting to see your appeal. Ha! Truly, safe and security. Or safety and security is something Plimbo takes seriously. Especially in my line of business. But I can never bow me head to another. I don't think you'll be able to convert old Plimbo. Only two to go. Take this as a token. Well, we made a lot of progress there. Which reminds me, chat, I have to snail. We have to find the snail statue before I forget to do it. It's here somewhere. There it is. Snail. Hmm. Killing an enemy, 10% chance of healing. Drop an explosive when you roll. Destroy rocks on touch. Yeah, I don't want any of those. And we can see the very mysterious place we can look at later at night, but right now we can't do anything here. Alright, so let's go back to the, our other place during the day. And we only have one more dungeon floor to go before we fight the boss. And honestly, at this point, we're at the point where we're just gonna snowball out of control with our bolt. I don't need to do anything in particular. Wow, Remote Battery 3 took my money. I'm bullying him. Take that, Remote Battery 3. Is anybody still hiding from us, by the way? Ooh, there's a place I can upgrade. So we'd always take a broken one. Oops, not what I wanted. I always take a broken one and immediately replace it, so there's no reason to not do that if it happens. 
uh, is there anybody still hiding in fear of me currently? Just looking around for it. Also, did I select the wrong one after all that? That sucks. I mean, I'll do another one. We have enough wood that it should still be fine. What we need to do is probably have another super wood area. Do that. I don't think I unlocked the stone unlock yet, sadly. Do the farmer station 2 to upgrade it. Then from there, we just make sure more desecrated wood happens. They should have their wood cut out for them. We'll gold bars too, because why not? There we go. Now we're looking pretty good. Yeah, look how fast they're building up this devotion. Like, it's to the point where it's like, I basically just look at it and then it's good to go. So it is kind of annoying that, as I said before, that Intimidate potentially makes them scared. Since it's my only way of raising them. Re-educate you. Looks like you're almost cured at least. There we go. Bully Justice Verado because we can. Oops, I didn't tell. I didn't mean to tell him to sleep. Oh, he can't work at all currently. Oh, that's right. He's the one with the coward trait. Let's try to cure remote battery later then. He seems to just be scared of me constantly. One last upgrade before we go. Seed storage is huge. So again, now the farm should be pretty self-sufficient, which is nice. So what do we need to build that? A lot of consecrated wood, of course. Well, we'll let them go at it for a while then. Well, speaking of which, should I collect the money that was here? I did, okay. Definitely want to do a doctrine if we can. Just because that's just an easy way to level people. Um, do work and worship again. Form a ritual temple to immediately build. Form a ritual though, temple to increase devotion speed in three days. Um, none of these really matter. Instantly building is not very exciting to me. It's one of those things I'm not in a rush ever to do. All of our other rituals are still on cooldown, sadly. Let's go ahead and sermon them up. It should just be an auto level at this point. As you can see, we're making pretty good progress there. And just before we go to the final area, we got a slightly stronger weapon. How nice, right chat? Now we can start getting weapon masteries if we want. And again, it's going to be another way to raise their faith a little. Somebody just hit level 4, which is nice. As long as we just constantly recruit new people, we're basically always looping in to get another Doctrine. I'll spook everybody here. Oh, glitchiness. Which chance to sign in my fate, apparently. A few more rocks. Wood. Almost Rado leveled up again. Wow. I feel like I feel like it's actually trolling the chat in real time. How was he level seven? <laughs> chat, chat is like the that is like the number one nemesis of chat. And he just keeps getting it. It's actually insane. Draw indeed. Um, is there anything else I want to do here? I don't think there is. I mean, I want more consecrated, but not much I could do about that. I could technically upgrade the demonic circle, I guess. 
while they do that, I just take more souls slash devotion. Like, we're already generating so much devotion that it doesn't matter to me what we do here at all. I might as well just do it. I'll spook everybody here that hasn't been spooked yet. Go ahead and bribe Granite Knight. See more poops too in his future, oh no. Damn. Truth though. Hmm, I could bring people with me if I want to on this one. Maybe it's worth doing? Oh, chat actually gave me lumber, that's actually huge. Uh, Orcus, I think we just bring Hellcleave with us. Oh, almost, Rado! Collecting Fervor is not bad. It's like kind of a waste to have a high level. I think I just want... Yeah, let's bring Hellcleave. And then we need somebody with Orcus, I think. Orc Orcus is the truth, chat. That, that is so overpowered. Let's see if they finally nerfed it. Unavailable because follower is ill. Oh No. Is there only Orcus person sick other than the... Other than Weber? Right, we should at least talk to Weber. See if I can upgrade him. Where is Weber? Oh, there he is. Right next to me. Looking everywhere, but right where it was. So him ranking up would be huge here. Because that's just more damage. What we'll do is we will put more bars in here. Let's do Weber here. Okay. We're finally taking advantage of the... Demon summoning circle. I love how fast we're generating resources here. It's actually quite silly how out of control it is. Is nobody farming? I'm gonna tell you to farm. Like, we need farmers. I know we have a lot of people sick right now, but like, we need somebody tending to the farms at least. Oh, remote battery almost leveled again. Let's bribe. Oh. I'd also tell remote battery to farm, honestly, at this point. I don't really need more resources here. Rado by himself probably solo generates everything here. We're not going to be consecrating for a while, which is awkward. Can we unlock another one of these? Um... think any of these matter. We didn't unlock the janitor station too. Also let them clean out houses. Oh, that's actually huge. Okay, so now if I do this, we should be set and I don't have to do that ever again. Oh. I was gonna say, these are big enhancements over the, the core game, because I'm pretty sure most of these buildings did not exist to make it easier to do things like that. Now I don't have anybody consecrating, which is awkward. I guess I'll have yeast do it. Hopefully this doesn't make him a coward. Give him a little more effort there. So why don't you just continue to refine materials? Your meter is almost recovered. Most people are almost healed at least. They should fill in some gaps. If I need to buy followers, I could. I don't think your dialogue update's correct. Yeah, don't need to worry about that until later in the game. I guess we'll go clear this up. Oh, I forgot to make meals for our characters. I guess that doesn't matter because we have a feast to heal them if I need to. But it would have made more sense to do that first. Be gone, beast. Find satisfaction elsewhere. You will not cross the threshold of my temple. Okay. Now we have guaranteed damage, so if I do get daggers, it's not the end of the world. We got hammer with a, with an 8 damage multiplier, which is really high, chat. Like, this... I do like hammer. I don't like it more than axe, but I do like it a lot. 
Yeah, it's almost one-shotting now before any multipliers. If we get even one damage increase, I think it kills all these basic enemies. Ooh. Awkward to navigate that. So we have at least long distance attacks. So we can see the bow firing every now and then. So we have something to do in case we get zoned like that again. <laughs> now that was a combo, right chat? Wow. Bow shot into magic, into slam. Actually unfair. Ooh, trinkets. Don't mind if I do. Summon a demon to assist in battle. Okay. I think it's permanent, right? Yeah. Pretty sure he restores each room. Yeah. But we, we, we got the explosive guy. Explosive guy used to be super OP, but I think Orc is screwed. What? Oh, I got hit by the stupid spinning fire thing. I, I keep forgetting that that's a new hazard. I'm not even looking for it because it's just something that just did not exist when we originally played. I need to remember, they added a lot more sage hazards in this version. Which is awkward because this the hammer is really bad at dealing with sage hazards. Because I have to stay still in order to hit things. There we go. Ooh. Got a flower necklace, nice. Mo battery 2 has reached your old age. Respect your elder trigger. Yeah, that's why I like respect your elders, because people can just age when we're in this standard combat, and we just get free faith. In case something bad happens, it just kind of balances out. And if they believe in the afterlife too, then like them dying has like almost no penalty. So it kind of balances out in the end. I definitely want to take this. We did get more disease hearts, which is good. We have an okay amount of fish. We'll do the fishing mini game once we get the uh, some of the rare fish up. We still have to do the fisherman's quests, even though it's not on the right-hand side. I know we did not complete them. We had to get like squid or something. I know we got crab and regular salmon, but I don't think we got the squid. So it is a little deceptive when you look at the quest tracker. It's actually missing several that have definitely opened up at this point. Um, hmm, do I even need wood anymore? I might not. But maybe it would make s Oh, I could get a mystery event, a battle, and then another battle. Let's do this, actually. Like, mystery events. Unless it's one of the ones where it's like... Oh, it's a boss. Oh. That's... I didn't know a boss could be a mystery event, but today we learned... <laughs> right, chat? Oh, interesting. Oh, That was unlucky. <laughs> I stood in the, one of the only spots that it was going to attack from. Unfortunate. Well, on the plus side. I think we should be able to clean it up here. But hello, hello, mini boss. Oh, we got another commandment stone out of it. Okay, that was kind of worth it. Sadly, the health restore doesn't matter since we need disease hearts. But I'll take a random mini boss, I guess. Getting another doctrine stone is always nice. Let's proceed to go through here. I was gonna say, we were, did not find a terror upgrade yet. Damage up. Damages of anything on screen when hit. It's just better than the other choice. Can we get a better choice here for the boss? I'd appreciate if this was a better choice, like weapon damage. 10% chance of landing a crit? Chat, absolutely. Randomly just doing double damage on a weapon that's already four times stronger than like the next weapon. Take that.
it rolling is really throwing me off. Fortunate. Mora says five, becomes four, becomes three, becomes two, becomes one, becomes nothing. Calamar was always frightened of the red crown. Yes, fear made a coward of them. My door is next to be knocked upon. Knock, knock, the lamb comes to raise. End of days. End of days. So we know the Shimura fights will be kind of annoying. There's going to be a very strong chance that we're going to kill some of Chad. Because Shimura likes to make our people descend. So unfortunately, we're very likely to lose our townspeople there. So I'm glad that we got most of our upgrade stuff out of the way now. So regardless of who betrays us, we should be fine. Oh, our ally hitting that actually messed me up. Alright, so I have most of my fervor back. Yeah, our minions aren't, like, super oppressive. They used to be, like, stupid, stupid OP. Now they're just they're just kind of okay damage. They aren't like run defining, but it's nice to have. Speeds it up a little. That is deciding my fate on something though. Get as much hammer blows as we can. I'm gonna demon. Oh, check in me another demon. I think that one collects forever automatically. Okay. I guess that works. It does make it easier to cast. It's going to be really hard to... Did I seriously find something that tops what I have? Is that even possible? Just better, right? I'm not sure if Calamitous or Maker's Hammer versus... I don't know what the difference is with Warmaker versus this. Like, if this one technically does more damage. Might have a bigger AoE or something. I'm not sure. We found the exit. Use a random relic? I mean, there's no reason for me to not do that. I guess I could try Necrotic Hammer. Next time I'm in, a, I'm in a room, I'll activate it. It'd be funny if we got time freeze. It's like a, what, 1 in 20-ish chance it'll be time freeze? 1 in 19, maybe? Oh, you won't get to know. Now I have a mil- Okay, we have a million disease hearts. I have no fear about this run at all. I guess I'll leave it as is. I was kind of hoping to use the relic when we were against enemies so I don't waste charge time, but I'll leave Warmaker's Hammer there. That might be a mistake in terms of damage. I just don't remember. I'll look it up later. We still have quite a bit to go. That's where I might regret not feeding our characters. We could get yet another follower form, so I will. There you go. Look at us little spikes. fish. Another gift. If somebody's really close to leveling, I can push them over the edge. So still have a couple opportunities to get slightly better weapons. This amount of shards. Let's use a relic. Don't really know what that did, but we used it, I guess. I saw lightning briefly. Oh, did that destroy my weapon? Uh, it gave me dagger? Really? That's what the relic did? It just, it gave me my least favorite weapon? I got rid of an amazing weapon? Wow, I am never using random relic again. Right, chat? Like, 
Of all the things it could have given me, I think that was actually legitimately the worst possible outcome. That's actually impressive. I mean, at least I have attack speed up, so dagger is not as useless. Oh, only the first shot can get split. Interesting. At least easily. Uh, we really need another weapon then, because this is just not going to cut it. And hitting them like three times doesn't kill them. So it's sad. We got another floor tile. Nice. Floor is lava, apparently. Hmm. So another day is about to pass again. So this is a longer dungeon. I don't know what that did. Maybe at the bottom left is the, the thing that it really does. I could learn whether or not I want to do it. So I summoned... I summoned an ally to go with me. Maybe that was what the ability was? Let's see if they follow me into other rooms or not. They do. Oh, that's actually kind of interesting then. Okay, having an ally there is actually kind of interesting. I don't think they'll survive bosses, but they make good decoys. So not the worst thing it could have given me, I will say. I think that's a benefit of the dagger more specifically. This can be a new weapon though. Two seconds of invincibility. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to be spamming that way more than cleansing fire. Oh boy. Are we really going to do a boss with daggers? Uh, at least our minion's still with us. That could be worse. For minion heals, he might not. Yeah, I think daggers, if you have enough attack speed, it's actually not too bad. Because it's it, it benefits the most from attack speed buff compared to the other ones. But the other ones, my attack speed generally doesn't matter that much. Take an unnecessary damage. Welcome to the life of dagger, just getting way too close. So sad. Okay, we really need to find a new weapon. I can try to beat the boss like this, but it's gonna require me hitting minions a lot to build fervor. It's not ideal. Please be a good weapon. Please be a good weapon. Why are we only not why are we getting everything but weapons? No. And I need damage. I mean, I'll take the damage one. Brutal chat. Guess I'll summon this just to get rid of it. You know what? I would rather have invincibility at this point over damage, to be real with you. That would make the daggers more tolerable. If I'm invincible for long periods of time, then I could just do stuff like this and not worry about damage. Like, this is how you break dagger. If you're allowed to just wail without canceling your attacks, it's actually not bad. Because I am not dodge rolling with dagger. It feels terrible. So maybe this combo will work for the boss. Go this way. See, there's new hazards. <laughs> right, chat, we're learning in real time. There's a, the mine carts are here, apparently. Tons of grass. You can feed the followers. I can use it for fertilizer. Build some buildings out of it. 
Where is this boss? We've almost completed another game day without seeing it. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna go back and check the other room in case there's another upgrade. There's 0% reason for me to go through this. If it's like a tarot card room, that would be huge. It could also even just be a blacksmith. Swamping my relic to something else might be nice. I'm very scared to use what that is in the bottom left. Is that that seems like dice roll. Alright, so it just gives me an extra heart. Alright, that invincibility, not gonna lie. Hard carrying dagger right now. I think it's been shown. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I think with this very specific set of powers, I think Dagger is fine. We have something that buffs its attack speed, and we have invincibility. Two very crucial things, because I am not dodge rolling. So maybe this will be fine. Not quite what I wanted, but we should still be able to get through this. I am really shocked we have not found more collectibles, like, uh... Possibly more crystals, but oh well. Because we keep finding stuff that I haven't broken, but we're not getting anything from it, sadly. Uh, so we're going to be spamming invincibility and hoping that the fervor gathering character helps us out big time. Could happen. Insignificant critter, you will loan your place. You do not understand, lamb. Need my warning and stay away. All right, so with this combo, it should be really aggressive. Now, is it is this combo the best possible combo with invincibility? Probably not. I think hammer plus invincibility is kind of sick, but we should be able to go pretty ham here. I took damage, sadly. My invincibility were off at a bad time. But you can see, like, the power of the invincibility is very good. So, definitely, that was now 100% invincibility is OP. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, that, I could have done that with any weapon, but that's, like, the only time I'll find with daggers. <laughs> right there, when you're invincible. I unfortunately took one hit, so I will not get the multiplier, but oh well. It just goes to show, there are just some abilities that are just better than others, so having like a fire shot doesn't really make sense to do when you could just be invincible. You gotta play to your strengths. Got Calamar's trophy, nice. You get a follower form on the floor. Or something. Leafy structure, that's also fun. We've not unlocked a lot of general unlocks. But hey, we're getting there. At least we could say, chat, that was a pretty fast boss massacre, if nothing else. We also had like a million demons thanks to Chad. So having this the sacrificial person and the fervor gathering, it kinda matter because I could just chain invincibility back to back. So we should still get a small bonus no matter what. There we go. I'll take that. 199 coins, that's pretty good. That's as much as the other ritual gives now. Calamar was always a coward. This land is a better place now. His pathetic sniveling carcass is nothing more than a mound of rotting flesh. I think they meant to say now that his carcass. I think a word was missing there. Soon I shall be freed and the world remade in my image. All will pledge themselves to the cult. All will bow to me. Not bad. We'll check in on the, on the cult one last time. Suffering shall turn to triumph. That which once did perish shall now pray. So we're basically at the end of the game. We only have one dungeon left and then the final boss. So good progress. So probably by next week we will get a ending. Or an ending, I guess. Let's go see if I can do anything to improve stats. 
Oh no, Poe's re no, Poe is the only one I didn't want to talk to. Apparently, remote battery three and Chris are kissing, according to Poet. Wow, I, I literally talked to the only one that would stop me from getting free bonuses. That's so sad. All followers have fallen asleep thanks to Twitch chat. That's fine. This should stop them from starving. They m killed all the stone mines. Just fine if they did. Now we just need some super ones, so I don't have to replace them as often. We'll do stone mine here. Then maybe I can replace the shattered lumber ones with a better lumber one? I need more gold bars. Oh, which Chad actually gifted me. Oh. That's good to know. I will go ahead and make a million gold bars. A stone. And probably a few more wood and another gold bar. Beds broke. Let's go ahead and upgrade them. This is convenient for me. That is a lot of wood for consecrated wood, which is huge for us. Look at that, chat. Our days of being out of wood are basically over. Can upgrade the weakened ones. That's amazing then. We just need more gold bars used then. Almost Rado has another quest for us. Is he gonna troll Chris again? So it's time to take his pranks to the next level. Let's murder Chris. It'll be hilarious. See chat? Chat, I called that like an hour ago. I knew where this was going. I called it chat. Murdering Chris is funny apparently. Uh, get declined, fool. No, thank you. Not killing Chris for no reason. Chris isn't even, like, old age. Like, it's literally no benefit at all for me to complete that at all. Don't want it. Hard reject. I think this is good. We have people basically... Oh, we got one more upgrade. We got people basically doing whatever they need to do. Nice, more coins. And make sure not to destroy any of the ones that shatter now, since we can upgrade them cleanly. But overall, looks like our wood problem is gone. So I could brainwash them again. Might be worth doing. Actually, before I do that, can I revive again? That's something we need to check before we do everything every time. So we can do it. So now we can have more workers. And that will lead to more faith. That I can do more doctrines. We'll go to the bottom of the list. Time to revive Poro. Poro's been dead a while. Let's bring him back. So we'll lose faith, but joke's on the game because I'm just going to cap their faith anyway. Let's go ahead and take Afterlight 4. Turn to their earth or preserve remains. Unlock Nectar Burial. I don't think either of these matter. Honestly, th I think this was a mistake to do. These things don't matter. Yeah, I think I'd rather have returned to earth. I, like, kind of remember some of the ones, but I was like, I couldn't remember what the final one was here. That one was not worth unlocking over the other. Oh. Nice, I'll get some more bonuses here. I should still be able to do one more thing before we do anything crazy. Let's sermon it up. Wow, the fact that we have a level 7 in here is so good for us. 
Yeah, look how many total levels we're adding, chat. So much better than when we started. We're almost straight up leveling every time we do this now. Leveled somebody up again indirectly, which is always fun. The time to brainwash them. Oh, it's not quite off cooldown. Hmm. I think it's time to take money from chat and then bribe them with food. That's the way to go. So we have a million coins for the future, so we can start buying stuff at the other shops. Again, they did nerf it. It's no longer giving like 300 coins like it did before. When we used to do that in the previous playthrough, definitely take a look at that again, chat. We were legit getting like 800 coins <laughs> towards the end of that run. It was actually insane. Um... I think I will just feed everybody, so that way I don't need to create more meals. And then that'll fix everybody's faith regardless. So even though I don't have them brainwashed, this should just be so strong by itself that it shouldn't matter. Yeah, look at that faith recovery, that's so huge. Oh, what's happening? What? What? Crown Bearer, how wonderful to finally speak. You have come far, further than they know. Oh, this is brand new. I don't know what's happening. Crown Bearer, judge of is right and wrong. Absolute is your word. Their duty is to follow. They offer you their loyalty and devotion. It is not enough. I can feel their sin seep from their souls. Harvest it, gather it, use it, lead them into depravity, to the stinking mud of vile repudiation. Oh, so we did see there were sin unlocks earlier. I did not comment maybe about two hours ago. So I did see that there's something to do with sin, so I guess the game will hopefully explain it. That's, I, I don't know what it does, other than it exists. Their sin is yours. Absolve them. Exculpate them. Deliver them. I gift you these tools for the task. Ah, uh, so they finally fixed the tree. I was wondering if they ever updated the tree so it was a bit more even. They say sin is for gods to judge. Do not forget that here, you are their god. Their souls are yours to damn and save. Go, I will never be far. Now know how sinful a follower has been. Once they have sinned enough, they will be consumed by it. Dissolve these followers and harvest their sin, which could be used to improve your temple and more. Generates in through rituals, opening the drink house, and dancing at the drum circle? What? Okay, so there's a lot of new structures on this free patch. So this is all brand new. Interesting. Well, I guess I can make everybody give in to sin. So we now have a new trait to level up sin. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Oh, it's forcing me to take it. Right of Lust, complete in a naked dance, select your favorite dancer to receive sin. Right of Wrath, let your followers indulge in havoc and violence, select the Wrath Leader to receive sin. I don't know, chat. You know what? I'm going to leave this up to you, to be honest with you. Do you want it to be havoc and violence, or do you want everybody to just run around naked? <laughs> in which expression of freedom does the greater sin lie? I like the little eyes, like, just doing random symbols. Hmm. So yeah, I have no idea what to expect with this tree, so this will be interesting. So we're now at the new content for me, because <laughs> we played through this game a few times. There's a couple stage changes, which made it, as I said before, I think they generally turned the difficulty up compared to the base game. Uh, but yeah, it's something. Nudity just sounds odd. Wrath sounds fun. Well, I think that it, that answers the question. It's wrath time. Who will be the wrath leader, I guess? Like this. I guess we choose who becomes sinful. Who is the leader of sin? <laughs> is it going to be Chris? Chris ended up being the tax collector in the other one, but he could just be the Wrath Leader. I mean, maybe it would make sense. You know what? Let's just make it Chris. Let's not think about it. Look at him go. 
Look at his face. There we go. He was injured in a fight. Air meter game the coward trait? Oh no. Chris vomits a snake at me. The sin grew within me. I yearned for more to be consumed. He granted me redemption. Now I'm at peace again. Thank you. And what do these things do? I'm assuming there's another category. It's the splendor of your temple to celebrate your magnificence. Add new decoration. Oh, you can finally decorate the temple. Oh, I was wondering if they were ever going to do that. Sure, why not, Chad? There we go. Temple upgrades are purely decorative. Oh, okay. Then I will probably never do it again. <laughs> at least not until the end of the game. But we'll at least see what this does now. I do really need gold bars. Towards the end of the game, I don't mind upgrading. Another upgrade? Oh, the, the icon from earlier. I am Parameter's character. Leader, I don't want to be hurt anymore. Please don't let them hurt me anymore. Why would you let such horrible creatures into paradise? Oh, Poor Parameter. Losing it. Love it. There we go. So this is gonna be interesting. So now we lost one of our best workers, which is actually super annoying. But I guess it is what it is. Need more gold bars here. What? Oh, we were talking to Dango. It's like, why did I do that weird movement? Is Dango trying to talk to me? Oh, he's getting sick. I'll bribe him with his own money. That seems to work very well. So we basically just need a janitor station at this point, and we almost have complete self-sufficiency. Yeah, we just we need the gold bars I just spent. Um. I don't need to do another wood upgrade yet. I think we're actually doing pretty good there. So we really just need them to continue to make gold bars. I keep hearing them say hi to me every now and then. Hello, yeast. Ouch, leader, I've been injured. Please send me to the healing bay. Um, I guess. Well, good thing I have a healing bay, right, chat? Okay, well, I'm not super happy they're all punching and doing stuff, but it is what it is, I guess. Should get one more totem up increase here for free. I don't want to upgrade this yet. The tabernacle doesn't really matter to me at all. The mating tent? Invite two followers to sign if they wish to make an egg together. Oh no, we'd have chat make children with themselves. Like the ability to reform a follower from indoctrination stone. Ooh, that actually sounds good. So I think, okay. So remember chat, our other playthrough died, quote unquote, because we had somebody leave the cult and we couldn't get them back. If this finally fixes that, that's actually huge. Because that was really, really, really annoying when that happened in the other one. Right, I'll, I'll make a drum circle. Make the remote batteries, mate. We need remote battery for. It's true. It checks out, chat. So we have more than enough beds, I think, at this point. We just need gold bars to be produced. I'm willing to throw away potentially all of my gold to get this done. I'm glad we have multiple consecration stations, which at some point we should also be able to upgrade now that I think about it. At least I think we can, right? At some point? Yeah, there's some other upgrades we haven't unlocked yet. Healing Bay, we know about the upgrades. Yeah, we, we need to make this rank too. So we know the wood one's here, and then the other one should take us the rest of the way. Hmm. Is there anything else I want to do with all these people? 
So I guess by beating the other boss, we unlock that other interaction. Poro's back. I guess we'll bribe Poro. Gotta rank him up a little more. Is this it before? Like, I wish I could potentially not scare everybody, but I need to build their relationship with us a bit more. I think a parameter's still scared of everything, which kind of sucks. Pull up. I think it might be worth spooking him. Yeah, almost Rato is getting, like, insane level ups. Here we go, Kirk level. Do we need Hellcleave to level a bit more? We got another station here. We'll bribe almost Rauto, who I think chat will offer will ask for us to sacrifice to the gods. Given his uh, sins upon the everybody. Remote Boundary 3 is spook. Let's see if we can fix him. Ow, they just smacked me. What the heck was that? Was he not terrified? Oh, he was. Oh. Wow. Oh, I didn't mean to destroy the stone thing. Oh, that was dumb. I held it too long. Um, Let's get a janitor station over here. That way they can start being more self-sufficient in case something bad happens. Then I just need more consecrated wood, more consecrated gold. I mean, I don't think anything's changing here, at least. At least from this standpoint, we seem to be making resources pretty quickly. In fact, it's to the point where they already finished up, which is kind of insane. But at least that's telling me we're doing a good job here. Yeah, look at our mass devotion gathering. I really don't need any other multipliers. It's good enough as is. Anything else I can improve here? Not yet. I guess I could do that. Then we can finally do the janitor station too. Oh, it needs way more, way more resources. Okay, can we at least get this thing upgraded? No, we still need more wood. Okay. We'll get there eventually, Jan. So basically, if I make most of these wood, we should get it back soon. Not bad. Okay, is there anything else I didn't do in here? Oh, I didn't replace seeds. Definitely need to make sure we always replace seeds. So surprisingly, we're actually almost out of seeds. I'm actually kind of surprised by that, given how often we've been harvesting. Oh, I was going to say, somebody has to be collecting them somewhere. There we go. That makes more sense now. There we go. That makes more sense now. Can we get another Doctrine? Oh, look at that, Chad. It's like, I'm like five seconds too early. So brutal. Uh, what I can do, since we have two people working the farm and we have gold, why don't we place a few more of these so they can just harvest more efficiently? Wow, everybody stop what they're doing to go help. We bribe Chris. We can. Chris is the wrath leader. Um, We'll give him a small gift. What did we give Chris today? A stick. That checks out. I'm going to spook him, and hopefully this puts him at rank 5. But doesn't make him have any other negative things. hit people with this pretty much so we have to remember to go hunt down remote battery three poets revenge is doing whatever out here it's their we wrote a poem color almost for two likes to eat fruit you so eat likes to eat poop yeah they're repeating a little bit wow i can't even buff them with a phrase or anything because they don't do any work it's so sad actually We're actually doing extremely well over here. I think the Intimidates are actually paying off. Bribe? Oh. 
as long as we just do this, we should put them up at a pretty decent rate. I'm actually pleasantly surprised, Chad. We're making some good progress here. Let me just drain this of souls real quick. Find inspiration unlocked. Um, I think you should be able to get a refinery, right? We were talking about that earlier. There it is. So if we can improve our existing ones there, that would be huge. I eventually should get the stone upgrade, but I'm not in a rush. Five. To get refinery two, how expensive is it? Not too bad, actually. That's because it quest for us. Great leader, I've already given everything I owe to you. Now I wish to give my life. Please sacrifice me? Uh, no. <laughs> right, Chan? I'm gonna go with a no on that one. I'm gonna go with the hard no. Oh, random gold bars. That's actually huge. Yeah, so far the offering station has actually been pleasantly, surprisingly amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna wake everybody up, which will piss them off, but that's okay. Let's finish up work and worship. Glory through toil, three nights without getting tired. Uh, yeah, we should probably do glory through toil. Right, chat? Just free work out of them. There's no downside other than I lose bones. Then what we can do is perform that ritual so they don't get mad at me. Don't have enough bones. Oh. I don't have enough mushrooms either? Wow. That's kind of unfortunate. Hmm. Well, that's awkward. That's deciding my fate, though. On the plus side, I'm ending up with a hilarious amount of lumber. Guess I'll repair what we have, just in case that somehow makes them cranky. So we'll see what chat gives me, and then we'll do knuckle bones, I guess? Uh oh. What have you done to me? The sin! It is consuming my soul! How could you? Wow, that is... Oro would love that if he saw it. Your greed for sin has damned me! I'll find you in the next life and punish you for this! Wait, did you guys kill him? Is Oro... Oro's become possessed? Wait, where is Poro? He's got sucked into another dimension. Is he in here somewhere? Wow, did, did Jack kill Poro? Where, where did he go? Well, let's fix our faith levels. Hmm. Ooh, damage up. Thank you. Perfect. Absolutely taking that for the final dungeon. I would like to do more damage. And on the plus side... Everybody else's levels are pretty good since I've been talking to a lot of them. So, every single time we do this, we should level. Got extra coins, which is nice. Spook everybody, maybe get a level up. Dusk, level him up. That way we get even more work and other things out of him. Maybe he'll lose the coward tree. Nice, he did. Perfect. I just need to find remote somewhere, wherever remote is. There we go. Maybe we'll bring him back into society. Not quite. Then what we need to do is just tons of gold bars and tons of consecrated wood and stones mostly. So now we should be super, super good. We still have dead bodies here, which is awkward. 
So we need to be able to get more bones somehow. Oh, I might need to kill somebody in order to get more bones. Is there somebody I should sacrifice because they're old is the question. It's not what I wanted. Oh, I don't have enough bones. Ironically, I don't have enough bones. Yeah, okay, so we'll have to do some runs to get bones. Nobody else wants me to do any quests for later? I guess not. Oh, speaking of which, never mind. Mm, I don't know about this. If you truly were a great leader, wouldn't this place look nicer? Sure, we'll accept that quest. I'm not going to complete it right away, but we'll accept that quest. I think it'd be nice to do the decorations of the boss trophies. Or maybe some of the holiday events. Oh, that calls gold bars to do? I don't know about that, chat. Let's do... Make him a little more Halloween-ish. Drive Dusk. And enter up Hellcleave, intimidate everybody nearby. So again, I think our follower levels are actually doing pretty good. Wolfang, Wolfang's level 5. Yeah, if the new level cap is 10 from what I'm reading, we're actually almost done with promoting them. Because before it used to kind of scale infinitely, like I think we had like 30 level 40s, level 50s. It, it did get very silly. So yeah, I think it's to curb like how powerful some of the other characters are. Let's reassure in Parameter. So yeah, definitely demons are way weaker in this version of the game. I think because of the fact that, like, if you took a challenge where you did double damage, but, like, all you did was have, like, the damaging demons with you, they would just auto-clear, I think is what was happening. Um... <laughs> I eventually want to do the mating hut. I'm trying to think if I need anything else before that. I should probably at minimum unlock the uh, stone mine, though. This actually matters. Because that way we could continually get more resources. Talk to Weber. Which is good, because he's one of the demons we use for combat. So if he's rank 5, we're going to improve his automatic damage. That's always good. Anything else that they want? We can make deadly dishes, but it's very likely to kill them. Yeah, Grass Eater basically just being free is kind of nice. There we go. Now the question is, is this good enough for us to get something we need? One more of these, one more wood. And the question is, now that I've collected that, is that good enough to get our final upgrade? Because if we do this, then I could just walk away forever and that'd feel so good. Okay, seed storage is already huge. Let's put seed storage... Where, do, where should I put seed storage? Let me move the silos, since I don't need to micromanage these anymore. I just to be able to do this. Keep this one here. Then what I can do is... Ooh, I can upgrade janitor station, which is also temporary. I will do this one. Do I have enough for the janitor station? I do not. I need ooh, so many more bars. So I'm trying. It just, sadly, we just... Need to do so many of these. Let's convert these. We did embrace sin, apparently. 
I think this should be fine now. Now I can just go to one place over and over. I could just put all the seeds, or all the spores here, because I don't need them anymore. Ease. Ease. Before I'll get up to something bad. Uh, I don't know what happened to you. You're somewhere. You had a very funny line. I wish you were there earlier, but welcome, Poro. You talked about embracing sin earlier. I was like, Poro would love it if he sees it earlier. Yeah, where is Poro? Is he just gone? I'm so lost. It said he was possessed, but I don't see him. Question mark? Like, is he dead? Like, what happened? Hmm. Don't think I, I don't have enough bones to check what happened. I don't have enough of these to do anything. I could just learn the hunger to get this out of the way. I'm in the forest waiting, maybe. You did get sucked into a portal. It wasn't that long ago, Poro. It was like maybe 20 minutes ago. We brought you back, because you did die at one point. Once a day, get a heart, that's fine. I'll do this so it doesn't tell me about the crown upgrades anymore. Are there any of these I actually care about? Four tarot cards at the start is okay. In one disease heart, become poison after taking damage. Crystal steel double and half fervor. Oh, that one's terrible. I'll never do that. If it decreases after each hit, but reset. Oh, after each kill, but resets one hit, take double damage. That one is really dumb with the invincibility power up. I kind of like Fleece of Fates, honestly. Unless I'm doing like an extended run. Voices tell you it must be done. I mean, I have no reason to not play with this, I guess. Because most of the time we only end up with four anyway. Re Wait, Remote Battery 2 has died of old age. Remote Battery 3 terrified of death. He knows what's coming, chat. <laughs> that's, all we, that's all we know. Drive. Oh. I'm gonna go to sleep. Though so he's somewhere. Where did he die? Oh, sure would be a shame if I, uh, got some bones out of him this way. Don't mind me, just casual murder. They're like, yay, desecration. We'll spook the original remote battery. And then we'll also bribe him, because we can. There we go. You butchered the meat of a follower. Listen, chat, they had it coming. Oh, did we actually... Wow, we finished this already? So we're very good at consecrating materials, apparently. Is this good enough to get our final upgrade? Oh, like, a little shy. But on the plus side, everything else is all set up, so I can use money to buy seeds, which I can just then feed into every now and then. I'm actually getting a really good amount of lumber, finally. So if I really just want to get upgrades to the village, I just have to stick around a little longer. I think what I'm going to do is I think I'll actually do just that. Because we're so close to upgrading, I might as well upgrade again. Um, I don't know if I need re-indoctrination stone to save Poro. So we'll do this in case this is actually needed. Because I don't really know what happened. We know we have spies. So we might see our spies in there. Wait, where is the reindoctrination circle? Unless it's just a passive increase. Oh, it's just a passive increase. Alright, uh, so if I have sin, I can then gather people again. Got it. Alright, so I'm having them make as much as they can here at least. Free meat is nice. Anything else that they should be eating? They no longer lose faith or get illness lost from this. So this is just free meals. Must have sin. Sin is what makes good followers. Yeah, you would have loved it earlier, Poro. If, if you didn't see it, I recommend you go back. It's very funny. Your character is going on this big tangent. 
almost vowing revenge on us, essentially. So let's open the final door. Yeah, that's like the perfect screen cap text that you had. Alright, so we have 12 followers alive. So we survived the curse apocalypse. And then we'll, what we'll end up doing is we'll do one round of knuckle bones, but I think that's it for the night. We made a lot of progress as we're on the final area. Why'd you hurt Rato? Pretty much. Alright, let's do some knuckle bones. Yeah, we have one last area to unlock, and then that, I think, is all the areas. Uh, unless they added more since we last played. There's still, like, an arena thing we can get later. But we'll see, I suppose. Alright, let's bet 20 coins. And then we'll verse Twitch chat. I want to make sure we beat all of them by making them pay hard cash. Give me a five, please. That's not a five. Don't let them roll a five. Make a two. Like to roll a five, please. Thank you. That's really unfortunate. You know what? Two can play at this game. Listen. <laughs> I'm not bullying Rato anymore. We've evolved. Really? How many fives is he gonna roll? It's getting silly. I wanna put a six here, because this'll force him to either double up or get nothing. Brace the set of wrath. It's true. There was like a melee roll at one point. Holy, my rolls are terrible. In please. Cut me a break here. There we go, that's a good break. Give me a three, please. Not a three, but we'll put it here. I'm still winning, but I really need to roll a three or a six. Six will win. I think we're good. Nice. Average of the e luck. There we go. We got through. Pop says congratulations. Lambie did great, didn't they, Bob? All right, time to rich switch chat for real. Out of play. I love how that doesn't. It, it's not how it works, though. Good luck, Chad. Rolled it two. It's pretty abysmal. Ooh. I, I'm thinking Chad's gonna win at this rate. If I roll like another two, I think it's over for me. Oh my gosh. I think it's over. It is so over. <laughs> It's so over. Chat, I rolled two dice and I haven't equaled your first roll yet. This is so bad. Oh, chat split their six. Interesting. Yeah, this is brutal. Holy. No points allowed. <laughs> is chat gonna take away my two? You could. It will stop you from getting more points, though. Oh, I have a chance now. Oh, well, I mean... Never mind. <laughs> never mind, Chad, it's over. I, I haven't... <laughs> I I think on average I've, lo I've rolled lower than a three. It's actually over. This is getting sad. Can I please get a number? Oh, chat doubling up on me. That was disrespectful. Wait, I, wait, I can take away your dice? Was that a bug when we played yesterday or two days ago? Hold on a second. I could have removed your dice the whole first time we played each other. Whatever, chat. I couldn't do that before, remember? I know. It was actually bugged. I I actually get to play the game? Wait a minute. This makes a difference. Uh, I'm getting rid of your four then. So yeah, it was just really buggy. So hey, you can use my VOD as proof that uh, we found bugs. We still don't have Twitch integration working at 100%, sadly. Oh, I'm locked in. I'll take double fours. Oh, never mind. GG to my fours. Damn. Unlucky. You know what? I'm going to be spiteful. 
it's not a good move to do it, but it felt like it was the right thing to do. I'm just looking to complete the board. We're going to be here a while. Yeah, that was a big point swing for me. I just have to avoid you comboing and then I'm good. I would probably not recommend you... I would not have recommended that chat. That opened up a big combo for me. You know what I will do? I will take your points away. See, I've split my numbers. I'm just looking to complete the board. <laughs> I'm not looking to make pairs. If I get it, it's more because it's over. Like, this row is over for me. So I'm trying really hard to beat Twitch chat. I need to roll like another six or something and then it's over. Uh, this'll work. Now I just need two more dice rolls and I win. So if chat is not able to eliminate something, I will win in two dice rolls. Okay, they're catching up in points a little bit. Ooh, that's a big point swing for me though. Oh, chat can stop me from winning here. Let's see if they do it. Do they, do they see the line? Oh, that's a good call. That's giving themselves an out. Ooh, I'm definitely doing this one. That was a good finisher. So I'm just looking to complete. Chat can still technically stall me. Oh, it's over. If chat had eliminated the middle one, maybe they could have bought time. But I think either way, it was kind of over. GG. Victory over chat. What we're gonna do is close. I think from the sample. Let's see, do we have to go there? Let's go to Pilgrim's Passage. This is rigged. Poor Poro. I don't know what happened to your character. They just got possessed and disappeared. You have to say this time. Hello, outside the fisherman. There's something off about him. It's as if he were a. No, that would be too ridiculous. I guess I'll receive the extra blessing. Good chop wood while waiting. Give him the squid. Finally. Oh, excuse me, an octopus. As soon as I pull this out of the ways, I knew no more no mortal would have needed this. That's where you come in. Alright. We gave him a little upgrade. Not bad. Give him one of the crabs. Pinch me, is that a crab? That give me such a fight. I thought I'd hooked the whale. It's yours now. We are rapidly completing his stuff a little bit at least. We'll try to fish briefly, and then when it becomes daytime, I'll end the fishing. Should be not that long from now. Speaking of which. Unfortunately, I did not get lobster back. Justice for Rado has reached old age. There you go. That one's for Poro. So we'll do one last sermon, so that way it can start off immediately in combat next session. But otherwise, I think we have a pretty good setup here. Chat will get one last vote, I think, because I went back to town. We're definitely going to do a lot of stone, a little bit more wood. I won money from that, which was useful. Everybody saying hello to themselves. I'm scared to see what which chat is going to do to me, though. The revenge might happen. Weber has generated sin thanks to chat. Where's Weber? We'll go find him. You've indeed given me sin. Oh, there he is. So, so far, chat has given me more sin than the game has given me sin, which is funny. What, leader? I don't know what happened. There was a darkness inside me. I felt so awful and guilty, but you absolved me. Thank you. So, I'm gonna quickly save. Does that mean... Huh? Wait, I can select existing characters. Uh, I don't know what this does. I'm not gonna do this then. This is not what I thought it would do. I might go look that up in between. We don't have enough resources, I think, to mess around with that at the current time. 
Alright, let's see if we can make Remote Battery not scared, because I'll probably forget that he's scared later. Hopefully this makes him better. Yes, okay, perfect. We finally fixed him. Hmm. This is a tip of four. Not sure what that does. A little extra coins. Good. Didn't get any bones, so we can't do any rituals here, sadly. But what I could do is just a normal sermon. And that should fix our faith. And also possibly level us up again. Definitely will level us up again. Reindoctrinate me. Yeah, I don't know what happened to your character. You got possessed, you disappeared. I'm assuming I could get you back at some point. Oh, look at this. Another level up for the next area. That's huge. I will take the free damage. Oh. Tell him to call follower list on the Twitch overlay. Yeah, I just, I don't know where he went. I think that's the, the big question. Oh no, I talked to Poet's Revenge. Lamb, please hear my poem. The leader blaze is shining bright, casting off the shades of night. Yes, beautiful, is it not? I mean, your character could be waiting for us in the forest. You're saying that, but like, honestly, sometimes we do encounter them in the overworld. So maybe. How did that not level anybody? Let's give you money. Please level up. Thank you. Do we have our first level 8 follower? It's not somebody super useful, but they're there, I guess. Bribe Weber. Remote Battery the third back to work. We'll bribe him. Somehow did not get there. I'll spook him. Nice level up right at the end. Yeah, we're just making sure that we have enough overall levels. No, 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 I didn't want to tell him to eat. The menu was not where it was supposed to be. There we go. So now we're making sure if somebody dies, I'm getting a few extra level ups. Just to push us to 75 meter, which should level us again. I want more of these. I want way more of these. And way more of these. At this point, I guess I might as well, since I'm here, I might as well collect this. Is there anything else I need to do? We do have the mating tent, which I'm sure Poro would love. Oh, or confession booth. Oh, confession booth is also really funny. Uh, let's get confession booth. There we go. We've been busy on the technology tree, chat. Like, this whole left side, I'm basically never touching, but like this middle path, we're going to be working on it. Okay, we have a confession booth. Do we have enough for this yet? How do we not have enough? It's so close. One day, chat. Alright, let's put the confession booth. Where's the place that it's easy to access? I guess I could put it here. It's not too bad. Confession booth so feel well in the stream. Drew. Justice for Radu might die of old age. Or I could kill him. Uh, who's con who's confession? 75% up. That's insanely strong. Wait a minute. Uh, let's do Weber then, because I actually use him in combat. What does Weber have to confess to us? Oh, uh, they don't have dialogue for it. Weber did fight with somebody over his bed earlier. Maybe that's what that's about. But I'll take that easy level up. That I'm not going to say no to, right, chat? I mean, like, what was that? Basically, like, three days of loyalty? They had bed fights? I was gonna say, poor old, they did have it. They had bed fights. They got mad and were fighting at a bed earlier. So that that is canon. That makes sense to me that that happened. Also, they are really good at consecrating. Holy. Our characters are super efficient. Let's reassure in Parameter. Hopefully this fixes him. So I also forgot that he was looking for it. Okay, good, we got rid of it. The last thing I'm gonna do is... Everybody eats berries. 
So we should have enough jobs in general that they should just clean up after each other. And the farms are now self-sufficient. So we just need to give them a few more things other than worshipping this totem since they fill it so quickly. Yeah, so we need like one more mines, for example. The way they're busy. Another upgrade. I don't need refinery too at the moment. We're good there. If there's something that needs to be cleaned up somewhere, fair. Oh, never mind. Oh, look at that chat. They're doing it themselves. Look at them. They're finally taking care of things. Let's see if we can upgrade any of these characters another level. These above leveling might matter. We'll put him a little closer. Hmm. I think otherwise we finally have a self-sufficient cult. I mean, I can I can basically make a kitchen at some point, and then they'll even feed themselves. Which again, great addition to the game. That's stuff that definitely should have been in there in the base version. Um. In terms of rituals, everything is all cooldown. We just need more mushrooms to be farmed. And then we can make them all brainwashed. Hypnotize them as a group. We almost have enough to receive sin with bone. So it's getting there, I guess. As long as I give them access to the fertilizer, we should have our food problem sorted out. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure out what happened to uh, Poro next time. Since he, he vanished into the ether, as it were. Let's see. Looking to see if there's any other settings here. Nope, no other settings. So, hmm. Anything else is there. Enable Twitch message is definitely on. Just wanted to make sure that that was working, but apparently it's not working. Oh well. Let's go ahead and quit out. And let's talk a little bit about how we feel the session went overall. Well, we had a couple of, I think, boss rematches that were perfect victories slash flawless victories. We now have max weapon damage. And the remainder of the run, we'll just be making sure that we have, like, maybe critical bonuses or other things on the side. Honestly, I don't really want to unlock the other spells. I will say that Invincibility was a good one to pick up. That was, like, the only one that I liked of the new pickups that we got. Um, otherwise, it's like, uh, eh, I don't really care about this small AoE stuff. But when it's Invincibility, that's when it's really good. So we now have something that will make Dagger more tolerable, at least. But I think from that standpoint, chat, let's end it here. We did a pretty long stream today, so good place to stop. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time.